Hi Jewelry Makers, Monica here. Just wanted to tell you quickly about what's coming up on Wednesday's show on Jewelry Maker. In the 9am Project Tower kits, we've got these brand new sterling silver seaside themed connectors, um, along with the tassel caps and seed beads, of course, and these beautiful tassels as well. And not forgetting some beautiful um, fire agate gemstones, which is one of my favorite gemstones because I just love all the patterns um, in there. So I've also got the instructions written to show you how to make these necklaces. And then in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got all full on seed bead kits, but with brand new hex cut, twisted hex cut size 10 uh, seed beads, which I've never used before, to be honest with you. And I really love them. They are so sparkly. This is the bracelet um, that I've written the instructions for. It also comes with a magnetic clasp, which, make, which makes it fabulously easy to wear. Uh, we've got three colorways of those as well and the instructions to make this bracelet um, so i hope you can join us on wednesday on the 22nd from eight o'clock in the morning see you then Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, it's raining, Ooh. it is horrible Bruce, it's blooming raining, I would stay in and watch Jewelry Maker, Monica, I would, it's it's wonderful to see you today, oh, although you. you've experienced the kind of the windscreen wiper oh, full we, blast my, on the way here, it was the whole way, the whole 70 miles, Oh, and I, I was panicking a bit leaving home because I saw the rain. I forgot to put jewelry on today. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm just going to have to wear some of today's jewelry. Oh, you just have to yeah, drape <laughs> yourself in something. You'll be to. absolutely fine. <laughs> oh, Monica. Um, you've been given some absolute beauties to work with today. I have, I have, I have. Oh my gosh. So we've got, coming up in the ninth, we've got um, um, a, a, a few of the Mother of Pearl kits that we've got left. There's not many quantity wise. Uh, back uh, on the show but we've also got the most exquisite tassel and hex bead projects as well which are just gorgeous I love what you've done you're so clever look at these oh my word gorgeous tassels beautiful hex beads and of course you've got a beautiful round to go with those as well they're really lovely and then in the 12 o'clock hour, talk to us about the 12. Oh, sorry, Monica, you're trying to set up. No, it's all right. Sorry, no, love. No, in the 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, I've got lots of seed beads. Lots and lots of and seed beads. new ones, sparkly ones. Oh, so sorry, they're hex beads in the 12, aren't they? Yes. And seed beads in the 9. Well, seed beads and hex beads in the 12. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at those pieces. You're going to have to wear one of those. I am, actually, because it goes with my outfit. Because it goes with your outfit, yeah. exactly. I'll put it on in a minute. Basically, the way it's going to go. Um, so, today's show is absolutely incredible. We've got loads and loads and loads coming your way. Um, I've got to share with you the deal of the day. We have waited since last September to get this in. Um, this is so exciting. Um, this was kind of the brainchild of a of a meeting between uh, uh, our head buyer, Wayne, and uh, Marius... Um, at a gem show in Hong Kong last September. Uh, and we'll kind of revisit that when we come to bring this to air. This is your ombre blue amber. We've, we've only bought this to air literally once or twice. We've got it coming back today in the 10 o'clock hour. We have only got 97 of these strands. I know you loved it the first time round. It's coming up at 10 o'clock. You are going to absolutely go wild for it. It is amazing. Coming up at 10 o'clock today. In the 11 o'clock hour today, we've got uh, a beautiful jet showcase. We've also got some incredible last in stock jade pieces coming your way as well. We've got last in stock pearls as well. And I've got to show you today's early bird special. It is, oh, sterling silver wire. I mean, when was the last time you saw sterling silver wire on Jewelry Maker? 
We've got 200 odd of these available. It's coming up as your early bird special. It is literally going to go nuts. We've also got a peg bell bundle as well, which is going to be amazing. And ripple pearls. We've got tons and tons and tons to be getting on with. Um, this is viewer's choice. So basically, if you go to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and you click on watch live, scroll down, look at all of the incredible items we've got coming up uh, on today's show. So you've got everything from peg bales to wire to heart-shaped connectors, uh, beautiful genuine gemstones. We've got crystals as well coming your way, crystal uh, strands as well. Uh, what else have we got? Type A black jade. We've got uh, connectors. We've got clasps. We've got loads and loads and loads. We've got head pins coming your way. All of this is coming up in this hour. We're not going to have a chance to play absolutely every item. If there's anything in particular you love the look of, whatever number it might be, make a note of the number and request it. So just go to the right hand side of the picture you're looking at right now on the website and, um, and, and uh, click on send message to studio and we will play whatever item it is uh, that you'd like us to play. No problem whatsoever. Um, things will be selling out before we even bring them to air just to let you know. Uh, a lot of these items that we've only got twos and threes and fours of. The wire is already selling, just to let you know. We've already got people coming through to get the uh, stunning silver wire bundle that we've got coming up. So, yeah, it is going to be an absolutely phenomenal, 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 phenomenal show. Right, shall we get going? Whee! That's only literally got... There we go. Here we go. So we've got, starting off with a strand of yellow crystal beads. A whole metre long strand this reminds me of that big yellow thing in the sky, which kind of made, made an appearance for a little a little short kind of amount of time and has now disappeared again. Yes. Oh, man <laughs> alive. It's okay, because we've got it here in the studio. Uh, exactly. <laughs> bright, bright sunshine yellows. Four mil faceted yellow uh, crystal rounds you're going to be getting here. Joanne, we've got Paula. There's loads of people coming through. Paula's taken two already. Pauline's already there. Emma, well done to you, my lovely. We're at £2.99. pence. We are busy this morning already. Gee whiz. Sylvia, Caroline, well done to you as well. Check out your baskets. Um, just to let you know, we are the UK's only dedicated jewelry making channel. I know. Uh, we're live for 365 days a year. You're only paying 3.95 p and per order. With everything that you get, even if it's 1.99 like this, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. Amazing. Amanda, Vera, Janine, well done to you. Cheryl, Alison, Gwenefer, Sylvia, Paula, Caroline, Emma. Gosh, there's loads of people joining us today. I always think these kind of things are great for loom work and things like that because you're, you've are you got that kind of guaranteed size, haven't absolutely, you? Absolutely, and they tessellate together really nicely as well. But also, even if you you know, if you know just want to use it as spaces, it's a, it's a beautiful pop of colour with anything that you want to put it with. For sure, for sure. We've got the red version now. Ooh. It is the Olympics this summer, isn't it? The Paris Olympics, I think it is. Is it? Yeah. yeah I, I think, think it, it is, is the Olympics actually, this yeah. year. So, you know, lots of people at this kind of time, you know, you know, just before the Olympics start to make kind of national flag jewellery, or if you've got, if, if you're going to be following the football this summer, uh, then of course we've got the, uh, we've got, the, you know, if you want to make your, you know, your team's colours, whatever it might be. And you can do this so affordably, obviously, when you buy strands like this. Obviously, we do specialise in genuine gemstones, but there's loads of other incredible mediums and things that we can bring you as well. Uh, we've got Amanda, Jay Marie, Vera, Paula, Lisa, Joanne, Linda, Sylvia, Maker, well done. One ninety nine. I think it's pretty much sold out. Well done. Should we do the orange version? That's gone. Well done. Let's do the orange. Oh, I love this shade of orange. <gasps> Marigold orange. I love this colour. It almost looks like amber. Doesn't it just? Yeah. This with um, this with bright pink. I would absolutely love to see. See anything that's bright pink, but this was something you know, bright, bright, bright fuchsia pink would look absolutely gorgeous. One ninety nine for you today. It's going to look amazing with the amber that we've got oh, coming yeah. up, the blue ombre amber. Oh, oh, fine. beautiful. Now this is next. This next item has been set at the wrong price. Just to let everybody know, diamond tube. Oh. It's been set at the wrong price. Okay. It's a tenner. It's the wrong price. Haven't you yeah. ever had those in kits before? Yeah. Ooh. Red, oranges, golds, greens, turquoises. Yeah, we should not be bringing this to you at £10 for all of this. 
10 pounds for all of this. Basically, it's a flexible uh, tubing. Um, so you can put wire through, you can cut it into little sections, which has got this beautiful kind of diamante uh, finish to it. We've got Tracy, Helen, Maker, Ms. Janet, well done to you, my lovely. Uh, we've got Lisa, Jennifer, Caroline, Vera, loads of you coming through. Kathy, well done to you. It's a tenner. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Fantastic opportunity for you today. Well done. I love these. You can plait with these as well. You, you can. Actually, that was one of the demos that I did with this. It's oh, a was four, it? A four strand plait, yeah. So if, if anybody's Was I on the show me. with you? I can't remember now. <laughs> I've been on a show before when we bought this through. I can't remember yeah. if it was maybe you or maybe Deb Kershaw, actually. Yeah. I can't remember. But you can have Beautiful. so much fun with these. It's just, it's just fun. Jewelry it's just making. a great different medium, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Just and expand your repertoire. Use. Also, because it's kind of, um, because it's effectively a plastic tubing, you know, great to wear on holiday. You know, you yeah. don't have to be too kind of, uh, protective over it if you've got loads of sunscreen on it doesn't matter just whack it on it'll look amazing even drip your cocktail on it whatever <laughs> whatever okay let's move on um that one's pretty much gone oh these are blooming gorgeous i love these i love 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 these porcelain beads i just got these <laughs> oh really yes. they're all hand painted oh, monica amazing. which is just so adorable i love that you can see they're hand painted when you look at the kind of the lines you can tell that you know there's just a you can just tell it's been painted rather than kind of printed aren't they gorgeous little beach ball ones which i absolutely love they're, they're just so pretty aren't they like willow pattern you're very brave putting them out i know aren't i jess i haven't really thought this through if i'm being honest let's get these ones out as well all of those bad boys. There we go. So uh, you get a porcelain bead bundle. We've got Paula who's come through to get three. Lorraine, Vera, Jacqueline, Maker. These are great just in a bowl. I mean, they're just yeah. fantastic, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous qualities you're going to be getting here today. Well done. Twenty nine ninety nine. Isn't that brilliant? That's just fantastic, isn't it? Well done. I love all the different designs on here. You've definitely got your willow patterns there. You've got your kind of seasidey nautical ones as well. However you're going to use it, they're just going to look great. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they beautiful? Oh yeah, look at those with lovely kind of lotus flowers on them there. Aren't they gorgeous? Twenty nine ninety nine. Well done, Kristen. We got Kate. We got Jacqueline. Well done to you as well. Really? Okay. I don't care. Okay. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Twenty nine ninety nine. Well done, everyone. Okay. Hang up, there we go. Yeah, just look at the detail you're getting on each one of these beads. Aren't they beautiful? At twenty nine ninety nine, it's a fantastic deal, isn't it? Fantastic price. Put them on cord. Oh, uh, put them with wire work. Yeah. Mark used them for the, the middle of his mandalas in the in the seed beading. Ah, what what are you going to be using yours for? Just out of interest. I think something like that as well, because I think he, I think you want to sort of make them stand out. Um, for sure. So yeah. a central of a you know a yeah. central bead. Yes. And then and then bead away from it. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I do I do love these porcelain beads. It, it's just got that really look lovely look of kind of yesteryear, doesn't it? It really does. Well done, Carol. We've got you coming through as well. Under thirty pounds for these today. Absolutely amazing. You get how many of these do you get? It does does it? It doesn't say. Oh, many many many. Two four six eight ten. Two four six eight. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's twenty-eight. Two, four, six, eight, twenty-eight. Thirty-six. That's thirty-six. Thank you. And then ten more. For about forty-six. Ooh, nice. There or thereabouts. Get them. Well done. Fantastic. Um, we will do. Well, oh no, there's some more in there. So you're going to get fifty. Oh, so I just counted another another few in there. Um, we're going to be doing a uh, wall of fame in this hour. Don't worry. Okay, right. Where are we going now? 50, yeah. Where should we go? Seven? Oh, what's this? What? Well, you say that, Neary. Extend a chain. Sorry, Eva, just pop it there, sweetheart. Uh, you've got your clasp. You've got these gorgeous, sparkly, disco bead sterling silver beads. And then you get, let me show you. You get this gorgeous charm. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that sweet? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I definitely have to get two of those and make those into earrings. 
Oh, for sure. Whether it's going to be earrings, whether you're going to be adding your gemstones in there and creating, you know, beautiful bracelet. Absolutely amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Look at that. So beautiful and three dimensional, isn't it? Love that extender chain. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Whatever you add to that, you're just gonna you're just yeah. gonna elevate the look of any gemstone that you put with that. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Here we go, my lovely. Let's get, let's get that price point all the way down for you today. Twelve pounds ninety nine. Amazing. Twelve ninety nine for all of that sterling silver. However you're going to use it, whether whether it's going to be with your sterling silver wide deal, which is coming up, whether it's going to be with the gorgeous Cotan that we've got coming up later on in the show today, whatever it's going to be with, it's just going to. It's just going to elevate the look of whatever you put it with. And I love that little charm there. Is that what you'd use for earrings? Yes, yes, because I love how it's not flat. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really, really puffy, isn't it? Yeah, it really Very is. nice and 3D. It's properly 3D, absolutely. Yeah, so using them in earrings, they're just going to look amazing, aren't they, with the light kind of bending around them. You just don't want that sitting flat, do you? No. Mind you, as a pendant, that would look quite cute, wouldn't it? Mary in Lancashire, well done to you, my lovely. 9 99 oh, can you wow. believe it? That's absolutely... I mean, 9 99 is amazing just for the heart there. Yes. But you're going to be getting your clasp, you're going to get your extender chain, and you're going to be getting all your um, sterling silver um, uh, disco beads as well, which is absolutely incredible. Well done, everybody. What? Taking the price down again? That's amazing. Hello, Wayno. You all right, darling? There he is. Six ninety nine for wow. you today. Six pounds and ninety nine pence. Absolutely terrific. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Well done, everybody. Well done. Valerie, we've got you there. Check out my love. These absolutely fantastic. Uh, Mary, if you want two packs of these, do check out. I mean, popping it with something really simple like your pearls. It's gonna look great, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Can you imagine that? Just literally there. Oh. Hang down like that on a pen, you know, as a pendant, on a necklace, or as a, you know, a, a beautiful little charm on a bracelet, maybe. Jennifer, check out. Jacqueline, check out. Well done to you, my lovelies. Go, 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 go. Well done. Amazing deal for you today. Michelle, check out my lovely. Well done. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's do a clasp. Let's do a clasp. Here we go. Oh, no, wrong one. Here we go. White topaz. Oh, yeah. This is, these kind of things are absolutely brilliant. These are going to, these will change the look of your jewellery so, so, so quickly. So, you've got here, hang on, there we go, sliding clasp. Oh, wow. There you go. So, it literally comes out the top there. There we go. Okay, pop that back in. Oh, hang on, there we go. So, it's a four loop clasp you're going to be getting wow. there that's a gorgeous connected with the two hearts there facing each other you then get another one that's all white topaz in there by the way you then get this gorgeous box clasp as well which has got three little loops on again there's your there's your um uh, there's your clasp uh, sorry there's your opening there absolutely perfect you've put that on anything it's just going to look absolutely terrific isn't it you've got two of these all sterling silver, by the way. That's all precious metal. Jacqueline and Lynn, well done to you, my lovelies. That's, that's a lot of silver you're getting there. You can just see it, can't you? It's amazing. Well done. That's £19.99. pence With the pearls I just showed you, that would just be incredible, wouldn't it? Well done. Let's move on. We've got... Um, oh! Opalite. Oh, this bundle is the eternally amazing bundle. Three graduated strands of opalite. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. So ethereal. So ethereal, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful with the beautiful blues in there. Gorgeous ethereal kind of yellows and greys as well. Isn't that just gorgeous? Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, look at that. Oh gosh, that's when it looks its absolute best, isn't it? with a kind of a darker background behind it. I always think um, Opalite would make amazing wedding jewellery. Yes. Don't you think? Yes, absolutely. And it's interesting because if you say with a black background, but also with a white background, it, mm. it makes it even brighter as well. So, yeah. It's got, it's got a real, it's got a real kind of, um, I don't know, it's just got a really appealing kind of quality to it, hasn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Goes with rose gold, silver, yellow gold, any of your precious metal findings. Um, and to be able to get this incredible material, um, you know, in, in, in three graduated strands, amazing. Six to 11 mil in size. So, you know, the little baby ones there, you know, you could um, uh, set quite happily into little stretchy bracelets. Whereas the larger ones there make fantastic earrings, great clasps, um, sorry, great um, 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 uh, earrings, great um, uh, pendants, absolutely gorgeous. Three graduated strands today. 
uh, for 12 99 Now, obviously, this is a man-made uh, material, so, which is why we can do three graduated transfer uh, a price point like that. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Well done. Gorgeous. 14. Oh, what is it? Who? Oh, we we got to be doing Are we doing this as a star buy? Or do, what? Straight in. Okay. Genuine freshwater cultured ripple pearls. Oh, my word. Wow. When we talk about, you know, the things, the, the key kind of value factors in a pearl, we talk about size, shape, orient, nacre, size. These are um, eight to 10 mil. So they're over that seven mil size, reaching that 10 mil size. So they're kind of over those magic numbers, you know, which is seven and 10 mil, which kind of define them as being, you know, exceptionally rare. Shape. These are pretty much perfect rounds. There might be, you know, the odd kind of one that isn't necessarily a perfect round. You know, it's more of a potato shape, whatever it might be. But they are really almost perfect rounds. You then get the orient, which, which is the glow. How much do they look like they're glowing from within? Absolutely 100%. Naker. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's blemish free because these are obviously ripple pearls. That's the whole point of these. But what it looks like is, is like the surface of the pearl has been slightly disturbed uh, um, by um, by uh, by the movement of the water, maybe that you know these oysters have you know grown the pearls, and they're absolutely incredible. Pearls are something which here on Jewelry Maker we we do I think better than anybody else in the industry. They're just gorgeous. Whatever you, however you set these, you're going to be setting them with other kind of beads of equal size like the gorgeous ombre blue amber we've got coming up today, which is going to go absolutely nuts, or whether it's going to be with your precious metal spacers, whether it's going to be with your seed beads or your gorgeous hex beads, it's entirely up to you. We're at 199, pounds and 99 pence. Put them in the beautiful jet we've got coming up later yes. on today. That would be a nice combination, oh, wouldn't the it? Oh, huge big jet you've got in front of you there. Oh, these yes. big bad boys. Look at the state of these. With like one of these. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Absolutely bonkers. Look at this. Look at the state of those. I know they're huge, aren't they? Oh, wow. Absolutely enormous, aren't they? You know, whatever you choose to put them with, they're going to look absolutely terrific. We're at £199.99. and pence. Your split payments, by the way, are £49.99. We're going lower. Heather and Hearts, well done to you. I know, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of potential with these. You can keep them really classic and just do your pearl knotting. You yes. can make them ultra modern and do your uh, rosary linking. You can set them with, you know, massive, enormous bees like these all with the uh, gorgeous ombre, uh, ombre blue amber, which we've been, which we've been waiting for. That uh, Wayno, it was last September you went to Hong Kong, wasn't it? You originally kind of, well, it wasn't a pl even a planned meeting with Marius, was it? Just purely by chance. Interestingly, we had it. We had the solid blue and the solid red amber in um, earlier on this year. It's taken this long to get this back in stock. This is this is a real, real art form, and to be able to get these on the show today, we've only got ninety-seven chances. There's one strand available. Oh my gosh, that's going to look modern. <clears throat> Yeah, Ukatsumi style pearls, which originally were uh, grown out of uh, Japan, uh, but unfortunately, where they were where they were grown now is <clears throat> is is you, you can't grow pearls there anymore due to pollution, unfortunately. Uh, but the Chinese market really took that kind of objective and and and, and made it their own. The quality you're getting here today for a hundred and twenty nine pounds for what can only be described as kind of that original Kintsumi style, um, uh, style pearl is absolutely amazing. Your individual split payments, by the way, are interest-free and they're 32.49. Gilville, we've got you there as well, my darling, if you want to check out your basket. Say again. Say again. How many pearls? You've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20, 24, 26, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 48 on the strands. Wow. It looks a bit longer than 38 centimetres. It does, but, doesn't yeah. it? And also, Monica, you know and I know, you know, people buy their pearls from Jewelry Maker for, you know, let's say £129. Yes. And they don't even take them off the strand. They go and get them valued. Yeah. And they're like, I'm so glad I bought that strand. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or they take two off, uh, two off the strand to make a pair of earrings. 
and you know you can sell the earrings for the price point of the entire strand that's that's kind of what we're looking at please don't think that these prices are what the pearls are worth our prices do not imply value or worth what they imply is just how phenomenal we are at buying our pearls absolutely phenomenal congratulations everybody well done 129 pounds for you today congratulations 48 i think i said yeah it's huge yeah. isn't it 268 a pearl look at the quality you're getting there you know for what essentially is a wrinkle pearl look at the quality look at the luminosity i just i can't see how you're going to get a better pearl anywhere else for that kind of a price point that's absolutely terrific isn't it well done who wants one of Neri's favourite what? Your favourite what? Your your favourite what? Chains, did you say? You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. Star by. You're going to love this. Star by. Now, Brucey, you've been here on Jewelry Maker with us since what? Jan? Jan? Jan, Feb? Bruce doesn't know what this is. Uh, because honestly, we have these so infrequently that Bruce has never seen one of these. You're going to absolutely love this, love. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Uh, he is very hard to impress. Very, very hard to impress. This is a cauliflower chain. We have these so infrequently because every time we bring them to air, you buy them. You buy them. Imagine cauliflower or broccoli florets. There's a very, I find it very satisfying when you get a cauliflower or a broccoli floret and you start to break it apart. Yeah. And it's, it's just such a cool <laughs> thing to do, isn't it? Imagine those little tiny florets and when they're all compacted together, the kind of, uh, the kind of look that you get. It's exactly what you're getting here. Have you, have you got one of these? I haven't, no, I, and I haven't seen it up close. You haven't seen, oh gosh, no. honestly, Monica, you're going to absolutely love this. This is, in fact, you know, I'll show it to you on the back of the hand, first of all, because it's such a cool chain, this is. <gasps> How many of these do we have, Neary? No, wait, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Wow. I love it, I love it, I love it. 18 inch cauliflower, cauliflower chain. 18 inch sterling silver cauliflower chain. I don't know how, I don't know how close you can get. I mean, this does, this is the kind of chain that sends your eyes a little bit funny. But just look oh, at the wow. state of that. Isn't that the most gorgeous thing? Oh, that's beautiful. It's stunning, isn't it? You know, it's so bright and sparkly from here when I look at it. I don't know if it comes across on screen, but, and I know that you're, you're fairly tan anyway, but it makes your hand look so tan. Well, it's because it's so bright. Exactly. It's so bright white, isn't yeah. it? But it is one of those things when you when you look at it, it kind of makes your eyes just oh, it's almost too bright to look at. It's just it's such a clever, such a tech. I mean, you are never going to be able to make a chain like that by hand ever, ever, ever. ever. I don't care who you are. You're never going to be able to, able to make a chain like that by hand. That is made by the best Italian made chain making machines in the business. We're at twenty nine ninety nine. We're going to give you a 30 second clock. Bruce, are you impressed? It is, it is impressing him, impressing on him. <laughs> um, so 30 second clock, price point on this today is ludicrous. Now we've only got 50 of this chain, okay? Put it in your basket, you're gonna wanna check out, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not going to want to check out one of these. It's gonna be two or three, because honestly, for the price point you are going to be paying today, I can honestly say, I think you'd struggle to get a curb chain, like the, one of the most basic overlink curb chains elsewhere for the price point we're going to do today. Where do you think we're going to go? Elaine, Cheryl's got two, Nancy, Lorraine, Susie, Laura, Tina, Jacqueline, Karen, Barbara, uh, Maker and Renfrewshire, Linda, Devon's got two, South Yorkshire, but, uh, Renfrewshire, well done to you, we're at 20 pounds. And we are not done. We're not, we're not done. 
We've only got 50 opportunities, well, we had 50 opportunities available. We've now got less than 30. How can you not be attracted to that? It's the, the most beautiful chain. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Here we go, my lovelies, all the way down. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> You're going to love this for £14.99 pence today. That, that is the most un-15-pound chain. And you know, it looks so... Um, Crazy! It looks so um, sort of uh, uh, detailed and so substantial that it almost looks like it, it shouldn't bend. Do you know what yes. I mean? Yes, oh yeah, totally. It looks like it's a solid piece of, so of sterling silver. And also, yeah. don't you think that it looks like it shouldn't be merely a chain? It yeah. should be a necklace. Well, this actually, is like a collection. Actually, this is I like a... put a pendant on that. I'd just wear it on its own. Oh, honest. so would I. Yeah. So, I mean, with a pendant on, it's going to look amazing. And in fact, we've got something amazing coming up in a couple of seconds. But just look at the luster that you get from that. It's amazing. That teamed up alongside yellow gold plate or rose gold or, you know, whatever it might be, is going to look absolutely terrific. Ooh, it and, genuinely is. And looking at the way you're holding it there, if you've got, say, three of them and put a bit of extension chain on the back and had a sort of like a layered... Oh, the swag would be... Oh, the be swag amazing. would be amazing. <laughs> Swagalicious. <laughs> Just amazing. Now, I've got something amazing coming up that I want to show you. In number three, just because um, I just think I, I, you, you can't bring this to air without showing you this. Oh, yes. Just, you know, just oh. just look. Yeah. I thought it was black jade, actually, the one that we've got today. It's actually uh, malachite. Look at it. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. So you've got your chain. That's 50. That almost looks like the diamond tubing, yes. does it? It looks like it well, should be maybe a fabric that. or something. Like a, like a sterling silver version of the diamond tubing. Do you know what? That malachite is absolutely obscene, isn't it? Should we do a back-to-back star-by? Star-by, star-by! It's beautiful and our hair smells like cinnamon. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you the chain. We were just saying how much we love this chain. Do you know what? <laughs> you can tell you're deep, you're deep into your job when you go, that is, that is just so, that's just so lovely. I wonder whether people who sell carpets for a living just go, that is just such a lovely underlay. That is just, <laughs> that's just, Look at the look at the thickness of that piece of card. Isn't that just incredible? <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Malachite. Malachite. This is modelled on the uh, Elsa Peretti Melted Heart Design by Tiffany's. Um, <coughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Can you see the quality of that malachite, Monica? Oh, it's beautiful. Look at all the patterns in there. And the different different sort of shades. I mean, you can see every shade of green in there, I think. It's it's exquisite, isn't it? One of the things I really love about this is the malachite isn't too um, shiny. Yeah. It, it, it's got a bit of stoniness to it, hasn't it? It's kind of like almost like a, a satiny finish, isn't it? I love the fact it's not symmetrical. I love yeah. the fact it's slightly melted and slightly misshapen. I love that. It makes it more contemporary, I think. Yeah. Doesn't it just? And it makes it more of a suggestion of a heart rather than, you know, a beautiful symmetrical, you know, you know, little little heart, you know, whatever it might be. Um, it's just got a bit more of a natural kind of organic feel to it. Definitely more contemporary, as Monica quite rightly says. You could literally just pop that on a piece of, um, uh, or pop that on your chain or pop it on a piece of cord using a lark's head knot. I wonder, you know, there's, you know, definitely put that in the middle of a bracelet. We've got the most incredible wire coming up. If you wanted to make a lovely kind of bangle, have that in the center. That would be lovely. As a little, just as a little charm for someone to carry around with them. I think sometimes it's difficult to make jewellery for um, sort of younger people, like teenagers. Oh, impossible, If, if, if you're imagine. an older person, to imagine what they would want to wear. But I would imagine that any teenager would love to wear that. Well, that's it. Especially the way you had it on the chain there. Yeah. yeah. 
And I look at this as well, Monica. I'm, yeah, teenagers and boys, I, I find very challenging to buy for, just purely because I just, I just don't know what they want. Uh, but um, to be able to get, to be able to, if I had to think of something, yeah, I'd go for this chain, which is 15 quid, and I'd go for the Malachite. Together, I think you've literally got the most, ama you've got the most amazing, you've got the most amazing uh, quality there, haven't you? You really, really genuinely do. Here we go. Let's do 20 second clock. We're not done. We're at 29.99. Let's get it under 30 pounds. But we're already at 29.99. It's absolutely incredible. Shall we go really low? Really, really low. How many of this malachite the heart do we have? How many do we have? 50. So the same quantity on this as on the gorgeous chain, which is pretty much sold out, by the way. So add it onto your order. Just go for it. Well done. Are you ready? 29.99. This is too low. This really is too low. Oh, well. <laughs> it's a tenner. <laughs> that is ten pounds. We're talking about a gemstone which is used by Piaget, which is used by Van Cleef and Arpel, which is used by some of the biggest names in the business. And so we are in direct competition with them. It's a little bit like when we talk about the pearl farms. Please, please don't think that there are thousands of pearl farms. There aren't. There's like a hundred, if that. When we talk about, you know, malachite mines, you know, people who are selling malachite into the trade, we're not talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of vendors. We're talking about literally maybe less than, maybe less than 30, maybe less than 20, you know, and we've got to share the wealth with Van Cleef, with Piaget, with, um, you know, with all of these incredible jewellery and fashion institutions. Some of whom, you know, it, you know, they will pay whatever price point that, you know, it is for the gemstone, for whatever it is that they're buying, you know. And, 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 and we dare to bring to you a Malachite melted heart inspired design and do it for a tenner. Jane Marie, Marie Claire, Charlene, Patricia, Maker and Merseyside, Dawn, well don't you, Maker in Northamptonshire, Linda, Kim, Linda, Maker, Elaine, loads and loads and loads of you coming through. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Go, go, go. Carolyn Northamptonshire is there now. Well done to you, my lovely. Nine pounds, 99 pence. Absolutely incredible. Well done, everyone. You're going to love our early bird special today, which, by the way, is um, sterling silver wire. How on earth we've managed to get that for an early bird? I've got absolutely no idea. Mind you, Georgia was off last week. I've seen that she's in now. She's... Incredible. Well done, everyone. $9.99. Uh, Ronald, well done to you as well. $9.99 for a Malachi. I could understand if it was reconstituted. I could understand if it yeah. was maybe acrylic. I could understand if it was, I don't know, dyed magnesite. But this is genuine malachite. I mean, so that chain and the pendant together would be less than 25 pounds. Yeah. Imagine if you gave that to somebody for a gift, genuine malachite on a sterling silver substantial chain. They're, would, prob they're probably yeah. gonna think you've spent, you know, 150 quid on Absolutely. them. Absolutely, yeah. You haven't, but you know, <laughs> anyway. It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely bonkers. Right, uh, tw 22 did you say? 22. Oh my gosh, that, that is amazing. What a, 22 is ridiculous. Yeah, have you seen it? Four left. 22, same age as us, Monica. Oh gosh, okay. if only. Right, these are stupidly good. Are they half drilled? Yeah. Okay, this is man-made opal. Oh yes, I've seen these. Oh, they're amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Half drilled. Uh, cultured opal. Well, it's basically man made, yeah. Man made opal with your incredible yellow gold plated sterling silver earring findings there. You wear those on your wedding day. You are going to... I tell you what, if, they, if those were genuine opals, I, I goodness knows how much they would cost. I, you know, very few of us would be able to afford those. But because it's cultured opal, because it's man-made opal, you've got something here which you can wear. You don't have to worry about it. Again, wear it on holiday. I mean, these are going to look insane in daylight. Absolutely. I mean, that's the thing about a man-made gemstone is that when you make something, you're going to bring out the best... Of course you are. 
that you can get in the natural version aren't absolutely you? i've right. got you know i've you know i understand you know man-made things aren't for everybody but you know if you're if you're if you're if you're if you're if you're looking to get the look of a, an, an amazing kind of you know museum grade opal, but you don't have the budget for it, incredible. I was talking to Toby Cavill actually uh, uh, before the show, so he was talking to me about lab grown diamonds. Yeah. You know, I, I, like I say, it's, for some people it's like no, absolutely, I don't want lab grown diamonds. But he was telling me, you know, about you know a lab grown diamond, one carat with sapphires either side, and he can bring that to a customer for you know as little as kind of four thousand pounds. Yes. Whereas if that was you know a genuine diamond, it would be it would be you know thousands tens of thousands yeah. of pounds so you know there you go well done fantastic right where are we going now yes let's do it definitely peg bell bundle yeah this should be a star buy but we've done too many star buys so it is a star buy really how long is the star buy sting uh, uh, uh bruce just out of interest you're gonna say nine seconds how many how many seconds is it 13 so we, I mean, we can bring you this thing, but it's, it, it's wasting 13 seconds of the show, I think. Da, 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 da. There we go. So you get your paisley. <laughs> we all know. Sterling silver. Um, uh, peg bell here. Beautiful paisley design here. Love that. Yeah. Messages haven't been working this first time. I'm really sorry. That's why we haven't read your messages out. I'm so sorry. Uh, butterfly. I forgot what that was then. Um, heart. If you want to make earrings, you're going to need to buy two loads of this bundle or go for mismatch earrings, which is a kind of cool idea. Gorgeous. Lovely little freeform designs here. Got a diamond design. Come on. Come on. Sit. It will sit, but yeah. Diamond design. Another kind of swooshy malachite uh, not malachite ma um what, what shape is that um marquise design uh you've then got this one here which is like a little umbrella with a little peg bell on the bottom these are to glue your half draw gemstones your half draw pearls lovely more delicate floral flower top one with like a forget-me-not quality on there all 925 sterling silver pauline in manchester store already eight of these eight different designs they're absolutely beautiful literally all you need is your half draw gemstone or your three drill gemstone all you also need is a, a bit of glue, glue, uh, glue, a bit, a, a bit of glue in the hole of the gemstone. Put your peg in, leave it for twenty four hours. It'll be set. It'll be done. Perfect. Absolutely amazing. So simple. So easy. Yes, you know they're described as peg bales for pendants, but you can make earrings out of these. You can make charms out of these. They look great, don't they? And also the ones that have got the loop at the bottom and then the peg bell. You can always take the peg, peg bell off and just use the loop as an as an attachment. Like for example, if you had a uh, a pearl and a head pin, yeah, and make a loop at the top. Ah, so you can actually a separate idea. it into uh, a, a peg bell and a separate bale. So even can, more, yeah. even more so because the little the little peg bell at the bottom there, because you've kind of reduced that size down, that now becomes the most perfect little charm carrier, doesn't it? Or yes. you know something like that. Absolutely perfect. Well done, everyone. We got Pauline. We got guest designer Susie. There she is. Well done, everyone. Here we go, my lovelies. Twenty four ninety nine. Making these each. How much? Three pounds, 12 pence each. That's absolutely amazing. Maker in Manchester, well done. Doreen, we've got you in Cambridgeshire. Well done to you. If you want to multi-buy, please go for it, Pauline. If you want to get three packs of these, well done to you, my sweetheart. Uh, check out as soon as you can. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. What a deal for you today. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Oh, I just love all these designs. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I love that. That one's probably my favourite, the lovely yes. kind of paisley design. Yes, I think me too. That, that one's a nice Isn't one, it think. gorgeous? But then I also like the heart. Yes. Oh, yeah, the heart one's beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? So gorgeous. Julie, well done to you, my lovely. Check out as soon as you can. Well done. We're down to 24 99 which makes each one of these £3.12 pence each. That, you know, you know and I know, that amount of sterling silver, that amount of design is going to make more than £3.12 pence worth difference to your jewellery, isn't it? It genuinely will do. Um, Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Marion, well done to you. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Congratulations. Well done. Doreen's just multi bought. Well done to you, my lovely. London Dairy, check out my lovely. South Yorkshire, well done to you as well. Manchester wants to multi buy. If you do, then just check out. Go straight away. Well done. Honestly, some of the easiest jewellery you will ever make uh, utilising these. And of course, just gluing one gemstone in there, it's going to make all the difference. And, and it, it, that becomes the design. And you're, you know, it, 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 there's, 
not a uh, massive amount of kind of input from you. You know, it does a lot of the work for you there. So sometimes when you just don't want to have to think about something, you just want to do it. You know, this is absolutely perfect. Claire and Eason Barnes here, Maker and Warwickshire, well done to you as well, my lovely. Check out my loves, well done. Okay. 45, 45. Who? Oh, another chain deal. Yes, please. Uh, right, come on. Where are you? Loads of lovely things in this hour, by the way. If you want to add anything onto your order, please, please do. Twin pearls coming up in uh, 44. Lovely bracelet in number 40. Lots of storage bags in number 20 something. 20. Here we go. This chain's lovely. This is your kind of really, really classic curb chain. Look at that. Absolute classic. If you were going to be making... Oh, my word. 599. Oh. That's amazing. If you're going to be making a piece of jewellery, maybe someone's first piece of jewellery, whoever it might be for, maybe it's your, maybe it's your daughter, maybe it's your uh, niece or your granddaughter, you know, whoever it might be, this is probably one of the best chains to use. It's so delicate, it's so simple, it's not, it's it, it, it's unobtrusive. Yes, it's got that kind of design feel to it, um, but it's not like overly designed. Well, not that the the cauliflower chain is overly designed, but it had much more of a design feature to it, didn't it? Fife, Lanarkshire, East Lothian, Essex, Devon, Tynan, Weir, Argyle, uh, Merthyr Tidville, uh, South Yorkshire, Northamptonshire, Essex has got two. Well done to you. Loads and loads and loads of people there. Congratulations. Well done. All in 925 sterling silver, 18 inches in length. Well done, everyone. 599. Wow. I mean, if you got the sterling silver um, findings kit that we had at the beginning, yeah. with a little puffy heart in that heart on the chain. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Yeah, that would be absolutely. I can't remember where it is, but but yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, gorgeous. Do have a look on the website. See what's available. Lots of things. Lots and lots and lots of things have already um, started selling. We, there's lots of items that um, that uh, we've only got kind of ones and twos of. So please, as soon as you can get in, the better. There you go. There's the website there. Go, 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 go. Well done, everyone. Look at all these gorgeous things. Lots of lovely sellouts today already, which is just fantastic to see. Well done. Oh, my word. Yeah. Gorgeous. Well done. So loads and loads and loads of lovely items. Malachite strand, if you want to add that onto your order to go with the lovely heart. Why not? Gorgeous. Oh, bamboo, space of eating, sterling silver. Bamboo kind of Morse code strand. That would be really nice, wouldn't it? Well done. Okay. Um, this next item is big. This is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. One left. This is the actual strand you are going to get. This is the most amazing bi-coloured type A natural Burmese jade. Um, I just need to make you aware, in the 11 o'clock hour today, we have got the most beautiful um, black jadeite haigu, which is pretty much the same color as what you're getting here if you want to create something like a gorgeous mala and these could be your markers or maybe your guru or whatever it might be um then you know i would i with with the gems that we've got today i'd be in the market for making maybe a black jet mala using these as my gurus and markers and then the black jade haiku at the bottom of it that for me would oh. be like the ultimate um we're at 199 pounds this is the exact strand you're going to be getting home as you also know, you can get your interest-free split payments if you want to use them uh, of just £49, sorry, £48.75. and If you want to add it onto your order, please, please, please go for it. This is the only one we have available. This is it. Once it's gone, it's gone. I, I don't know about you, Monica. I absolutely love that kind of the bicolor qualities. I love the greys. I love the blacks. I, I just love how they all meld together. It looks very mysterious. Doesn't, doesn't it? it just? Yes. Yeah. Like smoke. Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well done, 199. I think it's sold out. Well done. Make sure if you want to come, in, uh, come through and get the gorgeous black jade um, donut later on in, in the high go. It's absolutely amazing. It's coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. Right. Coming up now, for the first time, uh, definitely this year, but I'm thinking maybe the first time, oh gosh, first time since maybe kind of October. First time in the studio maybe, which is October last year. We've got yeah. an early bird and it's sterling silver wire. Let's go.
Okay, so I've got a bit of a stock update for you. I thought there were 240 of these. There's actually 300. I have to say, on a Wednesday morning as an early bird special, that, that kind of quantity is quite a big quantity. But it's raining outside. I think it's going to be a lot of people inside. I think it's going to be a lot of people planning maybe for projects over half term. Maybe you're going to be escaping. Maybe you're going to be going away. Or maybe you've never seen us bring a deal like this to air before. I'll be honest with you, as an early bird special, um, we're talking last year. And only because my memory isn't that isn't that great kind of, you know, thing. and I'm just saying last year because I know it hasn't been this year and I know it hasn't been since we've been in this studio. I have not bought you a sterling silver wire work early bird special. I mean, this is. This is crazy. Um, our um, head buyer um, of, of kind of everything but gemstones is Georgia. She was away last week. Went to Italy. Lovely time. So we scheduled this. These are what we call essentials. So essentials, our buying team are very, very protective over what we call essentials. What are essentials? They're the things which you need all the time. They're the things which you need to have in stock all the time as a company because you will get somebody going onto uh, uh, Google or another search engine and they'll type into the search engine. Uh, you know, they're, they're a jewelry maker and they'll type into the search engine um, sterling silver crimp beads or bolt ring clasps or whatever it might be. And those are kind of keywords. Oh, thank you, Michael. That's awesome. Um, those are keywords on, on a search engine on Google and that will make jewelry makers page, you know, pop up. And so that for that very reason, we have to have those essentials available to sell at any one time. There's going to be more people typing in sterling silver wire into a search engine than there is somebody typing in, I don't know, coat and mutton fat jade. Yeah, it's, it's going to be significantly more people, yeah? So because they are essentials, because we have to have them in stock all the time, because we need to get that, that kind of organic, you know, um, uh, you know, we need to get those kind of organic kind of uh, new leads from people who go onto a search engine and we kind of um, uh, show them everything jewelry makers got and then they watch the live show and then we've got them. Because uh, of course, it's just irresistible. So for that reason, deals like this are banned. Because every time we bring deals like this to air, they sell out. What are we bringing to you today as your early bird special? A meter of 0.4 millimeter gauge sterling silver wire, which is this one here, and a meter of 0.6 millimeter sterling silver wire. It's only 0.2 of a difference, but there is a big difference. So this is your 0.4, which is more for your weaving work, more for your rosary linking, doing really lovely things like that. Whereas your 0.6, yes for weaving, yes for rosary linking, but you can start to use it to make things like clasps, uh, earring findings, uh, little components which are which need to be a little bit stronger. Um, when you're doing, when you're making your wire worked rings, if you're making a little wire wrap ring like this, then 0.6. You could absolutely use that or a point or, or a point eight millimeter gauge. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic. If you're making your wire work pieces, I'm just looking at some of these pieces up here and seeing if any of them have got kind of wire work, kind of sterling. Yeah, for doing something like that up there. So wrapping around a pearl and maybe a cabochon. Ah, yes, those earrings there, Michael. Fantastic. Thank you for that. These earrings here, which have got the little gemstones on, your 0.4 millimeter gauge wire is absolutely perfect for that. So you can see that the wire's been wrapped all the way around the jump ring, and then you've got the uh, gemstone set on the end of those. You've then got this piece here. Yeah, that filigree work there, that lovely wire work there, you could, I mean, I, I'm assuming you could absolutely do that with your 0.6 millimeter gauge wire, no problem whatsoever. So there's many, many, many different types of jewelry out there. There's many different ways in which you can use this. Again, you've got some lovely wire twisting there. Again, with your 0.6 or your 0.4 millimeter gauge wire, there's you know there's loads of different ways in which you can use these. Yeah, that was the piece I was kind of referring to originally, uh, just for kind of wrapping around a cabochon. Now, Monica, as a as a, I mean, I know you probably wouldn't class yourself as a wire worker, but even as a non-wire worker, there's still absolutely a place for wire work in your in your design, isn't there? Absolutely. I mean, just this morning, actually, when I was packing 
well, actually last night when I was packing my bag to bring in, yes. I suddenly thought, I've got so much wire in here, my bag is so heavy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and as you say, I'm not even a wire worker. So you can use your wire in so many different ways. For yeah. little things, you can make little emergency findings if you need to. You can use them just to add a little bit of detail. So, um, and, and it's not difficult, especially with studying silver wire, because it's very malleable, very easy to use. Yes. So even if you never class yourself as a wire worker, you yeah. will always be using um, wire. I think, I think one, of the, one of the main kind of things which, which we come across is somebody is kind of newer to jewelry making. They look at sterling silver wire and they think, oh gosh, no, I don't feel confident enough to use sterling silver wire. I know I'm not going to do it justice. I know it's going to be, you know, I'm, I'm going to mess it up. I'm really going to, you'll actually find sterling silver wire to be even easier to work with than your plated yeah. um, uh, or your coated uh, copper wires. Um, so please do bear that in mind. But also every time you use it, you're adding in precious metal to your jewelry, yeah. which adds in, yes, design, but it adds in value value to your jewelry it genuinely does people will pay more for your jewelry because it's made with sterling silver wire now this 925 sterling silver is the same sterling silver that tiffany's will use that de beers will use that i mean bulgari will use you know that cartier will use it's the same sterling silver it's 92 and a half percent pure silver the rest are other alloys to make it workable to make it malleable and as monica quite rightly says the malleability of this wire is what really does sell it it's the quality it's so easy 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 peasy to work with we've got so many silversmiths here at jewelry maker as well who will vouch for the quality of the precious metal that we bring to you we're at 29.99 Manchester's got three, Geraldine, Elaine's got two, Sandra, Maker and Renfrewshire, Mary, Jacqueline, Pauline, Mettler, Nikki, Maker, ah, oh, the guest is on the Nikki there, well done to you, sweetheart, uh, we've got Kathy, Christine, Kate, Maker, Beverly, well done to you, we're at 20 pounds, our guest designers are buying this, this tells you everything you need to know about the deal that we are offering you today. I mean, even if you just use it for rosary linking, that uh, chain that we just had on, let's say you wanted to make a, a little centre focal piece in the middle, yeah. and put a gemstone in the middle, but you don't want to do it sort of the, I suppose the old fashioned way of hanging it on a bale or something like sure. that. Sure. You can make a rosary link with a, a jade bead or anything you want and yeah. just attach the wire to both ends. And because you've got the quite thin 0.4 millimetre wire there, it will go through a very thin chain. Oh, absolutely. Well. So, I mean, that would be perfect. You know, you could, you could, you could turn it into, uh, we sometimes have those chains with like the stations. Yes, absolutely. So you can just buy it. that chain we had on it was 5.99. It wasn't expensive at all. Yeah. Uh, and you can turn it into a pretty long uh, station. You see, that's exactly wire. it. When you've got designs like the Tiffany um, uh, Pearl by the Yard design, which is basically what Monica's just described there, the little station necklaces, yeah. you need to kind of create, let's say you do it with this amber here. You've got your amber. You need to put it on a piece of wire and create a little rosary link, a little link either side, a little wrapped link either side. You then attach attach that onto your chain. You've got a section of chain, then you've got another amber, then you've got another amber. And to do that, you need really good quality sterling, you need really great quality wire, which is exactly what this is. And this will allow you to do that because you've got the two thicknesses, the 0.4 and the 0.6 millimeter gauge. We're not done by the way. 1999 is phenomenal and we're no way near done. Because we've got 300, because it's such a large quantity, We've got to find a price point that is gonna suit everybody. Now, these are not gonna to go to 300 people because of the amount of multi bidders that we've already got coming through to get twos and threes of these. You're getting two meters of wire here, a meter of your 0.4, a meter of your 0.6. It's, ab I mean, by all means, keep it to one side until you feel confident enough to use it. But honestly, as soon as you start using it, you'll wonder what you were ever worried about. It's absolutely tremendous. And today, 15 pounds for two meters of sterling silver wire. That's amazing. There's over four grams of precious metal in this. It's absolutely tremendous. And honestly, if you take something like that gorgeous pair of earrings that um, I think it was guest designer Ellie made, which uh, um, uh, with our advent calendar, which are absolutely beautiful, that lovely pair of kind of spoky dokey uh, uh, earrings there, making those out of uh, your, I, I don't know, your silver plated copper wire, those are the kind of earrings which maybe you'd sell for, oh, I don't know, 20 quid, maybe 25 pounds, using sterling silver wire they're kind of all of a sudden 80, 90 pounds. They've got to be. 
you know, you know, depending on where you're selling them, obviously. But do you understand kind of what the the implications of using sterling silver wire? It's going to be easier to use. You're going to enjoy using it so much. You've got the providence of using sterling silver. You're now a jeweler. You know, you know, a, a, you're a purveyor of fine jewellery. Um, and of course, and of course, you're just adding and adding and adding to your skills to get your your confidence, and obviously the kind of price point that you can sell your items on for. Nikki, well done to you, my darling. She's multi bought. So's Carol. So's Sandra. So's Robert. So's Maker. So's Natalie. Uh, there's loads and loads and loads of you coming through. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Whether you're a beader or whether you're a metal smither. Um, you are a, um, uh, you, you know, by utilising your sterling silver, by using your sterling silver wire, there is something in this for absolutely everyone, whether you're a beader, whether you're a macrameist, uh, you know, whoever you are, it's absolutely perfect. Now, 14.99, amazing. Loads of you there. Should we do another price? This is your last, oh my word. 30 second clock. One more Price. Guest designer Mark doesn't count himself as a as a wire worker, but he makes the most amazing rosary link chains. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah? To do that with sterling silver, incredible. You've got you've got beaders, you've got knitters, you've got you've got you've got uh, people who uh, work with metal sheet. You've got people who work with all sorts of different shapes, sizes, different mediums. And everybody can find a use for your sterling silver wire. We do it so infrequently. It's the first time since, oh gosh, we've been in this studio. I bought you a sterling silver wire early bird. And today, and for today only, £12.99. £6.50 a metre. You pay more for that than, you pay more for that than, uh, you know, more, more, more for uh, ribbon. You know, really, really decorative ribbon then you pay for this. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is precious metal sterling silver wire you're getting here today. Isn't that amazing? You know it's a good price when Tom starts pacing up and down the gallery. I know, <laughs> like a caged animal, like a caged animal. It's absolutely crazy. You know it's a great deal when you've got our guest designers coming through for it. You know yeah. it's a great deal when we've got people multi-buying. You know it's a great deal when on a dreary, wet Wednesday morning, um, coming towards the end of May, you know, when, when we've had our birth, when we've had our birthday events yes. and people have been spending hundreds, thousands of pounds this month, we can still bring you an early bird with 300 in stock and it's sterling silver wire. And we can see d literally dozens and dozens and dozens in baskets, hundreds of you checking out. It's absolutely tremendous from uh, the West Midlands to the Isle of Wight to Essex to uh, 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 anonymous bidders, to Nottinghamshire, to Worcestershire. It's gone absolutely crazy. Whilst this is, whilst I'm gonna guarantee if you've got this in your baskets, you can, you can still get this, but you need to check out like now. Whilst, we, whilst people are checking out, we'll keep the graphics live. We'll go to the Wall of Fame. We've got the Wall of Fame drawer as well. Gee whiz, busy, busy, busy. Um, let's go, let's go and see some of your incredible designs on today's Wall of Fame. So let's start off with lovely Jill Taylor, your number 583. Hi everyone, here's my Wall of Fame entry for this week. Soft pink pearls with a few silver spaces in the front. See, it doesn't need to be anything more than that. That just looks gorgeous, Jill. Thank you so much. Uh, best of luck to you, my lovely, your number 583. 584, Jackie! Hey, I'm Jackie. Jackie Davis. Um, hi all, here's my entry for this week's uh, Wall of Fame. She's made that with seed beads and neon appetite. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's, oh, that is a labor alert. Those earrings are gonna look fantastic this summer. Anne McLaughlin, your number 585. Oh yes, lovely, I love that photo. Attached this mine to for the Wall of Fame. It's a repair job, it's a flex wire uh, attached to the rubies um, snapped. Luckily, none of the rubies were lost, thank goodness for that. I think the white pearls really pop. They really do, pearls and ruby look absolutely amazing together. Good luck to everyone, says Anne. Gorgeous, thank you so much, my lovely, thank you. Beautiful. Monica? I've got number 586, which is from Karen Romanovsky. Um, and she's made this bracelet using peridot. Oh, look at she's the colour of that. She's made it to order to, for somebody's uh, daughter's birthstone. Oh, oh lovely. That lovely. That's really, really pretty, isn't it? 
Well, it's Paradise, their birthstone. And then I've got number 587, which is yes. from Ange Smith. And she says, this week's Wall of Fame entries are knotted necklace made using Branca Onyx cubes and rounds and seed beads. Branca Onyx cubes? Ooh, that sounds amazing. Oh, beautiful. Love that. Really pretty. Thank you so much. Oh, look at this. This is from Alwyn Summer Somerville. Oh. Uh, and she says, uh, this is a South Sea Pearl and Emerald Pendant. Oh, my gosh. Finished in sterling silver on an 18-inch chain. South Sea Pearls and Emerald. Wow. That's absolutely amazing, isn't Beautiful. it? Well Thank you so much. I tell you what, Monica, do you want to come over and pick the winner? I'm oh, going to yes, just please. release the prize-winning <laughs> balls. Here we go. Give it a spin -a Uh Monica, who is the winner of the Wall of Fame this week, winning £100 credited to their jewelry maker account? Keep Ooh. checking out your sterling silver wire, by the way. This week's number. winner is number... Oh. 552. Ah, oh, 552. Neil Jenkinson. Neil Jenkinson? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well done, Neil. Congratulations. Oh. Well done, Neil. That's absolutely awesome. Well done. We get um, entries from Neil most weeks. I don't think I don't think you've ever won of you, Neil. So fantastic. Aww. Well done, lovely. And this week's runner up of the Wall of Fame winning £50 credited to their jewelry maker account is number 559. Honor Gibson. Honor Gibson. Congratulations, Aww. my darling. Well done to you, sweetheart. Amazing. Thank you, Eva. Another triumphant Wall of Fame. She dreads that, every that Wednesday. Una, <laughs> was that Una Gibson? She, she was a guest designer for a while, wasn't she? Una was Gibson. she? I think so. Yeah, because she started at the same time as me, but she was only on for a few months. And she, she's come second on the Wall of Fame. Yeah, well it. done, lovely. <laughs> ah, fantastic. Well done. Uh, right, fantastic. Keep on checking out uh, the early bird special. Can I just say a massive congratulations to... Who was it I've just seen who just checked out? Oh, I don't know. I think I've seen things. But congratulations, everybody. Um, <laughs> still got genuine chances left. Brenda Seller, Maker, Maker, Maker in Oxfordshire, Lucy, Jennifer, Karen, Jill, Lisa, Maker in Cornwall, Maker in Berkshire, Kathy, Christine, Maker, Beverly. Oh, gosh, there's loads and loads and loads of you there who've still got loads in their baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. What a deal. Two metres of sterling silver wire for £12.99. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. When we come back, we've got the most amazing projects uh, with Monica. You're going to absolutely love them. Hi, Jewelry Makers. Monica here. Just wanted to tell you quickly about what's coming up on Wednesday's show on Jewelry Maker. In the 9am Project Tower kits, we've got these brand new sterling silver seaside themed connectors, um, along with the tassel caps and seed beads, of course, and these beautiful tassels as well. And not forgetting some beautiful um, fire agate gemstones, which is one of my favorite gemstones because I just love all the patterns um, in there. So I've also got the instructions written to show you how to make these necklaces and then in the 12 o'clock hour we've got all full-on seed bead kits but with brand new hex cut twisted hex cut size 10 uh, seed beads which I've never used before to be honest with you and I really love them they are so sparkly this is the bracelet uh, that I've written the instructions for it also comes with a magnetic clasp which makes it fabulously easy to wear uh, we've got three colorways of those as well and the instructions to make this bracelet. Um, so I hope you can join us on Wednesday on the 22nd from 8 o'clock in the morning. See you then. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. 
Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? Or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? Or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Oh my word, we have got the most incredible projects. We've got uh, projects which we bought to wear um, a little while ago, uh, which are absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got brand, brand, brand new projects. Um, where should we start, Neary? Because they're all... Oh! Wait there. Deal of the day's on pre-order. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, I think that's a good idea too, Neary. Here we go. On pre-order right now is the Blue Ombre Amber. This has taken us since last September oh, to get in stock. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. You know, this is, this, is, this is the accumulation of months and months and months of work. This is Wayne's baby. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to bring this to you. It's on pre-order. If you want to get it, there's only 97 chances. Once it's gone, it's gone. This has been so difficult to, to, to kind of get back. And, and we'll kind of go into why that is um, when we come to play it. But if, if you want to get it, now is the time. There's only 97 available. It, it's going to sell out today, okay? Just to, let every, just to manage everybody's expectations. So if you want to get it, get it in your basket now. Fantastic. Right, okay. Uh, which, oh gosh, what should we do, Neary? Oh gosh, okay, right, so these projects are so lovely, uh, Monica, and I love what you've done with them. The um, the tassels which you get are are all handmade. Yes, they're beautiful, beautiful tassels. Aren't they're they really, just? Really sort of full tassels. And I don't know, the material that they're made out of, this lovely silky, uh, kind of almost like embroidery silk, is is just so, look, it's so lustreful. Isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that? Wouldn't you love hair like that? Oh, that, that coloured. Yeah, I know. <laughs> absolutely. Isn't it gorgeous? All made by hand. You get your gorgeous tassel. You then get a strand of gemstones. Now the gemstones are different in each in each one of these projects. The ones you've got here are beautiful dyed blue um, um, agate. Uh, it's fire agate, so not banded. You get these wonderful kind of zones of colour, these kind of almost explosions of colour, which look absolutely beautiful. You then get um, 
15 o delicas. Now these are the smallest delicas that we can bring to air. Delicas are like that kind of tubular shaped bead rather than them being round and they are just delicious. I love them in silver. We don't seem to get them very often in silver. They look like sterling silver spaces, but don't also, they? But also, uh, Delic is in the size 15. That's like gold dust. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. I mean, we've only just recently started having them, um, actually, the, the size 15 Delic is. Oh, they're so sweet. If you look at them, you can see they look like sterling silver spaces. You can actually see what Monica has done with these in the long line necklace, which um, we were just having a quick look at actually. Yes, and it looks like sterling. It looks like a sterling silver snake chain. It does. It does when you when you put them end to end with the delicas because it, it kind of fits together as if it was made that way. Yeah. Can you see that? Can you see the kind of? It looks like a sterling silver chain, doesn't it? It looks like a, a snake chain. So clever. You wouldn't get that, well, you just don't get that kind of straight line um, uh, with your uh, seed beads. That's only with your delicates. They're so, 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 so lovely to have those in a project. And then you get a sterling silver tassel cap with a dolphin connector. Yeah. This is just the most adorable thing. So you've got here your sterling silver tassel cap, which is beautiful. Look at that. I love the really elongated cap, actually. Yes. Uh, which is a little bit different. You've got the little rod underneath, a little bar underneath, which you can kind of hook your threading material through. But this is really, really pretty in the fact that it's got that um, kind of slightly more elongated uh, shape to it. And then you get a dolphin connector. This is just prepare, just prepare yourself. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Aww. Look at that. Isn't he gorgeous? I mean, who doesn't love a dolphin? He's <laughs> so pretty. Sterling silver dolphin connector isn't that gorgeous so sweet the detail on that's just absolutely gorgeous isn't it we're at 39.99 now you also get and this is kind of a you know a relatively new thing you know it's only been going on for the last couple of months you also get instructions now these instructions oh gosh monica what is it with you and instructions <laughs> right these instructions that Monica has put together go over 48 stages, 48 mm. steps. I think that's a record. Uh, might be. 48 step instruction booklet. I mean, okay. It looks, it looks like a simple necklace and I've, and I've written it as a, as a beginner's uh, design as so well. So you guide them through absolutely everything in 48 steps. This takes our guest designers hours hours and hours and hours to do the photographs the writing of the instructions and to include this level of expertise and knowledge in the price of the kit is amazing you've got to ask yourself 48 steps how long would that take you to learn on a workshop would it be a half day workshop or would it be closer to a full day's workshop okay how much would you pay for that? Okay, so let's say this isn't a workshop, it's a PDF that you're downloading. How much would you pay for the PDF? Would it be 10 pounds or would it be more like 15 pounds? If it is 15 pounds, that means that the projects you are getting today, 15 pounds of that is taken up, um, and sorry, is taken the price uh, up, up, by, up by the uh, PDF, yeah? And the remaining amount is for the tassel, the 15 Odelicas, which are brand new, the gorgeous blue fire agate, and the two sterling silver components. I mean, already at 39.99, incredible. But today, we're going lower. All the way down, 24 pounds and 99 pence. So let's say that this is 15 pounds for this 48 step instruction booklet. That means you are getting all of this for a tenner. That makes no sense. And we're not even done. Quantity wise, right, just to manage everybody's expectations, I don't have vast, vast, vast quantities of any of these projects. They are all gonna go today. 10 seconds, we've got a lower price point for you today. Look at how beautiful and finished that piece of jewellery is that Monica's made there. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that little collar going around the top of the tassel there that you've done with the delicates. It looks incredible. Okay, we're at 19.99. So that's oh, even, I mean, that's even better for you. That's even worse for Monica and us. So let's say 15 pounds for your 48 step instruction booklet. Let's say 15 pounds, yeah? That means your strand of gems 
your incredible luxurious tassel, your brand new 15 silver delicas, your two sterling silver components are yours for five pounds. I mean, that tube of delicas would normally be around seven pounds, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, 100 percent. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. 15 delicas are a really, really new thing here at, J at, at JM. To be able to bring you this and the gem and the tassel and the two sterling silver components and the 48 step instruction booklet for 19.90. And it's just amazing. And of course, you know, I am going to say put it with the deal of the day. Oh, yes. Because with that gorgeous ombre, ombre amber, ombre blue amber, that's just going to look absolutely incredible. Well done. Go, 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 go. Fantastic. Go. Right. Next one. Which one are we doing, lovely? Oh, yeah, this is gorgeous. So all of these projects come with the instructions, just to let you know. This is a lovely, lovely project, this one is. So tassel. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful tassel. There you go. Here are your seed beads, which are this gorgeous kind of matte uh, sea foam colour. I haven't seen sea foam seed beads for an age. Now, these, these are the round 15 O's uh -huh. that we're more used to seeing. Uh -huh. uh, but it's a beautiful colour and it's, and that frosted colour, I love the frosted beads. Isn't it? That lovely kind of matte frosted finish is just gorgeous. Bead-wise, you're going to be getting green dyed fire agate, which is just incredible. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then sterling silver tassel topper. Brilliant. And then a gorgeous sterling silver Oh no, uh, yeah, sterling, gosh, they are sterling silver. Yeah. Um, uh, Cowie shell um, uh, connector. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. I'm loving this kind of sea uh, quality. We've got lots of kind of aquatic themed things coming up tomorrow as well, if you're into that. And if you want to make pieces in readiness for summer, this is absolutely incredible. Okay, so Oxford is through Manchester. Devon, well done to you as well. Yeah, you can actually see the sea foam seed beads on that photograph really really well they've got yeah. a lovely kind of bluey greeny kind of like a sagey kind of color to them they're just gorgeous aren't they and look at what monica's done with these beautiful 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 i love what you've done with this project it looks amazing i did sneak in a few size 11 seed beads those i from, can see those are from the 12 o'clock kit so you can get those later on today <laughs> yeah with the blues it looks absolutely amazing that pop of color just looks amazing i love the way you've gone round um the jet uh, the uh, fire agates as well and circled around them with the seed beads just so you don't have to do kind of intricate seed bead weaves you can do something absolutely. so simple with these and it looks amazing 20 pounds for you today congratulations well done oh look at the green <gasps> next to the um a tassel that's amazing are those are oh, there the seed beads aren't they yes look at that again i mean i know you don't get that kind of straight line quality that you get with the um that you get with the delicas but still sorry let me grab that up i think that, i think go. with the round seed beads amazing. you get almost like a, a softer look yes you do so it depends Most on, definitely. on what you what you're going for um there's definitely a contrast between the round seed beads and you can see them there in the one picture next to each other for the sure delicas and the, and the round ones uh, I wouldn't say one is better than the other one. It depends on just on a different the look. look that you're going I just for. love this little collar you've made to go around mm. the tassel. It's so cute. Well, so I, I thought pretty. the tassel cap had kind of like a almost like a Middle Eastern type of feel to it. Yes, like a which is where the Alhambra name comes from. Yes, so that's why I thought um, I would do some sort of a some sort of. It's gorgeous, almost at like the top of a tagine, that. isn't yes. it? It's just gorgeous. I love it. Um, we've got slightly more of these, so we can go a little bit lower for you today. I just love it. it it's, it's so pretty. I can just imagine, this is beach jewellery. This is kind of, you yes. know, jewellery to wear on your summer holidays. This is jewellery to sell if you're going to be, if you're going to be um, doing any craft fairs over the next couple of months, you know, whether it's going to be over half term or whether it's going to be over the uh, Maybank holiday, whatever it might be. It's going to be joyous to make these. Oh, just gorgeous. Well done. It really reflects the seasons, doesn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. And that lovely nautical thing. Don't forget, we've got loads of nautical things coming up tomorrow as well you're going to love that it's like two days of nautical themed shows 14.99 wow. amazing <laughs> and please don't forget 48 step instruction booklet absolutely incredible well done everyone go 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 that's and think, ridiculous and i think also these project kits are really clever because obviously i've used the whole kit in, to make one piece of mm. necklace actually i didn't i saved a few beads to make matching earrings i just didn't have time to make the earrings uh -huh. but basically i've put all the components together into one piece of jewelry but you can separate it out because i did consider maybe leaving out two of the uh, of the connectors from two of the kits and making a mismatched pair of earrings oh lovely with them and then the tassel cap you can use the tassel with the tassel cap mm. or you can leave the tassel with the seed beading on as it is and you can make a separate tassel 
with just seed beads and use oh. the tassel cap on that. So you've got so many options with the, with these kits. How lovely. Yeah, absolutely. Look, we've got multi bidders there. Manchester Sport 3, Norfolk Sport 2 as well. I really think people are really diving into this, diving into this kind of theme. Again, it would look amazing with today's beautiful deal of the day, which is, of course, the ombre amber. I'll just show you that, that combination together really, really quickly. <gasps> oh. And then we've got the uh, final kind of brand new project, which you're going to love, by the way. This is, oh, this is kind of, oh, do you know what? I love, I love these kind of colours together. Yes, I was going to say this colour combination is amazing. It's, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? A much more kind of understated, dusky kind of almost like a French blue yes. there, which looks sensational. <gasps> isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? And then you put it with, oh, wow. The most gorgeous gorgeous um uh kind of there's kind of uh, yeah coffee kind of biscuity yes. colors there that is such a nice strand of gems i was this combination that sort of uh cotton flowery blue with the with the with the beiges you get a lot of that in sort of home decor things absolutely which, you do. i love that combination yeah it's beautiful it, it's gorgeous isn't it look at these beautiful and it just it, it takes it to the next level when you add in your gold galvanized um, um, uh, seed beads. Don't forget, it comes with the instructions, which are just here as well. Now you've got here your um, your beautiful um, uh, tassel top there, and then the connector which you get. This is so cool. This is a starfish connector. Yeah. Now, starfish uh, jewelry is huge at the minute. I mean, absolutely huge at the minute. Um, it's, it's, it's a celebs from, you know, programs like um um is it the only way is essex i think I'm, I'm pretty sure it is you wear the big kind of oversized starfish ears not that i watch it i was just reading an article about it about kind of nautical and kind of um uh, kind of um uh, sea inspired um components this is so much more uh, delicate it's got much more of a refined quality it is sterling silver i like the slightly kind of miss uh, kind of mismatched legs that it's got as well. yeah. if you've ever seen starfish in the wild they're very yeah. very rarely kind of symmetrical they've always got something else going on they're just beautiful aren't they so again 14 99 incredible and look at it with the blue that looks absolutely gorgeous monica it looks stunning love that demo wise monica uh, uh, monica what do you want to do lovely well in the instructions i've written uh, obviously how to make a tassel yeah, and i've written lovely. the instructions for the green necklace chain the one with the little halos around. oh yes uh, so that's what i've put in the instructions so yeah. i thought for the demo i would show you on the on the blue and brown necklace mm. uh, i've made the the seed beads kind of sort of wave around ah oh, nice yeah so i thought i'd show you how to do that um yeah. so i've got some of the blue um gemstones here and i'm using size 11 seed beads because okay so you can see a little bit better what i'm doing yes. real right so it's really simple i mean i've used you can do this with one needle if some people don't like using two needles but i promise you the two needle way is going to be a lot easier and a lot simpler to do so all I've got is a bit of fire line here. Um, uh, some, actually, I've got wildfire, black wildfire here. And if you were going to make a whole long necklace, I would use probably two arm lengths. And I wouldn't actually, well, let me get started and then I'll show you. Yes, um, go for it, lovely. <laughs> oh. So you're going to start off by picking up um, eight of your seed beads. Now, this will pretty much work whether you're using size 15s or size 11s. Uh, this is just a loop on the end. I've got six, seven, eight, where you're going to be attaching your your findings okay you're going to bring it down now this is what i was going to say earlier you uh, i've brought it down to the middle because i'm only using a short piece of thread here but oh thank you Alison. <laughs> oh. um but if you were using your two arm lengths for the full necklace you would bring this down to probably about um twice the length so one on one end of your thread you want to leave about twice the length of your necklace so if you're going to make about, let's say, an 18-inch necklace, you want to leave about 36 inches on the one end of your necklace, and you want a longer piece on the other end. So you probably need more than two arm lengths uh, of thread. You need quite a lot of thread for this. So you want to bring, it, bring down these beads to, as I say, not quite the middle. Then you're going to take your other needle, and you want to go through just the first one. So you're coming around in a circle at the moment uh, to create this little loop, which is going to be your attachment. Uh, so when you pull your threads tight, you get this little loop, and that's going to be where you're going to attach uh, your finding. Cute. Then you're going to bring one of your gemstones, and you're going to take your needles, both of them, through the gemstone in the same direction. Now, they won't 
well, they might fit at the same time, but it's just easier to do them one at a time. So bring one of them through, bring the other one through, and then bring your gemstone down to your seed bead. So this is your first one. Nice. Okay. Now, after that, you're going to add a seed bead. Now, what you're going to do with your seed bead is you're going to pick up your seed bead with your one needle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bring your needle through, because there you definitely won't get two needles through at the same time. So bring it through and then take your other needle and go through in the opposite direction. Mm. So whereas with the gemstone, you went through in the same direction, with the seed bead, you want to go through in opposite directions. And I'll show you why, because when you then pull your threads and you bring your seed bead down to your gemstone, Lovely. you'll see that your seed bead doesn't sit in the same direction as your gemstone. So you've got your hole in your gemstone going that way. Right, and your seed bead now sits kind of on its side, so you've got the hole in your seed bead going sideways like that, which is what you want to be able to go through uh, with your zigzag uh, seed beads afterwards. Yeah. Okay, then you're gonna pick up your next gemstone again, and then you're gonna go through again in both, uh, with both needles in the same direction again, as you did before. So just go through there, and then bring it down. Okay. So you've got your two gemstones there and you've got your little seed beads that sitting kind of sideways in the middle. Then you're going to do the same thing again. So pick up your next seed bead, take it off your needle and then go in the other direction with your other needle. Okay. Now normally I would just take the two needles and pull them each to each side, but I don't want to stick Carol in the face with a needle. So that's why you're kind of doing it awkwardly. <laughs> 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 So, and then you just carry on like that until you have the full length of your necklace. Now, if you are putting on a tassel, which is what I did, obviously, then when you get to the middle of your necklace, then what you want to do is before you put on your next gemstone, you want to put on um, your tassel. Now, in the instructions, I've made the tassel completely separately and I've attached the jump ring so you would have a finished tassel with your little jump ring on the top. So before you add, so you would add your seed bead on next, which I'll do here. When you get to the center of your necklace, all you do then is before you add your next gemstone, is you would pass both your needles through the jump ring um, uh, that's on your tassel, and then you would go through your next gemstone. Okay? So you're going to carry on like this then until you have the full length of your necklace. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then on the other end, so this is a very, very tiny little necklace here. <laughs> <laughs> But when you get to the other end, you want to make another loop again, like you've done here. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to pick up your, uh, how many did I do? I think I did eight oh gosh, on the other end. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It doesn't really matter we'll how many. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't really matter how many you put at the end, as long as it's big enough uh, to attach a jump mm. ring. Okay. So you've got your eight on the other end here. Yeah. And then you want to take your needle, your other needle, and go through all of those again, again coming around in a circle, so in the opposite direction as before. You want to go through all of those again to bring them together into a circle. Uh. And you want to go through the first one a second time with that second needle. Yeah. Because as you can see, if you just pull them like that, they're going to stay like that. So you yeah. need to go through the first one a second uh, time yeah. to bring them together into a circle. So when you pull it tight, just make sure you pull all the thread out, then you've got your little loop there on the other end as well. And then I, would, then I would take my, my shorter thread, should be nearly finished now, okay? So you can actually just uh, leave it like this for a minute. I think actually in the other necklace, I, I've tied the two threads together. You can do that too. So there's a few different ways you can finish off the thread. Uh, or you can just leave that thread there for now and just carry on with your longer thread. So with your longer thread, you're going to go back through that first gemstone. Okay, like that. And now you want to add the little zigzags on there. So because you've got your seed beads lying sideways here, you can go through them. If you just threaded everything on lengthways, you would have the hole in your seed beads going that way as well. So you can't go through sideways. Yeah. But because you've got them on their side, then you can just pick up some uh, more seed beads. Now, when I used the size 15s, I used 10 beads here, but obviously these are a little bit bigger. So if you're going to use different sizes, you just want to check that they're sort of enough on, on your needle to go around your gemstone. So I've got here, I've got six of my size 11s. I'll bring it down and see what I did wrong here, actually, sorry, going back. You need to go through the seed bead first because you want your 
little embellishment to be right next to your gemstone. So you want to go through your gemstone and your seed. Beam. Ah, right, okay. It doesn't matter in which direction because you're going through it sideways, obviously. So it yeah. doesn't matter if you're going one way or the other. And try not to get your other, other thread caught. Um, somebody, somebody's messaging asking about the size of the needle. Uh, the size I'm using. of your needle, yeah. Um, I'm using a size 10 needle here, which you can get away with, uh, with the size 15s as well, because you're not going through them a lot of times. Yeah. Um, you can also use a size 12 if you have one, but I think you should be okay with the, with the, size, uh, with the size 10, especially with the delicas, because the holes in the delicas are a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay, so I've gone through the gemstone and the seed bead. Yeah. Then I'm going to pick up my six seed beads, which are going to be the embellishment. Uh -huh. Three, four, five, six six then you can bring them down to see if that's enough to go all the way around yeah yeah it looks like it's a little bit short can you see there's a bit of a gap there yeah yeah so i'm going to put on let's say another two rather go a little bit too long than a little bit too short because if you go too short it's going to show gaps in between your seed beads whereas if it's too long that means that, that your loop is just not going to sit quite up against the gemstone but that's okay and then i'm going to go to the next seed bead along and i'm going to go through that seed bead again it doesn't really matter which direction you're going through because it's sitting on its side mm -hmm. but you'll see once you've threaded on all your gemstones and the seed beads in between they kind of decide which direction they want to sit so for the next one i would go through my next seed bead from this side to get that sort of s shape um, it will be able to twist, so it's not the end of the world if you then bring it over this way or if you oh, yes, if, if they're both facing the same way. It doesn't matter because it will be able to twist, but they kind of tell you which way they want to sit. So I'm going to pick up eight again, four, five, Presumably six. Presumably when you've got kind of two next to each other, they'll kind of yeah. stick to being opposites if, you, yeah, if, you, absolutely. if you've done it that way. So then I would go through the next one this way, and I'll show you what I mean in a second by it, that they, they can twist. Yeah. So can you see that kind of sit in an S shape oh, like that, that looks so and it nice. can flip over to the other side and twist over like that, but it kind of wants to sit that way. That way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then when you get to the end again, you want to go through the gemstone and yeah. then you can finish off your thread by tying a few uh, half hitch knots around your little loop there and you can finish off the tail thread as well. So that's why it needs a lot more thread on one end because that's the end you're going to go through with your little zigzags all the way. And the other end, you're just going to go through the length of the necklace. But you do need more than the length of the necklace because you sort of zigzagging the thread yes, as well. Yes, of course, yeah. Um, and that's it really. I mean, it's really simple. Oh, it's gorgeous And it, it kind of uses the same principles for the other one with the little halos, except you uh, you sort of turn the CBs on their side individually. But it, it's quite straightforward. It's all explained, isn't it? Well, this is it. And because uh, we had somebody messaging about the little, um, the little tassel seed bead kind of collars uh, that you've made uh, for the necklace and, and and is that covered in the instructions it yes. absolutely is in fact it's kind of pretty much steps one to 30 uh, that show you how to make that so really really fantastic so it's yes. a full set of instructions that you're getting here so thank you yeah. for that actually Monica. that's the longer part of the, the tutorial the, yes. the tassel and the tassel decoration yeah. yeah because the necklace part of it is quite straightforward as you can see from the one i've just yeah. done as well that's gorgeous thank you so much Love the effect on that one there. That's so pretty. Thank you. Now, uh, more of, um, I'm just going to put that under there because yep. I don't want you to lose those. Um, more of Monica's projects now. Um, this is one of the most successful projects we've done this year so far. It's, oh, have I got a load of stuff in front of it? Sorry. Oh my God. There we go. It's this project here. It's the uh, hmm, Mother of Pearl Alhambra inspired clover. Oh, gosh. That's really annoying me. Uh, clover <laughs> necklace project. It's absolutely incredible. Now I've got the project. Oh, do you know what? There you go. There we go. <laughs> I've got the project for you here. You get to the instructions with it, which is for the three strand necklace. This is amazing. It genuinely, genuinely, genuinely is one of the most popular projects we've done this year so far. A, because it's got the Alhambra design. Yes. B, because oh. it's in the mother of pearl and see because of the ridiculous price. Now, before we bring you the price, let me show you very quickly what you're getting. So, you've got your card of um, uh, natural silk um, in this beautiful kind of um, uh, cream color. You're then gonna be getting galvanized, uh, are they seed beads or are they no, they're, metal? No, they're metal beads. They're metal, uh, so they're, they're not precious metal, are they? I think they're metal beads. Are I can't they? remember now. They're they metal. look like they're metal, don't they? Gosh, it's and so different. Actually, I think they're gold plated glass seed beads. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, interesting. If I okay. Remember correctly. So you get your seed beads here. 
Yeah, th that's really unusual. It, metallic, mm. metallic gold glass. Yes. Gorgeous. Why not? It is these two strands, though, that really do. I mean, this is this is what's so cool. So you've got this incredible strand of clovers here, which has been which has been absolutely amazing. So well received. But for me, it's this next strand. It's the little baby strand yeah. of clovers that you're getting here. We have not done any other gem in this size. That I love those. Is that is such a beautiful strand. Love the larger one, it's absolutely gorgeous. We've done quite a few gemstones with that particular size and shape. To do it in a baby size, though, is just utterly adorable. Whether it's going to be for mother and daughter, whether it's going to be for brides and bridesmaids, whether it's going to be for you know brides and flower girls, whatever it might be. But it is literally it is such a lovely depiction of, of that of that kind of Van Cleef Alhambra style. Uh, design. They do do it in Mother of Pearl, just to let you know, and it is, and it is one of their, you know, biggest selling uh, designs. It's absolutely gorgeous. You just look at the kind of prices which they will sell these kind of um, uh, Mother of Pearl pieces for. First one, three thousand nine hundred and fifty, one thousand four hundred and thirty. You know, you know, these are the kind of prices that we're looking at here. I love the fact we've got the larger and the smaller sizes together. I think they're just gorgeous. Here we go, my lovelies, all the way down. It's an amazing price. Okay. We were at 99.99, which is absolutely amazing, but it's all the way down to 50 quid. Oh. It's amazing. So whether you're going to be going for this kind of design here, which is kind of utilized in the smaller ones and larger ones, or whether you want to have smaller ones for the earrings, larger ones for the pendants, smaller ones again for the ring, or smaller ones on the bracelet, larger ones, you know, this is just, oh, it's just, and the jewelry which you can make is just, I mean, just look at that. You've got your smaller clovers there with a the larger one at the bottom. It's, it's such easy jewelry but yes. it just it just looks so 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 high-end doesn't it monica absolutely absolutely I, I mean obviously you don't have to make them as long as i've made them i just like really wrong long oh, earrings. yeah but... why not come on <laughs> and come because, on because you get so many gemstones on those strands you that's know? it i mean i've made a full necklace a multi-strand necklace and those long and earrings. the earrings exactly uh maker of nottingham she's got two well done to you shaleen's got two what well, basically for anyone who's already bought any of our clover uh strands Yes. Please, please, please get this project because, of course, you've got the baby strand here, which we haven't done in any other gemstone. So please, please, please do bear that in mind. Two of this uh, project left. Manchester's just bought two. Middlesex has just bought two. We've got one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in baskets for the final one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just check out. It's an amazing deal. I think it's sold out. Tessie, you've taken the last one. Well done. Right. The next project is this enormous project. I mean, this is huge. You've got your natural uh, silk, which has been dyed this beautiful lavender color. Love that. Okay. Um, does this come with instructions? It does, yes. It comes with the, with the same. Oh, it comes with these instructions. Because these instructions will work with this, this kit as well. Ah, yeah, of course they will. So, yeah. Now, the mother of pearl you're getting here, oh my gosh, I love what you've done with this strand, uh, Monica. I absolutely adore this. This incredible strand, look, these, yeah, look, you get that. On, just, just for the how earrings. cool are they? How cool are those? They're just beautiful, aren't they? You then get this amazing strand. These are like spoons. They're just beautiful. I love them. Oh, the jewelry you can make with this, absolutely amazing. More mother of pearl. So that's three strands of mother of pearl you're going to be getting here. What more could you possibly add to this project? Oh, how about two strands of genuine freshwater cultured pearls? Oh my gosh. So two strands of pearls, three strands of mother of pearl. Look at the jewelry which Monica's made with these incredible, with this incredible project. It's absolutely got, look at that. Oh my that gosh. That's amazing over sort of like a high neck, like a, like a, like a boat neck black dress. Totally. Like you, I mean, honestly, Monica has gone all out with this. I have, yes. Totally all out. You don't have to do that, but to go all out with something like that, what an indulgence. 99.99 is where we're at. Go, 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 go. Phenomenal opportunity for you today. Congratulations. Two strands of genuine freshwater culture pearls and three strands of the mother of pearl as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Go, 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 go. Well done. Only a couple of opportunities remaining for this particular project. Um, now, we should not be doing anything with this price. This really should be it. For everything you're getting here, you would pay more than £100 for this necklace here, wouldn't you? 
you know, in some places with uh, precious, I mean, look at the silk with it as well. Doesn't that look gorgeous? In some places with the st with sterling silver finest, you know, gold plated silver finest, these earrings alone, you know, for a hundred pounds would be absolutely incredible. We're going lower. We're going lower. These are big, big, big statement projects you're going to be getting here today, whatever you make. I mean, you can literally be really minimalistic or you can be super indulgent like yeah. Monica's been. Here we go. 99.99. Let's halve the price. Yeah, 50 pounds. I've forgotten what prices we did for yeah, these projects. It's ridiculous, isn't it? 50 pounds, which makes each one of these strands at 50, um, uh, 10 pounds a strand. 10 pounds oh, wow. for that strand of pearls, 10 strand for that strand of pearls, 10 strand for each one of these strands of mother of pearl and your silk is free. And the instructions are free. Oh gosh, yeah, and the instructions are free. My gosh. So use the same instructions to make that huge big necklace as There you well. go. Fantastic, absolutely amazing. Richard, well done to you. Barbara, well done to you. Margaret, well done to you. Fantastic, absolutely amazing. I mean, I look at things like this and the only reason I'm saying this is because my daughter, my eight-year-old daughter is making in DT at the minute. She's making a, a wind chime and she wants to make hers oh. with shells and Ooh, sea glass yes. and things like that. I mean, this is absolutely oh, perfect, perfect, especially with that, that. with yes. the big drops you've got there. Yes. If you want to make some kind of a wind chime or something, you know, to go in the wind, you know, wind catcher, then, uh, you know, this is absolute, absolutely beautiful. Or a sun catcher and you put this at the bottom. Oh, yes. You know, how gorgeous would that be? It's amazing. Ten pound. That strand there, ten pounds a strand. I can imagine these kind of these pairs on their own being kind of you know a fiver each. Look at that. And, oh, and my also gosh. the great thing with these, which I've done before, was what you can do. The way that they're drilled on the other side mm. is the drill hole comes through the centre. So so you've got a bit of string that you can see in the oh, middle Oh, so you can there. put a bead there. So you can put a bead in the middle as if oh, it was a pearl amazing. inside the shell. Yes! Or you can put one of the pearls that comes with it. Like little kind of lockets, yes. all sorts. That's just so pretty, isn't it? Right, we've got one more project to do, which is the most, oh, it's the most incredible project. It's a bamboo project. Oh, these are, this is just such a cool, cool, cool project. You get, I mean, the jewelry that you've made, again, Monica, absolutely beautiful. Two strands of mother of pearl, bamboo shaped beads, gorgeous. Please don't forget the instructions that you get with this project as well. So two strands of white mother of pearl bamboo beads, you then get your silk, you then get these beads here. They are sterling silver. They are sterling silver bamboo beads. Three by 10 mil in size, absolutely gorgeous. Amazing, amazing, amazing. This is gonna, fl this is already flying. Maker in Lancaster, Shaolene, uh, Marion, Maker in Cambridgeshire, Maker in Gloucestershire, Jennifer, Julie, Maker in Nottinghamshire, Je uh, Maker in Oxfordshire, uh, loads and loads and loads of you there, 39.99. Makes no sense whatsoever. Absolutely gorgeous. You look at these earrings here. They're some of the simplest earrings you could possibly make as a jewellery maker. Again, Monica's been really indulgent there and put five on yeah. there. You could just get away with three if you wanted to. I would never go for, for even numbers on, on earrings and things like that. I mean, I, yes. I, I personally wouldn't go for yes. two or four. I'd go for either three or five. It's just more pleasing yeah. on the eye. But um, but yeah, I mean, you've got you've got here just, just some of the easiest earrings you will ever make. Oh, they're gorgeous. With mother of pearl and precious metal. And I don't think I've ever seen that shape in a in any gemstone that we've had so again or the bamboo shape oh it's so we've unusual it in any, i don't it's, think we've had it's it something before. we've started doing like within the last couple of months it literally is incredible oh. uh, we've done it in jadeite that's that's ah, been it yes, jadeite yes, and course. mother of pearl that's it yeah it literally is it gorgeous one left with uh with 10 in baskets oh dear amazing shall we do a huge 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 star buy um, I just need to show you very quickly the deal of the day, which is coming up in 10 minutes time. This is on pre-order. This has taken us since last September to get in stock. Um, yeah, this is incredible. Um, it's coming up at 10 o'clock. It is the only strand that we've got. We've got 97 available. Um, We've had it on air, as in we've had this variety of amber, this kind of coated um, ombre amber, two or three times, and every single time it's flown. This is the only strand we have. It's coming up at 10 o'clock. Can I just say, on pre-order already, this is selling, okay? 
fantastic. Shall we do an amazing star buy? An amazing, amazing strand of pearls. You're gonna love it, let's go. There is, there is something which honestly we, um, we, there are certain gemstones which quite honestly, I don't think that there is anybody on the planet who can do what we do. You know, having spoken to Dave a lot about pearls on and off air, having spoken to Wayne about, about pearls on and off air, there is just nobody who is doing what we are doing. Um, and it's, down to a number of key factors. And those key factors, I saw you looking at them then. Oh, I know kind that. Of uh, a bit. Um, there are a number of key factors which really make what we do so unusual. If you're a buyer for, oh, I don't know, Sainsbury's next, Tesco, whatever, you'll tend to buy a spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheets. That tends to be how you do things. Whereas we will uh, travel the globe. Uh, we will uh, not unnecessarily. We'll, 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 we are literally uh, when the guys fly out to Hong Kong, they've got meetings from you know from from you know from morning till till evening. You know, we, we literally make the most of every single second that that, that we're over there. Um, but we're meeting we're meeting pearl vendors. We're going to pearl farms. We're going to big gem fairs. We're meeting up with specialists. We're meeting up with new cutting facilities. We're meeting up with you know all these kind of different people because. By doing that, by making those connections, by making those relationships, it puts us in a much, much better position when it comes to buying um, uh, kind of offerings like this. And also we're in the front of people's minds. If they've met us and they've spent time with us, we'll be in the front of their minds. We, because we are who we are, you know, because we're not, we're not a jeweler who rely on footfall, you know, we're live uh, potentially in every, in every home in the UK right now. Um, we, um, we, are able, we're in the really fortunate position to be able to commission a hundred strands, 500 strands, a thousand strands, a thousand of something, you know, and we can, we can do that. Um, deals like this with pearls are becoming less and less commonplace. And it's because of the scarcity of deals like this, scarcity of pearls like this. So, um, Freshwater culture pearls always used to be kind of the underdog. It always used to be saltwater pearls. So you want your acoyas, you want your, you want your, um, you want your, um, oh gosh, your Tahitian, you want your golden South Sea, whatever it might be. And your freshwater culture pearls were of a lesser kind of quality. That has changed over the last, over the last year, even, you know, even, even less than a year, over the nine, last kind of nine months. What we're seeing coming out of the Far East with freshwater culture pearls is absolutely tremendous. It genuinely, genuinely years um these kinds of pearls deals like this are becoming less and less and less available because of the lack of you know because of things like um uh, viruses which are sweeping through pearl farms because of still feeling the effects of covid19 it's raising the prices of all the saltwater pearls, which means that freshwater culture pearls uh, prices are, are, are rising as well. And it means a lot of people are being priced out of the industry. We are still very lucky that we can afford uh, to bring you pearls like this. Take a look at the recording and you can see for yourself the majestic strand in front of wow. you. Wow. Mm. Mixed natural freshwater culture pearls you are looking here at the most incredible strands eight to nine mil pearls look at those natural lavenders those natural papaya colors you're getting there they are tremendous aren't they wow this is exactly the kind of strand that i know a lot of you are going to be looking at and going, gosh, do you know what? That is so lovely. That's going to be way out of my price range. It's going to be way, way out of what I can afford to get. You know, ugh. all I'm going to ask you to do is, you know, look at each one of these pearls as an individual. I'm going to count how many you're getting on the strand just very quickly. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. 50 pearls on this strand, 50 wow. pearls, yeah? That's a lot, that's a lot. 50 pearls on the strand and just look at them. 
the size, the shape, the orient, the nacre, they're all beautiful. They're all genuine freshwater culture pearls. Shall we start somewhere silly? Yeah, to show you that we're serious. Now, that's 10 pounds per pearl. So you could make a pair of earrings for 20 pounds. You are not going to be selling those earrings for 20 pounds. Not likely. <laughs> you could get this, this strand of pearls. You could knot them with this silk that was in the mother of pearl project we just literally bought to you. You could knot that, put a, a precious metal clasp on the back. And I'm absolutely certain sell that for um, easily. Well, easily the price point on screen. Easily. By the way, we are nowhere near. Let's half the price. Let's take it down to five pounds per pearl. 249 pounds. Now, there are loads of boutiques out there where you go and try and find natural lavender, natural papaya colored pearls. And you try and get a pair of earrings for 250 pounds of natural purple pearls, natural papaya colored pearls. Maker in Swansea, you've got two. Angela, Marge, well done. Now these launched on the 2nd of March this year. Down to our last couple of opportunities. Your split payments are down to £62.25. Why don't we take £100 off the price? One, four, nine. That is now £3 per pearl. You show me anywhere in the industry that is bringing you a deal like that for genuine freshwater culture pearls of this caliber. You sh and do you know what we've had? We've got our, uh, our sister channel over there. We've got uh, Gemporia. And one of the buyers for their channel is a lovely girl called Rachel. And she does a lot of the buying. She buys turquoise. She will sometimes buy, uh, you know, lots of different gemstones. She tends to focus more often on turquoise. That's kind of her gemstone, her speciality. And she produces on Jewelry Maker sometimes. We bought a pearl deal to air for our birthday celebrations where it was a thousand strands of pearls. And she looked at that strand of pearls and she looked at the cost on that strand of pearls and said there is no way that they would be able to buy the pearls that we bought here at Jewelry Maker for that price. That's our sister channel. That's our sister channel. 149, we're not done. Elizabeth Kim, Maureen, well done to you. We're not done. How many do we have available, Neary? Janina, well done to you. We've got nine chances remaining. Go, go, go. Surely, Monica. You not that, you put a precious metal clasp on the back. Absolutely. You are not going to get that valued at £149. At least 500 At least, oh my gosh. And you you know you were saying earlier about how the saltwater pearls used to have more sort of, well, they still do, but not as much more sort of... Providence. Providence, yeah. yeah. I think that's because freshwater cultured pearls, when they started coming out yes uh they were sort of your 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 basic potato white or cream potato yes. pearls yes. and that was it yes. if it looked like this yes they were salt water pearls you're so right you're absolutely right the the the, the freshwater culture pearl farms have mm. upped their game so much in the last few years and what's happening is i say the last few years well how come we're only just seeing these because it takes these pearls about three four years to form so it's almost like it was kind of, you know, they were predicting what was happening. They saw what was happening with saltwater pearls. They saw what was happening with them, um, with them, um, the likes of uh, new of um, uh, what do you call them, Edison pearls, which only launched onto the market ten years ago. And they thought, right, we better up our game. And that's exactly what they've done, which is why you're only just seeing these pearls. One, two, nine for you today. There is not a place on earth that can that can compete with us for size, for shape, for nacre, for orient, for quality. And most importantly, 
price because we can bring you the best quality in the world but if it's going to be 1200 quid there's only going to be like a tiny amount of you that can actually afford them today they're 129 pounds and they're on four-way split pay which is interest-free today your split payments are 32.25 that's less than a takeaway that's less than a blooming takeaway today we've got angela we've got Anne, we've got heather we've got hilda we've got maker and linkage has got two janina elizabeth kim maker and swanty's got two angela linda maureen loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of you there congratulations well done uh, Linda, if you want three strands, my lovely, check out. Go, go, go. Pauline in Cornwall, well done to you. Can you believe £129 is your price point today? It's tremendous. What does that work out to per pearl? £2.58 per pearl. You can make a pair of naturally coloured lavender purple pearl earrings. For about a fiver. For about a fiver. <laughs> Sorry, I finished a sentence there. <laughs> but yeah, look, I mean, honestly, can you imagine a place on earth? that can do that it's jewelry maker not even gemporia can do that it's jewelry maker well done it's amazing isn't it it makes me it just I, I just love it i love it oh these pearls are lovely and are as shown thank you catherine that's really lovely thank you my darling don't go anywhere ombre blue amber after the break, we have been waiting since last September for these. This is going to go crazy. We'll see you in a sec. Would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewellerymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. 
Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 24th, and I'll be with the lovely Elle and the fabulous team. Uh, at nine o'clock, we have got some beautiful floral pendants. I'm going to be walking through how you go about setting those. And then at 12 o'clock, we have so many goodies. It's all about metal smithing, forging metal. Uh, so we've got lots of hammers, steel block. There's a new tool as well, a new tool that will help you um, if you're uh, soldering at the minute and you're struggling to get everything set up, this is going to be really useful for you. Um, so I really look forward to sharing all that with you guys and I hope you can join me on Friday. See you then. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Like it, you just don't like change, Neary. Hmm? Come on. It did. I know. It, I know. The last one was a little bit more. There, there was a bit more drama, wasn't there? This is a bit more. Hey, come and get the deal of the day if you want. The other one was get the deal of the day. I uh, yeah. I reckon Bruce. I, yeah. Mm, I don't know. For something like this, I think we need the old one because this honestly is, it is ridiculous. And um, what we've got for you today is just such an exciting opportunity. And this is literally um, a chance for you to get something that was, I mean, we saw the moment when this, when this kind of meeting happened. Let me show you actually. Um, this was uh, last September and uh, Wayno and Georgia, who are in the middle there, yeah they are, uh, went over to Hong Kong. They went over to Hong Kong, it was a, it was a, it was a gem show. It was a gem show which mainly was specialising in uh, rubies and sapphires. They were the kind of the main standout gemstones that people were going on about. But, um, you know, you know, with all these kind of things, there is literally every gemstone in the world there. Um, and so this was last September. Now, they weren't expecting to, well, they hadn't arranged to meet uh, Marius, but Marius was there. Um, and you can see uh, Marius. Marius is the head of a company called Jello, who are based over in Gdansk in uh, Poland, and they specialize in Baltic amber. Um, they are, it, it's a family run business, him and his brother, Andrew. Uh, run the business it is quite incredible. You, I mean, please don't think of huge, great big factories. Uh, the size of the their headquarters is about the size of a I don't know a, a kind of like a, a, a I don't know a four bed detached house. You know, we're not talking we're not talking massive at all. We're talking about a relatively small family run business. However, be under no uh, 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 illusion. These guys sell amber, genuine Baltic amber, to all corners of the globe. So their main markets are into, uh, into the west, but over into the east, over into the Chinese market, um, that area of their business has absolutely boomed. And it's interesting, um, uh, I remember going over there um, seven years ago, uh, I went over there with lovely Chloe Jones, who uh, was here for our, our Masked uh, Managers uh, event, which was back in February. You might have remembered seeing her on the show then with lovely Elle. Um, and I remember going over there seven years ago, which seems like a lifetime ago, and seeing the difference in what we sourced then, which was very, very traditional, versus what we source now. Now, the two things could not be more different. So back seven years ago, 
when I first went over to uh, Poland. And, and I think the, the important thing for us with when we're sourcing our amber is uh, we want to make sure, we wanted to make sure that what we were getting was the real deal. Now, the relationship with Marius and the team at Jello has been going on for, for, for you know, well over a decade, especially with the Gemporia group. He's, a, he's in our Hall of Fame uh, um, here at the studios. There's a, you know, there's an image, uh, there's a kind of like a portrait of him along with people like, um, 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 we've got uh, um, Glenn Lehrer, we've got Debbie Cavill, we've got um, uh, Jake Thompson, we've got um, uh, Dave Troth, of course we've got Steve Bennett as well, we've got Toby Cavill as well, and they've all got their portraits, and, and Marius's portrait is up there as well, oh and Charlie Barron uh, uh, um, as well, and um, what's wonderful about all of those people is they are all main, they are all incredibly uh, prolific uh, uh, pro, uh, they have pr uh, prolific profiles within the gem world, within the jewellery world. But Marius and the team is one of the only, only kind of, uh, he's one of the only guys featured in that Hall of Fame who supply amber all over the world. And it's genuine Baltic amber. Now, all amber should be, pretty much uh, all amber, should be heat and pressure treated. Um, now, heat and pressure treatment is basically where you heat it up in a conventional oven, literally an oven, uh, to about 180 degrees. And what that does is it helps to bring out the natural richness of the colour. Um, you can't really make it go a colour it doesn't want to go. Just by heating it up, it will just help bring out that, that richness of colour. And the pressure treatment is basically put in something about this big, um, which is like a pressure cooker. And the pressure treatment, if it's not chemically treated, the pressure treatment just helps to bring out the clarity, the kind of natural kind of clarity of, of, of the uh, amber. Um, that literally is it. Now, a few years ago, we decided that we wanted to branch out into the world of uh, coated ambers. And that might be what you're familiar with when you've seen strands before here at Jewelry Maker of the solid reds and the solid blues, okay? What I've got for you today, um, Wayne, when Wayne saw Marius and, and, and spent a good kind of hour on his stand and they were chat, 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 chatting um, about different things. What makes the, uh, the relationship we've got with them so fantastic is we can go to them with ideas. Now, we've got this incredible Clover Alhambra, which I'm not even going to kind of mention too much about now. But that was basically a classic case of us going to them with an idea. The difference in what we source now from Marius and the team versus seven years ago, it could not be more different. Seven years ago, it was um, the nugget strands of Baltic amber. It was, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the beautiful kind of pears maybe, which were set with sterling silver and brought to you in very beautiful, but very kind of traditional, very conventional pendants. You can buy these pendants kind of really kind of anywhere in Gdansk, you know, the, the, what, what, what we were doing wasn't anything massively different. Then we started to do things like ask for round ambers. Now, round ambers, uh, ambers are very, very difficult to achieve. You don't cut an amber, you have to polish it. If you start to cut an amber, it'll heat up and it'll melt or, or it, just, it, just, it just breaks because it's basically fossilized tree resin, which is 40 to 100 million years in age. So very, very difficult to get that round shape. So when we went to them and said, we'd like to get round ambers, I remember the conversation because um, Victoria, who was one of our buyers back then, was saying, that Marius couldn't really get his head round why we wanted round and then she sent him a design which she'd seen which was made out of plastic beads which she absolutely loved and said right I understand what you want. Marius and the team have got an amazing knack of us giving them a brief, us literally sending them a photograph of what we want and them running with it and literally they have not once come back with anything that we've been like, oh, you've kind of missed the point of that. You're kind of, oh, it's good, but it hasn't quite hit the mark. I want to share with you, because this is Wayne, Wayne's upstairs at the minute. Wait, um, this, is, this is Wayne's baby. This is, this, what we've got here for you today in this single strand is Wayne's absolute, it's the brainchild of, 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 of Wayne. It is such an awesome, awesome, awesome item that we've got for you today. 
We've done this once before in a strand and we've done it in a pendant design. Now the pendant, which I remember, which we launched a few years ago, absolutely, it blew, it blew my mind. I want to share with you the kind of inspiration behind this strand. So have a look at the recording of this incredible strand. Oh my gosh. I mean, that literally, that takes, that takes your breath away, doesn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? Ombre coated amber with the most incredible blues, greens, yellows. Do you want to see the inspiration for this strand? Do you want to see the inspiration? Have a look at this. So Wayne wanted, he know, we all know what amber can look like. When you look at it, it's like looking into another world. And we wanted to create an amber strand that was like looking into an aquarium, an underwater world, like looking at, um, sorry, Niri, like looking at images like this. So you can see here, bottom, bottom uh, right, you've got a coral reef, top right, you've got uh, a coral reef kind of from the air. Look at those incredible colors. The, the top left-hand side one is when you get that, um, oh, I've, the name's completely gone. When you get the, uh, the plankton. Like the luminescent. Polyluminescent, thank yeah. you, plankton, uh, which, which emit light uh, and, you t and you see it at night time and it's plankton basically emitting this incredible polyluminescence um, uh, in, their, in, their, in, uh, in their bodies. Uh, and, and you get it kind of, you get that light coming through, filtering through the waves of the ocean. And of course, light entering the sea that you know sunlight filtering through that's exactly and i think do you know what looking at the strand and looking at the kind of brief i think that is absolutely mission accomplished genuinely mission accomplished now i've got the solid red i've got the solid blue the solid strands are really really beautiful they're gorgeous they're very very um they're very very strong in color they're absolutely gorgeous We've only attempted the ombre amber literally a couple of times. And it was just down to that chance meeting last September in Hong Kong when Wayne bumped into Marius. And the, the reason why I'm showing you that slide there, because that, that that, that's Marius at the same gem show. And he was talking about amber and he was talking about some amber that, um, some amber deal that they put together, which was gonna be launching, I think round about Christmas time, whenever it might've been. But to be able to say it was that moment there when Wayne said, look, please, I know it's a real pain. I know it's, it'll, it's going to take a long time for you to do. And it's because this is exclusively done for Jewelry Maker, by the way. Lots of the designs which you've gone to them with in the past, like rounds, like uh, the rosary linked uh, pieces that we bought to you before, like the Alhambra ones. Those are the kind of designs which they are going to be rolling out and offering to other people. Of course, you know, once they've, once they've done this, yeah. The last strand and the only, really the only other strand we've ever done of this, 2021 was when we bought it to you, yeah? That's three years ago. This is so special. And like I say, I've got the solid colors coming up. If you want, if you want them, fantastic, amazing. But this opportunity, one strand, we have 97 chances available. Once it's gone, it's literally going to be gone. Now, this has been on pre-order. This has been on the pre-order for the last hour. Of that 97, 25 have gone. Now, unfortunately, I don't have jewellery made up with this. Monica was like, oh, my jewellery! Uh, but because <laughs> we've only got 97 available, Oh, I'm really sorry, Monica. I mean, we. Oh. Oh, you just didn't want to give it to me, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not at all, lovely. It's just, I mean, you look at this. I mean, it's unlike. This is unlike. I mean, this is the kind of thing that Murano Glass wants to look like. Yeah. This is like, oh, look at that. It's, this for me is the closest you're going to get to wearing like an aquarium 
or an underwater world around your neck. It's, it's just, it is terrifically beautiful. It is awe-inspiring. And it brings out the natural internal characteristics of that amber so beautifully. I love it. I just love it. Best of luck. It's the only strand we've got. Graphics Alive. Graphics Alive. Fantastic. Congratulations. Well done. Swansea's got three. Jalanta in Warwickshire. Pauline in Cornwall. Emma in West Midlands. Maker in Lincolnshire's got two. Hazel in Hampshire. Heather in Hearts. Maker in Renfrewshire. Tina in Hampshire. Jennifer in Tyne and Weir. Angela in West Midlands. Beverly in North Yorkshire. Angela in Surrey. Anonymous Bidder, Christine in Bedfordshire, Maker in Gloucestershire, Sharon in Caerphilly, Angela in the West Midlands, Janina in Kent, Maker in Lancaster, Claire in Wiltshire, another Anonymous Bidder, well done to you. Jennifer, fantastic, well done to you as well. There's loads and loads and loads of you there. Lancaster's just bought two, Lincolnshire's just bought two, Sylvia on the Isle of Anglesey, Claire in Wiltshire, Anonymous Bidder, Anne in Cumbria. I've got you all there. This is phenomenal. Ronald in Lanarkshire, congratulations. Maker in Greater Manchester, well done to you as well. This is the kind of thing, we know it's gonna be popular, we know it's gonna sell out, it is literally just a matter of time. Isn't it just gorgeous? Now, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this moniker and I'm thinking, right, what am I gonna put that with? Because there's part of me that's thinking, I wanna make a bracelet, I just wanna make a massive bracelet and I'm gonna wear, but almost, I always feel, I'd always feel guilty about doing that, like it's wasting it by yes. putting it all in one piece. Yes. So if you were to mix it up with other gems, I mean, Ooh. I'm, I, I'm fascinated by, I mean, I, I, I watch programs like Blue Planet with my kids. Yes. And the episodes which fascinate me the most are the ones about the deep, dark depths that we, yes. you know, we only know kind of five percent of the ocean or whatever it might be. I would love to see this with the black jet that we've got coming up today. Yeah. The strands of black jet to get solid black, but with one of these in the middle. I yes. mean, that is going to highlight that gem to such great avail and it's going to make the jet pop as well isn't it it is yes but I'm if you thinking, want to put it with the pearls I'm i mean if you're going sort of with a sea sea yes. theme, maybe with abalone as well oh oh my gosh yeah and i was thinking earlier yes here she comes this is coming up in the 12 o'clock oh my gosh <laughs> what have you seen these neary this is like we've been to Mayuki, because these are made by Mayuki, and we've said to them, can you make us... Oh my Something God, this is crazy. <laughs> it's like we've said to them, I'm going to send you a photograph of a strand of uh, coated um, uh, ombre amber. Can you make us some seed beads, some, some delicas that will yeah. go with these? And they've gone, oh, oh, oh yeah, all right then. <laughs> it's, like, it's like they've been made out of the same... What's going on? That is literally brother from another mother. <laughs> One's Baltic amber, the other's Japanese uh, delicas. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. It's the same stuff. <laughs> that's that is that is so it's, weird. It is, yeah. Love that. Honestly, I'll be honest with you. I, 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 it is so difficult to know where to start with these because. We bought you one strand. And Neary, it was before you um, were my producer. It was actually when, it was actually when, no, well, when we launched the pendant, we did it on a bank holiday Monday, either in, it was either August or it might have been May, and we did a pendant. And I remember looking at it and I'd literally, I could hardly speak. It was like looking into an aquarium. I'm lucky enough to have been to um, the aquarium, the massive aquarium out in um, Dubai. And uh, it is literally three stories high. And you look at it and it's just, it, you are there. You are transfixed for, not, for hours, for literally hours. And it was the first time I'd ever seen the ombre amber. And it literally, it took my breath away. We bought you that pendant. One strand, I don't know if we bought you any others, maybe we have, I don't know. I've got the blue amber teardrop pendant. Oh, the one that you're talking about, it's amazing. Alison, I've literally got goosebumps. It's amazing, isn't it? You look at it and it's like being, it's like being, it's like being transported to an underwater world. You know when you see people in those kind of glass um, uh, submarines? Yes. And you think, oh my gosh, if only. I mean, I would love to, I would 
the fear of God, because I get terribly agoraphobic, but, but, but looking out and just seeing that silent world. I mean, gosh, it's like looking at that silent world. The same kind of meditative state that you go into when you look at a, uh, uh, an aquarium, I, I can almost imagine the same meditative state, like literally feeling your pulse just slowing down, your heart, your heartbeat slowing down, looking at these. It's just, it's just transfixing, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Let's start, I tell you what, let's start under 400 pounds. I mean, where do you even start with something like this? I love it. You've got to admit, that is a, that is a really, really good looking strand, isn't it? It's beautiful, beautiful. For what it is, and yet with actually, when you consider we've had more strands of red jade, more strands of black jade, more strands of, I don't know, kind of your, your kind of Mickey Moto inspired pearls than we've had this. This is amazing, isn't it? They're 10 mil. I mean, that is a, oh, there you are. That, that's a spinner ring right there. That's a spinner ring. Imagine that in a ring which you can move and you can look at every time you feel overwhelmed and you can look at it and just go, oh, I, I could have done with this yesterday. I was feeling, I was feeling terrible yesterday. I don't know what it was, oh. whether it was the weather, I don't know what it was. Anxiety all over the place. And if I, you know, to look at something like that and just to focus on it and go, it's okay. Tomorrow's gonna be better. It's okay. Honestly, it will pass. And that, uh, well, yeah, well, you're, yeah, you're so right. Where else? Okay, where else are you going to get a strand of cognac amber from with this kind of size, this kind of shape? You're going to get on the phone to Marius, aren't you? You're going to get on the phone to Marius. You're going to get on the blower to Marius and you're going to say, listen, Marius. You bought us that incredible, you made, we commissioned, you made exclusively for us that incredible strand back in 2021. Do you remember that? I mean, well, 2021, does anyone actually, 2021, we're in the depths of COVID. Yeah, I remember, I mean, I remember when what? we had the sun, it was still at Ivy House. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Gosh, we're talking kind of three studios ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's crazy. We're at 399. We're literally smashing these prices. I tell, you, I tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna half the price. Half the price. It's incredible, isn't it? 199. 199. I just love it, I just love it. Now obviously, we're gonna try, based on the popularity of this, to get some more of the ombre amber. I mean, this is, this is a serious, a serious ask. When we've got things which are exclusively made for jewellery maker, yeah, so, so it's not something which is run of the mill, it's not something which is mass produced, even by our, even by Jell-O's standards, because the difference between Jell-O and, and the other kind of, the other way we, which we bring you gemstone strands is we've uh, got our own lapidris, we've got our own drillers, we've got, you know, they, they are working, not, not, not exclusively for, well, no, they are. A lot of them are working exclusively for Jewelry Maker and the, and the wider Gemporia group. You've got Marius there, who is selling stuff to the Far East, he's selling stuff to the States, he's selling stuff back into the um, uh, domestic market, you know, all over the world. You know, and so to do something exclusively for us, yes, we do buy a lot, but to do something exclusively for us, it's a big risk. It's a huge investment for them. When I went out there seven years ago, did I see any, any of this uh, incredible, well, did I see any of the plain uh, colored coated ambers? Nope. Did I see any of this, oh, this, this kind of, this kind of pioneering, this kind of pioneering, for want of a better kind of expression, art to art form, this wasn't even, this wasn't even on the table. This wasn't, it just hadn't even been spoken about. Look how far we've come. Minute clock, down to your final price. This is gonna absolutely, this is gonna sell out today. Congratulations, well done. Fifty seconds. 
In baskets, Maker and Ayrshire, a boiler. We've got Catherine, we've got Lorraine, we've got Ronald, Sylvia, Claire, Beverly, Tina, Jennifer, Angela, Sharon, Maker in Gloucestershire. We've got Maker, we've got Christine in Bedfordshire. We've got Maker in Ayrshire. We've got bidders from all over the country. And they're just the names that I can see with this in their baskets. We're gonna take the price point down by quite some way. If it's taken us three years to get this strand back in. And this was only because we saw Marius at the Gem Show back in September, the 20 something of September last year, that we've been able to get this. Just literally because we had that face-to-face -face meeting, totally um, uh, impromptu meeting. Goodness knows how long it's gonna be till we bring you the next strand. Ready? Take advantage now. It's gonna sell out. Are you ready? £129 for you today. Oh my gosh. On the strand, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 20 on the strand. 20 beads on the strand. Which makes each one of these £6.45 wow. per bead. I'm not being funny. I mean, Monica, you take that bead there. You put that in a wire work spinner ring. Oh, yeah. That's got to be. I mean, that is that is the kind of jewellery you could make and sell for kind of, I don't know, 70, 80 pounds maybe. I right. mean, that's just, would, it's just incredible. I would say more than that, because even if you ignore the special colour, if you went with just ordinary amber that size in a ring, I would say it's got to be over 100 pounds. Each bead is individually so beautiful. Yeah. That is a pair of earrings. They're going to cost you less than thirteen pounds. Wow! Those two. So unusual. So different. Would you put it with things like your sea glass, maybe? Maybe. Something frosted, maybe. Actually, think, those frosted I'll, sea foam sea beads would look lovely yeah, with these. I was thinking maybe something completely the opposite, like lava rock. Oh gosh, what a great idea. That's a great yeah. shout, yeah. Why not? I mean, I thought maybe the jet because it's dark, yeah. it's black, it's kind of it's kind of satiny. Yeah. There's so many people that Alison's bought two, Doreen's bought two, Cumbria's bought two, Lancaster's bought two. It's gone completely nuts. It's gone completely, completely crazy. I think you know what we're thinking. We are double over allocated. We know what deal you'd like to see. We are double over allocated. We've got one more price. You know what price we're going to do, don't you? You know how low we are about to go. You know what we're going to do. Vicky, well done. I bet you're glad you've just literally come through. Maker and Conway, I bet you're glad you've just come through. Because honestly, I have got over 80 in baskets. We are double over allocated. And we've got one final price. Please don't miss out on this. It's taken us since 2021 to get this back in. It's yours today. Absolutely incredible. Elizabeth, Elizabeth in Greater London, well done to you. Patricia, I can see you there. Well done. There are so many. Oh, Manchester's just taken two. I'm loving this. This is so exciting to see you all. Congratulations. Well done. 10 seconds and we're taking it down. It's taken us and it's taken us since 2021 to get this. Are you ready? You know where we're going. Get ready. It's yours today. Enjoy. Wow. What a privilege. 99.99. That is your deal today. Available on three split payments of 33 33 It's yours. Anjum's got two. Manchester's got two. Lincolnshire's got two. East Sussex has got two. Congratulations. Well done. It's gone absolutely crazy. Go, 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 go. Loads and loads and loads of you coming through. Well done, everybody. It, it, it's just, it, it's such an amazing chance today. Such a rare opportunity. You know, when we've got this inspiration, 
And we've said, Mar and we've never known Marius, uh, Marius to, uh, uh, to disappoint. When we've got this inspiration, do you reckon you could create an incredible coated ombre amber that, that, that is reminiscent of this? Of the, I mean, these are the images which I've got, um, but you know, reminiscent of the underwater, you know, an underwater world, like standing at the glass of an aquarium and losing hours. Do you reckon, Marius, you could replicate that? No problem. Absolutely. Here it is. It's just, it's just, it's just absolutely exquisite. It's, it's such an exciting chance for you today. Congratulations, well done. Sally in New, uh, Yorkshire, Elizabeth, uh, Lisa, maker in Oxfordshire, Angela, Joanne, maker in Ayrshire, a boiler, uh, Catherine, Lorraine, Claire, Beverly, Jennifer, oh gosh, Angela, Lorraine, oh my word, maker in Gloucestershire, another maker, Christine, Annette, well done to you. Elizabeth, well done to you in Shropshire and in Kent. Well done. Go, 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 go. What a deal. So many multi bidders, so many people coming through. This is your chance. And also, I mean, Monica, it's, it's just incredible that we've got it right now, you know, just in time for summer. How wonderful oh, is that? Absolutely, <gasps> yes. Perfect. I can imagine anyone who's going to be going maybe on a cruise ship or something like this, this is going to be exactly the kind of jewelry that you want to wear. Do you know what it makes me think of? Go um, on. In the Maldives, you get these hotel rooms that are underwater. Yes! Oh my gosh! Yeah. And you can, can you imagine? Oh, well. Can you imagine that? <laughs> or restaurants that are kind of, I, I'm, yes. sure, I'm sure they've got one in Dubai, kind of a restaurant that's under underwater. Yeah. I mean, can you actually imagine that? I mean, goodness knows how much it must be to stay or even eat there or even have a glass of water there. But, you know... You know, with the, with the total kind of lack of any of us being able to actually afford to be able to do that. I mean, this is the next best thing, isn't it? Bringing it to you for 99.99. Incredible. Corrine, well done to you, my lovely. Well done to Lisa, Elizabeth, well done to you, Lisa. Well done to you, Joanne, Maker and Ayrshire. Oh gosh, there's so many people there. It's absolutely incredible. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Go, 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 go. 0800 644 Yeah, why not? Here we go. Look at this, look at everyone. So this is everyone who's come through and checks out, God love you. And this is everybody who's got this in their baskets. Check out, all of you lot need to check out. Get it sorted. Loads and loads and loads of you with these in baskets. Oh, look at everyone, well done. I, I could not be happier for you. Congratulations, every single one. So the reason why the screen's doing that is because there's more people joining us. Look at this, look at this. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads, and loads of you there. Congratulations, look at that. the names just keep going. Oh my gosh. It's absolutely crazy, isn't it? Oh my word, well done. What a deal for you today. Congratulations, well done everybody. It's absolutely tremendous. What have we got left, Neary? 20. How many in baskets? 60. 60 in baskets for the last 20. Everyone's gonna check out though, aren't they? As I mean, as soon as we take the graphics off, everyone's going to check out, aren't they? As my son would say, that's not mathing. <laughs> that's not mathing, Mum. <laughs> well, we could. I tell you what, we could just. Should we just close the auction? Should we just close the auction? You, you want to sell out during the live auction? Well, we're going to have to do something with the price. Shall we give you another minute clock? Shall we? We are wringing everything out of this. Oh my gosh. Can we actually do this? Are we allowed? I'm not sure we're actually allowed to do this, but well, we could, we could. Oh. Okay. 40 seconds. We're going to give you a little bit of money back in your pocket. Anjum two, Manchester two, Janina two, Maker in Cumbria and Lancaster two, Lincolnshire, Maker. Multi buyers all over the country. We're taking the price point down one final time. 20 beads on the strand, making each one of these gorgeous ombre coated op um, um, uh, ambers £4.50 each. Ready? Steady? Eighty nine ninety nine. That deal 
that quality that we have not had since 2021 is yours today for 89.99. Hugest congratulations to absolutely everybody there. Congratulations, well done. Don't forget, just during that, the Hong Kong show back in September last year, when Wayne and Georgia met up with Marius and the team there. This is where this, please, 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 Marius, please, 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 can we have more of the ombre amber, please? Just one strand, it's taken since September last year to be able to bring you this incredible deal. It's yours today, enjoy. 89.99, Gerda, Anna, Patricia, Heather, Corrine, uh, Lisa, Angela, Joanna, Boiler, Catherine, Lorraine, C Claire, Beverly, Jennifer, Gerda, it's just Christine, Angela, Maker, Maker, Jennifer, there's Beverly, there's so many people still with this in their baskets. Check out as soon as you can, congratulations, well done. The quality, and let's just, let's just one final time, look at the inspiration, this, whether it's an aquarium, whether it's an underwater world, whether it's, whether it's a coral reef, whether it's light coming through the seawater, whatever it might be, it's yours today. All of that, enjoy. Minute to close. Congratulations, well done. Go, 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 go. Patricia, Heather, Curry. there's so many people there. Please check out, we are literally down. Less than 20 opportunities remaining. Heather, check out my lovely. Go, 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 go. If it's taken us since 2021 to get this strand back in, goodness knows how long it's gonna be to get this quality back again. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations, well done. You've literally got 40 seconds, well done. So many still in baskets. What a deal for you today, absolutely incredible. Can't, can't believe we've done that today. What a privilege and a pleasure to be able to bring this to air. Still to come, more amber, still to come, jet, still to come, the most amazing projects coming up in the uh, 12 o'clock as well with gorgeous hex beads and seed beads. You're gonna love all of it. Um, absolutely fantastic, congratulations everybody. Well done, go, go, go. Yeah, loads and loads and loads of people. The last few chances. Single figures, less than 10 available. Well done. 17 baskets for the last eight. Go, 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 go. Well done. Oh, yeah, we'll update you when it sells out. Amazing. Right, where now? Woo! What should we do now? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, right. Uh, we've got another exclusive deal coming up right now, uh, which is exclusively made for Jewelry Maker by Jello and the team. Uh, it's time for the Amber Clovers. Let's go. So do check out that, that we've got another one that's just gone to Sylvia and Kent and another one to Gerda. We're literally down to the last handful. So if you want to get it, get it now. Now for something completely different, which, um, oh gosh, again, like I've already said, Marius and the team out in um, uh, Poland, they, uh, you know, we give them a brief and they have never, ever, ever let us down with, with what they've delivered. It's always been over and above what we thought possible. It's always been just incredible. Um, uh, to be able to make something like this is tremendous. And actually Wayne's brief to Marius and the team was, you know, the Van Cleef Alhambra design, whether they said yes or no, you know, we would have issued them with lots and lots of kind of different um, bits of inspiration. Can you make a load of amber connectors? Uh, which which can be connected together to make an incredible necklace. Well, they well they did. They they got the amber connectors, but then they connected them together and made necklaces out of them. Which actually wasn't something that we what we asked them to do. But it's a classic thing which Jello do, which is under promising and over delivering. The quality of what you're getting here today is as fine as I would say as fine as what Van Cleef are doing. For me, it is as fine. Now this is set into sterling silver. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is set into sterling silver. What you're seeing is what you're gonna be getting. Yep, a ready-made amber sterling silver necklace. You don't need to do anything to that. You don't have to set anything with that, that's all done. And we've also got this one here. 
Both of these are ludicrously beautiful. What makes these so special is, first of all, the level of quality that's applied by Jello, by the team there, and creating these incredible pieces. So if you've ever seen Alhambra inspired pieces and some of our earlier strands that we did, uh, kind of, I'm talking kind of a year or so ago, they were clover strands, they were kind of Alhambra inspired, but maybe the clover leaves were a bit too pointy or, you know, they're a bit thin, a bit skimpy or, you know, whatever it might be. When you look at the Van Cleef and Arpel design, you notice very quickly it has changed quite a lot since its, since its beginnings. In, in the beginnings, it was, it was very much a four leaf clover design. And the leaves, instead of being rounded like that, did have that kind of traditional clover shape on them, like a shamrock. Yeah. Um, but when you look at the Alhambra design and you look at what it actually is, you're actually looking at four circles, which are kind of, I mean, they're not concentric, but you've got a, a, a circle at kind of north, south, east and west. And imagine and imagine a um, and imagine a line being drawn around them. That's basically your design. OK, now. What we have got here is pretty much exactly that design. And it's been carved out of amber. So the original Van Cleef sketch looked like this. That's the original sketch. Okay. What Van Cleef have now, uh, what Van Cleef have now kind of evolved to is a design which is pretty much identical to this. How, yeah, I mean, you can see it. You can see it on, 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 on the Queen Consort. You can see it on Mariah Carey. You can see it on that lady in the middle. You can see it on the, the Princess of Wales. You can see it on all of them. You can see, you can see that concentric circles. You can see how the design has, has evolved, how it's changed, yeah? There is one big difference, though. And actually, no. When, when, when you look at the design, and you can see it on all of these, actually, go back to that last image there. That one there. Stop. There. If you look at this design here and you look at how these pieces are made, you look at that kind of slab of malachite and it's put into what looks like almost an apple design or whatever that is. I don't know what that is. But look at the, look at the, um, look at the uh, beadwork. Um, look at the metalwork. That's known, I mean, it's, it, it, it's basically metal beading, but it's known as kind of a pie crust finish where you get that kind of almost crinkled kind of edge around the metalwork. That's one thing which we haven't achieved in a lot of our clover designs. Quite often with our clover designs, it is it is just the um, it is it is just the um, it is just the gemstone. What we're doing so well uh, um, with this is we're putting a sterling silver surround by it. But even better, we are going for that beaded pie crust finish around the edge. That really does make a difference, and that really does bring it even closer to the Van Cleef design, doesn't it, Monica? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it just? Also, one of the other differences you sometimes see is where the metal meets the gem, there's sometimes a bit of a gap or, you know, the, sh the shape of the metal doesn't really match up with the shape of the gemstone. Well, it matches it beautifully. It hugs the gem so well. There is one major problem, though. What is the big difference between this and what Van Cleef are bringing you. Well, theirs is almost exclusively in 18 karat gold. Okay, well, ours is in sterling silver. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. What gem do they do the Alhambra in? Gosh, so many gemstones. Onyx, Tiger's Eye, Malachite, Mother of Pearl, Carnelian. What gemstone do they not do the Alhambra design in? Baltic Amber. If you want to get the Alhambra inspired design and you want to get it, oh my gosh, you want to get it in a gemstone that isn't available. Then go for this because this is genuine Baltic Amber. We've literally only got a couple of opportunities available, less than 10 chances. Okay, we're going to play this necklace first. This is literally 
one of the most indulgent deals we have ever done on JM. This is ready made. Ready made. This is a vast, I mean vast, 23 to 25 inch necklace with lemon, cognac and cherry, Baltic amber, Alhambra inspired bezel set clovers. Oh my gosh. Now you look at that price point there and I know it's not 18 karat gold and I know it's not Van Cleef, but still at that price point of 2,796 pounds, I challenge you to find a Van Cleef piece anywhere with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 motifs for anywhere near that price. Anywhere near. Look at that, that's ready made. That, you literally do nothing. This is embarrassing, isn't it? This isn't even jewelry maker, this is jewelry, jewelry seller. You know, this is, this is ready made. By all means, if you wanna take it apart, you wanna use it across different pieces, you wanna make rings. I mean, these little baby ones here would make amazing rings, wouldn't they? Oh. Beautiful rings, gorgeous earrings, beautiful cufflinks. Just incredible. Yeah, one clover on a necklace, you know, and it's Van Cleef, you know, that's gonna, you know, you know, price point, price point wise, there's, there's 13, there's 13 on this one necklace here. That's 13 pendants, 13, you know, rings, whatever it might be, or just leave it as is. Don't feel guilty is what I'm trying to say. Don't feel guilty about literally just buying a piece of jewelry. We all busy ourselves with making, sorry, I've turned that around, but with making jewelry all the time. What about just buying that just to wear? And by the way, it looks insane. I'm gonna just put it on its loosest setting. So you can wear this 23 to 25 inches in length. There's no need for a clasp to be on the back of this, but there is because, here, if I could just pop this around my neck. There we go. That literally will just go over the head like that. It just looks absolutely amazing on. But can I just say the length of it as well, it would make the most amazing, um, uh, the most amazing bracelet. Isn't that lovely? Just gorgeous, isn't it? The colours really come out, don't they? When you see that against the skin. Now, we could just stay there and I'd be absolutely, yeah, we are at a Van Cleef, oh no, we're better than a Van Cleef price, but you know, you kind of get the idea, don't you? I mean, you do whatever you want with this, but I mean, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, can you, ima can you actually imagine that as a bracelet? Can you actually imagine wearing that as a bracelet? Can you imagine how you would feel Wearing that as a bracelet, I mean, goodness me. Just look at that. As a bracelet, oh my word. Let's get it right the way down under a thousand pounds. 999. The time and the effort this takes to make. And again, this has been made exclusively for Jewelry Maker. This is something which has been done exclusively for Jewelry Maker. This is something which has been done in collaboration with a company who we have been to for so long. Um, for so many different kind of, with so many different ideas, with so many different kind of, uh, uh, kind of prototypes. Oh, could you do this? Oh, could we have rounds? Oh, could you do rosary linking? Oh, could we do this? Could we do ombre? Can you, you know, honestly, we've been to them with so many ideas and p keep pushing them and pushing them and pushing them. Yeah, look at this. A chalcedony Van Cleef and Arpel necklace with chalcedony in. 10 chalcedonies nine and a half thousand pounds. You've got 13 Baltic Ambers. Baltic Ambers. Genuine Baltic Ambers. Maker in Lincolnshire, congratulations, well done to you. They've actually multi-bought. If you want to connect two of these together and have one massive elongated necklace or keep one as a necklace, cut the other one down into bracelets, earrings, whatever it might be. Can you imagine these as earrings? I mean, that would just be absolutely insane, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, definitely. I mean, if you just bought the one necklace and you cut two of the smaller ones off the end for a pair of earrings, it would still be, be plenty long enough well, Precisely. A absolutely. Yeah, great yeah. shout. 25 seconds. We're taking the price point down. The artistry, the craftsmanship, the attention to detail, the precision, 
the quality, the setting, and the fact that Van Cleef cannot offer you an Alhambra necklace or bracelet or pen, you know, whatever it might be, with Baltic amber. That's not to say that they won't in the future. I'm sure they will. Are you ready? Here we go. This is crazy. How about per clover today, 38 pounds per clover? I mean, yeah, one of these as a pendant, easily £100 each. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. 4 dollars for you today. Valerie in Bristol, congratulations. Well done to you as well. We're literally down to single figures. I know, it's absolutely terrific, isn't it? Well done. And look at the quality of the amber you're getting. It's just unbelievable. It's sublime, isn't it? It's just beautiful. You've got your cherry, your cognac, and you've also got your beautiful lemon as well, which is just here. There it is. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations, everyone. Well done. Go, 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 go. Well done. 499 for you today. Isn't that just beautiful? Well done. Another maker there. Congratulations. Well done. So lovely to see these multi gems together. Isn't that just gorgeous? Well done. And these are not tiny slivers of amber you're getting here. Look at this. Four chances left. Anna, well done to you. Another maker there. Look at the thickness of that piece there. Huge pieces of amber you're getting, aren't they? Huge, great big pieces of amber. I mean, it's the size of your thumb, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it, isn't it? It's absolutely incredible. Look at this lemon amber. Isn't that beautiful? So stunning. Look at that. It's like a window, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Well done. Down to the last three. Congratulations. Well done. We've got Valerie. Go, go, go. Loads of you there for the last, for literally the last couple of opportunities. That is absolutely amazing. Whether it's a bracelet, whether it's a necklace, you know, whatever. Let's do a, oh, down to two. Let's do a 30 second clock to close. Congratulations, well done. Absolutely amazing. It, it, it's just terrific, isn't it? Absolutely terrific. Look at that. Amazing. Just gorgeous, well done. Amazing, well done. Uh, 15 seconds for taking those details away. Congratulations, well done. For the last couple of opportunities, there are so many of you there. Absolutely amazing. By the way, still got some of the uh, ombre amber left if you want to add that onto your order. Still got a couple more of the ombre amber if you want to add it onto your order. Please, please, please do. Well done. Still got two left, I think, of that amber necklace we've just bought to you. Literally only a few chances available for this gorgeous ombre coated amber. Yes. Oh, do you know what that is? This is just crazy. Wayne, look at this. Uh, so, right, these are from, these are from Mayuki. And it's like Wayno, it's a bit like Wayno has gone to, has gone to Mayuki and said, hi guys, could you make us some delicas that look like these? And they've gone, hmm, hold my, hold my pint, hold my pint. <laughs> look at this, this is insane. It's like it's made from the same stuff. <laughs> Brother from another mother. You know, one straight out of Poland, the other one straight out of Japan. That is absolutely amazing. That would be the craziest hip hop uh, kind of tribute band ever, wouldn't it? Absolutely amazing. Just incredible. And I think the crazy thing is that when the kit team puts together a, a kit, they don't know what else is going to be on the I show know. that day. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Hey? Right. Shall we do one more? Right, this is, oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, Monica. I know, I know I shouldn't, I know, <laughs> just, right, just forget about all of that, just that. Oh, yeah. Just the way that those are sitting there. Yeah. That shows that Marius and the team have understood the brief. Yeah. They've understood what's required and they've put their own spin on it and just gone, and gone, yeah. Mission accomplished. This is such a gorgeous piece of jewellery. 
I don't think I could bring myself to cut that up. I just love the asymmetry of this. It's so lovely. Yeah. Oh, I definitely wouldn't cut that up. I know that there's, you know, a lot of you out there who, who you know, you find kind of symmetry so important and kind of asymmetry so difficult to achieve. It is, yeah. But this does it for you. And it's done with such finesse. And it's done without trying too hard. It's just so confident. It's so relaxed. That, with a crisp white shirt, you are going to look... I mean, it's just... It's so beautiful. Refined elegance. Isn't that beautiful? That's the kind of thing, actually... If I turn this round and show you the back, because... Let's get this, whatever that is, off the back. There we go. If I show you the back, if you were... To take this off the back, yeah, take the clasp off, take the extended chain off, so you're just left with two chain, two ends of chain. If you put a load of pearls there, yeah, had the pearls around the front and had that down the back of, say, your wedding dress or whatever oh, it might be, can you imagine how that's going to look? I mean, that's just going to be, that is going to be you know, Met Gala, you know, we're talking, you know, like the ultimate in in fashion in glamour in it's just it's just exquisite two have already gone we're at 2520 pounds fair enough fair enough i know many 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 people who would pay that absolutely yeah definitely that's a great deal for what you're getting without even comparing it to the likes of van cleef without without doing that just from, a, from an engineering point of view, from a understanding the brief. And also, let, let's just reiterate again. These are made exclusively for jewellery maker. How, what's easier? What's easier for a company like Jello who, 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 who sell amber to every corner of the globe? What's easier for them? Uh, bashing out a uh, hundred strands of something that they've done 3,000 times before or making a hundred of something, which is for one company, which is involving brand new techniques, brand new setting, you know, really kind of, you know, a real feat of engineering. What's easier, A or B? It's gonna be A, isn't it? So doing something like this, it is labor intensive. It is massively pulling on all their resources, on their design resources, on their setting resources, on their cutting facilities, on everything, just so we can bring this to you and bring it to you for 500 pounds. It's amazing, isn't it? Over and above. This is not mass produced. This is not run off the mill. This will, this will make you think. This is less mass produced than the likes of some of the biggest designers in the world, like Van Cleef. Fewer of these were made. This is more exclusive a deal than almost all of the Van Cleef pieces. And today, it's 200 pounds. Believe it or not, that's not your price. Put that piece of blue tack down, I'm terrible. Miss Janet, well done to you, got you there. Miss Janet's just messaged in. Oh, what does she have to say? I could give this to my best friend to complete uh, with her daughter, to compete with her daughter who has a Van Cleef original. Ha, you could, couldn't you? Genuinely you could, because you've got the four concentric circles. You've got the pie crust finish. You've got the precious metal. But you've got it in a gemstone that Van Cleef aren't currently. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I think, I think moving forward, I think they probably will. In fact, if I was Marius, I'd probably go to Van Cleef and say, L listen, guys, listen, guys, would you like to experience Baltic Amber in your Van Cleef designs? I can almost guarantee they'll say absolutely 100% yes. They'll literally bite their arm off. And then we can say we had the prototype. <laughs> I know. What an accolade that would be. Yeah, right. Really. They've got to pay us royalties, you know, whatever it might be, you know, whatever. But what a, what a, I mean, that is an accolade. I mean, wow. That's something to put on your CV, isn't it? We're not done. We're taking the price down. Maker in Oxfordshire, congratulations. Make up, well done to you as well. This is literally tremendous. Genuinely tremendous. You are getting one, two, three, four, five motifs. Isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Limited, 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 limited. Are you ready? Are you steady? Here we go. Woo! 129 pounds. Wow. 
Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely amazing. Get it added to your order. Go, 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 go. That is absolutely a price point today. Well done. Maker and Airship, congratulations. Well done to you. Taking us down to the final few chances. Then it is completely sold out. Janine in Lincolnshire. I can honestly say, I mean, I don't know. I don't know for certain, but I can imagine this was an absolute nightmare to make these because you've got to cut the ambers in a way that they probably never cut them before. You've got to set the ambers in a way that they've never been set before. You've got to make sure that that precision, that the setting is going to match the gem perfectly. For a gem which cannot be cut, it's, it's, it's polished down to their sizes. It's absolutely crazy. It's amazing, isn't it? Congratulations, everyone. Well done, Maker in Cumbria. Janine in Lincolnshire, well done to you as well. Maker's got two in the basket. If you want to, my darling, you need to check out now because we're down to the last couple of opportunities. One, two, it is wild, isn't it? You know, just the connectors on their own for one, two, nine would be amazing. But to get them on a ready-made, finished, done, done and dusted necklace is literally, that there, that's estate jewelry without you actually having to do anything. That's estate jewelry, that's heirloom jewelry, that's wedding day jewelry, that's statement jewellery, that's landmark jewellery, without having to lift a finger. You could literally buy three of these, take them to a craft store, take them to a craft fair, and sell them for two, three, four times the price point that we bought them to you today for. Test the water, see what happens. Valerie Maker, Sandra, Beverly, well done. Joanne, well done to you. Go, 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 go. Down to the last, literally the last couple of opportunities. Five seconds that we're taking the details away. Well done. That is tremendous. Valerie Maker, Sandra Beverly, Joanne, and another anonymous bidder. You've all got these in your baskets. Go. Check out. Well done. Four individual split payments today, which are interest-free. What a deal. I tell you what, if you've got a craft fair coming up over bank holiday weekend, buy one of these, put it on your stall. If it doesn't sell, use your 30-day money-back guarantee, send it back. Put it on for three times the price point of this. Got mine? I will look so posh, says Ginny. <laughs> yes. You so will. And the lovely thing about this, it's not like, it's not flashy. It's so understated. And it's kind of one of those things, if you know, you know. If you know your Van Cleef, you know. If you know you design it, you know. And if Van Cleef put out an amber version, it immediately increases the value of the ones from JM. Yes, Kathy, thank you. If I were Marius, I'd, the, 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 my next phone call would be to Van Cleef saying, hi guys, Van Cleef, Alhambra, how's about it? Because what does that make ours worth? I mean, it's just, yeah. Keep the steel of the deal while we're in birthday last in stock mode, right? What, what? Oh, don't. Don't be silly. Really? Right. The last 60. How many did we actually have? Yeah, I thought it was. We had a thousand of these uh, during birthday. Last 60. Colette's. Oh my gosh. These are probably one of the biggest time saving things you will ever, ever, ever own. Here we go. Colette's. What am I going to use a Colette for? There you go. That little hole in the center. Pop your threading material through there. Tie your knot up. I can't remember whether it was you or Monica or somebody else who said, get like a really small CB, like a 15 0. Use it as a stopper and yeah. glue it into the Colette close the collette it acts almost like a knot doesn't it yes um it wasn't me who said that but i agree with that yeah but also what's really good about these is sometimes you can buy ones which close sideways so you have a loop on the one half and then the hinges on the side and it closes over yes but the problem with that one is the front bit isn't attached to anything yes so it can open whereas this one has got a loop on both sides so it kind of locks it in doesn't yeah. it yeah yeah uh, do you know what we've only recently started doing that because we have bought uh collets to air which are exactly as you described so there's just one loop there's a loop there and then this part here isn't attached onto anything as you say yeah and um, that's the beauty with these is the two loops come together you put your threading material you put your uh, class through there jump ring through i'd probably go for um, uh, first of all and then your class and it literally makes it such a secure setting. These are amazing. They are a game changer. They are time saving. They are the ultimate professional finding as well. Maker in Lincolnshire, Maker in Five, Sue in Wiltshire, June in Cumbria as well. Well done to you. We started off with a thousand of these during our birthday celebrations. We're down to the last 50, sorry, 60 uh, chances available. 
In this pack, you are going to be getting 10 of them. So that's enough to finish off five necklaces, five bracelets, you know, whatever jewelry you might be making. It's absolutely perfect. It really genuinely is. We're going to give you the very best deal that we possibly can. These are absolutely awesome. Love them, love them, love them. All 925 sterling silver. Angela's there as well. Well done to you, my lovely. Great to see you today, my love. Well done. We're going to give you the very, very lowest price point that we possibly can. Jackie in Cheshire, well done. Um, absolutely amazing. Well done. You need these essentials. You need these findings. It's wonderful being able to bring you kind of ombre amber. It's wonderful being able to bring you the Van Cleef inspired stuff. But you, of course, you need your essentials to finish off your items, to give you that kind of confidence that these uh, pieces are going to uh, be finished off to the best of their ability. Here we go, my lovelies. Maker in Oxfordshire. Well done to you as well. Justin in West Yorkshire. Well done to you. Go, go, go. Wiltshire's got two. Well done to you. 9.99. There you go. Well done. Maker in Merseyside. Well done to you. Jane in Durham as well. Well done. Go, go, go. Fantastic. Angela's multi -ball. Well done, Sue. So have you, Christine. Well done to you. What a deal for you today. Make on the Isle of Man's come through as well. Well done to you. Vicky in Northamptonshire. Beverly, Susan, Anna. Well done. Loads and loads and loads of people there. Barbara, well done to you as well. Please don't buy just one pack of these because you might think, oh, that's enough to finish five necklaces or five bracelets. Honestly, as soon as you start to use them, you are going to want to use them on, on, on literally every necklace and bracelet that you make. Because the finish that you get is so, is so neat, isn't it? It is, absolutely. I mean, even if you just wanted to make a pair of earrings where you just dangle some beads and you put it on some fire line. Oh, um, absolutely, you know, yeah. You, you go, you live back up through the beads, you go to the top, you go through a seed bead, like you said, yeah. and through the culotte, and you tie a double knot and you close it and it's finished. What a lovely finish you have as yeah. well. It's that full stop. It's that. And also, um, my advice to you as well, Monica, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll back us up. When you do use the clamshell, um, um, uh, the collette, when you do close it, don't squeeze it too hard because otherwise you'll flatten it. Part of the beauty of these is when yeah. you close it, it creates like a little bead shape. Absolutely. Um, so be nice and gentle. It's kind of like a different version of the crimp covers. Yes. Where this one Precisely. works more with beading threads yes. rather than uh, the wires. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. They're, they're, they're just so useful, so professional, massively time-saving um and uh, so easy to use even if you're a beginner congratulations well done everybody loads and loads and loads of people coming through well done right neary no no let's go to a quick break when we come back we've got <gasps> we've got jet ah, jet we've got uh jade we've got uh kotan We've got a load of incredible stuff and we are less than an hour away from our masterclass, which is all about seed beads and hex beads. You're going to love them all. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. Would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people making jewellery at one time? On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewelry before or it's your favorite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewelrymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make along. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. 
Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 24th, and I'll be with the lovely Elle and the fabulous team. Uh, at nine o'clock, we have got some beautiful floral pendants. I'm going to be walking through how you go about setting those. And then at 12 o'clock, we have so many goodies. It's all about metal smithing, forging metal. Uh, so we've got lots of hammers, steel block. There's a new tool as well, a new tool that will help you um, if you're uh, soldering at the minute, and you're struggling to get everything set up, this is gonna be really useful for you. Um, so I really look forward to sharing all that with you guys and I hope you can join me on Friday. See you then. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Oh, that was just Bruce and myself not being very nice to each other then. I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I was lashing out too. Right. Okay. Uh, we've got Kotan coming up in this hour. We've also got Jet coming up in this hour. What should we do first, Neary News? Oh. Do you want to see some of the Kotan? I haven't got any of the items here, Neary News. I've only got I've only got these two strands of Kotan by me and one strand of <gasps> Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. The most amazing Kotan jade strands. Absolutely incredible. They are coming up towards the end of the hour. Can't wait to bring you those. Now, um I've got the most amazing gemstone coming up now. Uh, we've, uh, we've really relatively recently got this gemstone in uh, Jewelry Maker in our, in, our, in our vault. Can I have my PowerPoint please, Neary New? Hey, come on, come on. I can see it. I can see it. There we go. Um, this incredible gemstone has been made famous by this place here. This is Whitby. This is not Whitby today. Uh, this is Whitby back in the kind of 1800s. And you've got here a, a, um, an incredible uh, seaside town, um, which has been, which is very, very famous. It's famous for two kind of big kind of reasons. Uh, Whitby was said to be the inspiration for um, uh, Bram Stoker's, um, uh, no, not Mar uh, Mary Shelley's, um, no, is Bram Stoker's um, uh, Dracula. Uh, and you've got, um, and you've got uh, these incredible, beautiful Gothic, woo, Gothic buildings in the surrounding abbey. It's also um, home to, it's a big goth festival, I think, or like a steampunk festival there every year, isn't there? But also it's famous for this incredible gem, this organic gem. 
Whitby Jet. Now this gem became famous um, in the Victorian era. And this is just from, this is just a, a, a kind of like a, a, a snapshot of pieces that were being sold at the time. Um, all of these pieces were made possible because of Whitby Jet and they were all made popular because of a very, very important person at the time, of course, Queen Victoria. Now, what is jet? Jet is a, it's not a gemstone, it's an organic gem. It's basically petrified, fossilized wood uh, from one particular type of tree, the monkey puzzle tree. And if you've ever seen a monkey puzzle tree, they're, they're really unusual looking trees. Um, hence, hence the word monkey puzzle. Monkey puzzle because of course the way that they look uh, and the fact that they're covered in kind of spikes as well. And the fossilized um, petrified remains of monkey puzzle trees, and it's only that one particular type of tree, um, used to wash up on the shore um, against, um, uh, on, the, on, the, on, on, on the shore of Whitby. Not so much anymore, used to be able to get it all over the East Coast. It's kind of almost all been picked up, almost all been uh, taken. And to, to get Whitby, actual Whitby jet is incredibly unusual. And it was um, Queen Victoria after the death of um, her beloved Prince Albert when he passed away. Uh, she went into mourning and stayed in mourning for the rest of her life, basically. She wore black. Uh, for the rest of her life and the only jewellery that she would wear she would occasionally wear marcasite but it was almost always Whitby jet that she would wear there's a, 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 a memorial piece of jewellery just on the right hand side which has got locks of hair in it's the kind of thing which you would kind of classically wear in Victorian times um, there's a there's a famous kind of oh it's I mean it's so sad you know, a gemstone that really came out of mourning. The Queen's devotion to Jet is evident in her personal diaries, shown in an entry from the 22nd of July, 1896. Despite the fashion for Jet having largely passed by this date, she noted, I wore a black satin dress with embroideries and Jet and a lace veil uh, of old point and diamond diadem and ornaments. I mean, you've got this lady w wore Jet from the passing of... Um, uh, Prince Albert to literally the day that she died. Um, it is a fascinating gem. When we bring you strands like this in any other gem, I would say, you know, this is an almost laughable size for other gemstones because a gem which is over 16 mil, you know, we're talking here 25 mil across. I mean, this is in any other gem, it would be laughable. But in jet, extraordinarily rare, yes, but why is it not laughable? Because jet is incredibly, incredibly light. Because what you're looking at here is fossilized, um, fossilized wood, it in itself is extremely light. You can kind of almost hear how light it is. It is as light as if these were uh, ambers. If they were amber rounds, they would probably weigh a roughly the same amount. Now, this incredible gem has been loved and adored. If we get the chance, I don't know whether we're gonna be able to play all of these, but if we get the chance, we will be playing these. I just wanted to give you a little idea because we bring you black, um, solid black jewelry so very infrequently on Jewelry Maker. Here's a piece that Alison Tarry made. I don't know if any of these are with Jet, but just have a quick look. It's a lovely piece that Alison Tarry made on the left-hand side. It's gorgeous jewellery, which Claire has made on the right-hand side here. You can just imagine Jet taking up those designs. Got one of your designs, um, at Monica, in the top right-hand side oh, yeah. there with a beautiful, what look like Tahitian pearls or, or shell pearls. You can imagine that with Jet. There's Mark's piece at the bottom there. There's Deb Kershaw's on the left-hand side there with the gorgeous black jade. And you can imagine again, all of those designs in Jet. Jet's got a real, people really feel a, a very, very close affinity to this gem because of its connection with the British Isles. Whether you've got Jet like this, which isn't from the British Isles, or whether you're lucky enough to own your own piece of Whitby Jet, there's this real affinity with this incredible gem. We've already got Janina, we've already got Kate, we've already got Janice. I honestly have got no idea 
how to even begin to find a price on this. Because I've never, I don't think I've ever bought you a gem, which is 25 mil in size, let alone a jet, which is 25 mil in size. I've got a load of people interested. We're at 129 pounds. 30 second clock. This is so limited. This is such a limited deal. And we're going to give you the very best price point we, we can. Janice, you've got two in your basket. Check out as soon as you can, my lovely. Well done. We're at one, two, nine. We've literally only got, what, a dozen opportunities available or so. Get it as soon as you can. Here we go, my lovelies. Taking that price point all the way down for you today. Go, go, go. Here we are. All the way down. Maker and Merseyside, I've got you there. Congratulations. Well done. All the way down. Go, go, go. They're literally down to the last few opportunities that we've got. Another anonymous bidder there. Well done. 69.99 for you today for genuine black jet 25 mil rounds. I mean, these have got to be the ultimate guru bead because, of course, they're extraordinarily large, but they're super lightweight. Absolutely. Um, but as you were saying, I mean, a lot of people like really chunky jewellery and that's yeah. really difficult to make from gemstones because obviously because of the weight. Yes, absolutely. This, is, this and maybe amber, as you were saying, probably are the only gemstones you could use to make really chunky For sure. jewellery and, sure. and have it be genuine. Yes. And also, uh, yeah, have it to be, gen you know, a genuine gem and also for it not to be like a millstone round your neck. I mean, this is, this is, <laughs> yeah. I mean, these are 25 mil in size. Oh, there they are. And uh, I, I can quite honestly say they are so light. They are so wearable. You know, I wouldn't, feel, I know I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't feel kind of, uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel um, uncomfortable about wearing all of these in one piece of jewellery. Maker in Merseyside, Maker in Kent, Kate in Dorset. Congratulations. Janice, well done to you as well. These are literally about to sell out go 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 well done now one of the most awesome things i think about jet is the way these feel they don't feel like a stone you know how gemstones i mean that you can tell that's jade you can tell that's nephrite it, it, it feels ice cold the wonderful thing about um jet is it feels kind of just just off room temperature it's beautiful. They sound beautiful. They look beautiful. I love the luster you're getting here. They're not overly shiny. You can tell it's not a stone by just looking at it. The luster is really unusual. Looks more akin to a wooden bead than it does a gemstone, doesn't it? Well, it's not too far from the truth because it is, of course, fossilized monkey puzzle tree. So cool, isn't it? Here we go. These are 10 mil rounds you're going to be getting here today. Really, really beautiful little strands. Starting off at £40 for you today. Absolutely amazing. Here we go. Oh my gosh, 40 quid! £40! Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. You look at, okay, so you look at, I mean, I've got, I've, literally, I have a price comparison here. This is on CW Sellers. CW Sellers are wonderful at what they do. They're a British run, uh, British owned family run jewelers. They're absolutely amazing at what they do. Now, this is for Whitby Jet, okay, that, that they're selling here, which is, you know, different to what we've got here today. But look at the price. Those are tiny little pieces of jet you've got on that lovely long line necklace. That's £369. We are at £40 for this incredibly large strand. Yeah? Price? 20 pounds, 20 pounds what? for that strand. <laughs> that's for genuine, that's for jet. That's for jet. Ours is natural, uh, it, it's completely natural. It's from the United States, which is where most of the jet that we source comes from. You can also get it from places like, um, you can also get it from places like Honduras, and you can also get it from uh, China as well. I personally think the best quality is from is from um, um, America, but you know, I'm you know amazing. Manchester, London, Hampshire, East Sussex, Lancashire, Greater London. Well done to you as well. Absolutely tremendous. Chantal in Suffolk. Well done to you as well. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Twenty. I can barely believe that. Twenty pounds for jet is wow. amazing. That's, that's it, it really is incredible. Well done. Okay, we've got some beautiful little six mils coming up now. These are gorgeous. These are so sweet. 
This is a full length strand. Oh, it's, oh, it just, it feels so lovely. It sounds so nice as yeah. well. You mean the 10 mil? Yeah, the 10 mil were 20 pounds. These are six mil. It's a longer strand though. So I'm not expecting anything too dissimilar. Let's match the price. Okay, here we go, 19.99, amazing. Ready? Clock? Let's do something crazy. Sarah, maker in Man uh, Manchester, Gerda in Saltburn by the Sea, Pauline in East Yorkshire, well done to you. Bidders from all over the country coming through, well done. Okay, Cheryl, Hilda, well done to you. Pauline, well done. Cheryl, if you want to, check out now. Pauline, if you want to, check out now. Go for it, well done. Katie and Dorset, well done to you. Oh my gosh, this is gonna go low. Well done. Kate, well done to you. Here we go. £12.99. Wow. For six mil jet rounds. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. That's absolutely amazing. Anne Marie, well done to you. It's been months since we bought your jet. January was the last time we bought it to you. In, yeah, it's been almost six months. That's absolutely crazy. Well done, Maker. Well done to you as well. Anonymous bidders. West Midlands has just bought two. Pauline's just bought two. Congratulations. Well done. What a deal. That's absolutely amazing. Diane and Janice and Karen and Gwenifer and Jeffrey. Well done to you. Isn't that just tremendous? Well done. And you know, interestingly, you know, bringing this to, bringing this to um, air uh, uh, when we've got Amber on. Because Amber and Jet really are hand in hand. They're both made from fossilised, you know, they're both kind of, yeah, Amber and Jet just do go hand in hand, 100%. Anne in Hampshire, Shirley, Anne in Cumbria, well done to you as well. Caroline in Northamptonshire, congratulations, well done to you. What a deal. Isn't that amazing? Maker in Tyne and Weir as well. Go, go, go. Phenomenal chance. Well done. Just loving it. Loving it all. Well done. Amazing. Oh, so many people with this in their baskets. Please check out. Loads of multiples in baskets. We're down to the last 11. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 in baskets for the last nine. Go, go, go. Yeah. Here you go. Jet for you today. 12.99. Gorgeous, well done. Six chances left, well done. Amazing, we've got another one, baby. Four mils. Yeah. Four mils. These are so sweet. I love them. So unusual as well. I think great, uh, this would make a great little stretchy bracelet for, uh, for Father's Day, don't you think? Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful, yes. That would be so lovely. I'd love to visit Whitby, actually. Sounds like a really cool place. Have you been before, Monica? I haven't, no, my parents went. Ah, yeah, she was telling me I'd, about I'd just, them. I'd really like to go. North Yorkshire, oh, Mary. North Yorkshire, North Yorkshire coastal town of Whitby occupies a unique place in history of jewellery. The town's dramatic cliffs, made it famous by Bram Stoker's Dracula, have for centuries been the primary source throughout the British Isles and much of Europe for the gemstone jet. Across 6,000 years of history, the fashion for jet has ebbed and flowed like the tides around Whitby. Uh, with its ancient associations with healing and protective magic, it's long fascinated uh, both archaeologists and style setters, ensuring Jet holds an enduring place in the history of fashion. I like that. I didn't write that. It's nice though, isn't it? It's nice though. Absolutely gorgeous. If this was Whitby Jet, we've only had Whitby Jet once and they weren't in strands, they were in like rough pieces. Do you remember when Mineral Man bought them to us? Uh, uh, it was the only time we've ever had Whitby Jet. I wish I could bring you Whitby Jet in a strand. I can't, I can't. But I can bring you Jet and it is natural. Shall we do it as a bit of a star buy? Stuff it, come on, stop it, Neri. Absolutely, Neri, I totally agree. Star by. You can't back out now, Neri. Can't back out now. Oh, I like this. I like this. Neri's saying, the more we see, the lower we'll go. Right. What is one of the main fundamental differences between gems like amber and jet and other gemstones like 
I don't know. Uh, <laughs> diamonds. What's what are the main differences? Well, they're diamonds are stones. These are organic gems. Yeah. Okay. Are diamonds still being created? Yes. Yes, they are in the Earth's kind of mantle and, and kind of, um, uh, you know, way, way, way down, miles under the Earth's surface. And th they will be pushed to air up the Kimberlet pipes and, they'll, and they will come to, you know, they will come to the Earth's surface and we'll be able to mine them forever. Hopefully. Don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. What do we know about Jet and Amber? Is it, are they still being, are they still being formed? No. Is there any more of it? No, because hopefully we're not going to hit another ice age or, you know, whatever for however many millions of years. Long, long, long past we've all died. So hopefully, hopefully that's not going to happen anytime soon. But what it means is, is that gems like your amber, gems like your jet, gem, you know, they're, they're no longer being created, no, no longer being made. They're fossilised. 20 pounds... We're nowhere near done. How many of this strand do we have, Neary? Oh, a hundred. Gee whiz. Have we ever bought a hundred of anything jet to air before? No. I don't think so. I don't think we've ever done that. Deborah's got two. Maker and five. Maker and Swansea. Gwenifer, Pauline, Gerda, Sarah, Hilda. Maker in Manchester. Caroline. Maker and five. Jacqueline. If you've ever been to Whitby and you've been to the jewellers there and you've looked at the Whitby jet, how much are you looking to pay? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know this isn't from Whitby. Still blooming amazing, though. Still natural. Still jet. Precisely. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, no. You're absolutely right, Monica. Absolutely right. Nine seconds. We're going lower. Stretchy bracelet, Father's Day. Done. Yes! You'd wear that, Neary. Ready? Steady. This is ridiculous. I don't know where you think we're going to go, but we've gone to a tenner. <laughs> Ten pounds for your jet four mil rounds. Take it away, everyone. Go, go, go. This is the best deal I think we've ever done for jet. Absolutely. When was the last time we bought you a jet showcase? January, January, like six months ago almost. Unbelievable. Well done, everyone. Karen and John, well done to you, Maker. And we did tell you, we did say it was going to be crazy. We did say it's a star buy. We did say there's 100 chances. It's going to go. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. Hit to go, go, go. West Midlands, Norfolk, Oxfordshire, Cumbria, Essex. Well done to you, Fife, Leicestershire. Well done to you, uh, Northamptonshire. Manchester's got two. Well done to you. Buckinghamshire's got two. Well done to you. Unbelievable. 9.99. What an opportunity. That's yours today, my lovelies. Well done. Whitby Abbey is fantastic. We holidayed there as kids. Yeah, it's kind of on the cliffs, isn't it, Whitby Abbey? Whit 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 Whitby Abbey. Looks beautiful. I want to go. Have you been, Michael? Is it really dramatic and... Kind of gothic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it a tourist town? A bit. Yeah, I suppose it is. It's going to have, you're going to have people going there who, who love, yeah. interested in Dracula, interested in jet. I used to go to Whitby every year. The Amber and Jet uh, jewellers, uh, jewellery shops are amazing. Could never afford it. Where is Whitby? It's kind of, is it northeast? Northeast, isn't it? I want to go. I want to go. I wonder how long it would take to get there from here. Hmm. Is it further than Leeds? Two hours, maybe. Mm. Two and a half, three hours. I could, if only you could go up there, stay overnight, couldn't you? You could stay like in a B and B, couldn't you? Yeah. And then come back. I'd love to go. I want to take the kids. Just somewhere different. We're so lucky in the British Isles, aren't we? To live where we, you know, to live in, the, you know, the British Isles. There's so many wonderful places to go, aren't there? Absolutely. Whether it's Wales or Scotland or, you know, amazing. You like saying in England, do you? <laughs> oh, Bruce, God love you. It's funny. God because, love you. It's funny I just it, love you. No, no, if you say it, I'll just repeat it. <laughs> it's Very funny. insular is our Bruce. Very insular. It's funny, though. If he goes outside England, he takes his pitchfork. By that, he means his village. He means Inkborough. That's it. Worcestershire. <laughs> Shall we do the coat, Anne? You lot. Right.
I love this. This is, oh my gosh, now for something completely different. This is quite incredible, isn't it? Um, you've got an incredible variety of jade, which has in the last few years become a, the location um, has become a real place to go to find to source a gem which is described by the New York Times as surpassing gold in value. This is Kotan Jade. This is from the area of China where some of the most valuable and what is widely regarded as the original jade was from ounce for ounce, the finest jade has become more valuable than gold with the most prized nuggets of mutton fat jade, fetching $3,000 an ounce. A tenfold increase from a decade ago. You've got the Yellow River, which passes through this area of China, the Kachin State, and you've got here a variety of jade which isn't, it no longer comes out the ground, but what we're looking for, and you can see really when, when you're looking at this incredible quality, what we're looking for is, uh, you know, this is, I mean, I want to say alluvial mined, uh, which is when you mine something from a, from a river or a stream, which has literally been washed downstream, which is effectively what has happened to these boulders. If you look at this image here, you're looking at lots and lots of boulders, some of which will be Kotan mutton fat jade boulders. Others won't. This is an image of just some of those boulders. So we're not talking pieces which are, you know, as big as a car. We're not talking about pieces which are as big as a suitcase. We're talking about boulders that you can hold in your hands. This is incredibly rare. And it has caused a, a migration of miners from the um from burma to the uh, to this area of china looking for these incredibly valuable boulders when you look at prices for this incredibly valuable material i mean this is on first dibs look at this beautiful hand carved white mutton fat certified untreated the price for a mutton fat jade starts at $995 and tops out about $325,000. With these necklaces on average selling for about $93,500. What is the difference between that necklace there and this here? Size and shape wise, not a lot. Maybe, maybe there's the ones in the first dibs are slightly larger, but shape wise, they are pretty much identical. Color. You've still got with the strand we've got for you today, that gorgeous mutton fat tallow like kind of luster. But here you've got a naturally pink overtone. You're only going to find that in some of the rarest, rarest pieces. There's a piece here, and I know it's carved, but colour-wise, it's kind of similar. Certified True Mutton Fat River Jade Mythical Beast Certified Nephrite um, for £178,000. Now, I know that that's carved, so I know it's slightly unfair to kind of use that as a comparison to this. But material-wise, quality-wise, you're looking at something which is relatively similar, I would say. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? I love this. I, 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 I don't know about you, Monica. I love this more barrel shape that we've got here. I, I just love it. I love the rounds. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, but this barrel shape, it just, it's got something so tactile about it. Absolutely, it's more interesting, isn't it? Yeah. But also I love how they're all so perfectly color matched. Yes. Considering all the different colors 
Absolutely. You know, and those are just absolutely perfect. When you consider, as Monica quite rightly points out, all of the different tones you can get in your Cotan, like all of these kind of colors here, to get one strand where they are all so perfectly matched is incredibly rare. Graphics Alive, best of luck. These are tremendous. Oh my word. Okay, it's already starting to go. Nicola in Worcestershire. Anonymous bidder in Greater Manchester. Anonymous bidder, well done to you. Maker in Greater London, well done. 155 carats of natural pink Cotan jade drums. They are stunning, aren't they? It's like the most beautiful morganite. Stunning, isn't it? Just beautiful. These strands, we've never managed to commission, you know, a big quantity of them. We're not, to, we've never been able to make like 200 of these. They are so, so, so seldomly seen. They're so hard to come by. This kind of quality is just, is it, this kind of clarity, this kind of translucency is so unbelievably rare. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Just exquisite, isn't it? I love it. It's a slight kind of off pink, more creamy kind of beige tone. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Right, price point wise, where do we even start, Neri? Pop that on you. Pop that, you know, not it. Pop a, an 18 karat gold clasp, but I can't bring you one here on Jewelry Maker, but you know, go and source one. This could be a 2,000 pound necklace easily. Done, done. Just simply by restranding. Done. That's what, that's the kind of value we're talking about. I mean, look at the piece on first dibs. Look at that. Look at that necklace there. That necklace, what, 93 grand. Oh my gosh. Let's get it under a thousand pounds. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy, crazy, crazy. Ready? Here we go. Nine, nine, nine. It's just incredible, isn't it? Beautiful quality. Just, just if, in, in, in case anyone is interested as well, the most, the most, oh, That's all right, lovely. The most valuable piece of jade that has ever sold at auction. Oh, where are you? Is this piece here. Now this is white, but look at this. This is a large white Imperial Nephrite uh, seal, which sold in 2021 for 18 million US dollars. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? But when, you know, when people think about the most valuable pieces of jade, they quite often think, oh, it's got to be imperial. It's got to be a bangle. It's got to be this. It's got to be that. No, it's actually this. Now, I can totally understand why. It's obviously very large. You've got this incredible um, engraving, this gorgeous etching. But it's not that that I'm really excited about. It's about the material. What is it? It's white. It's the same kind of quality and colour. or same kind of colour, I should say, you are looking at right here 30 second clock nowhere near done show us you're interested we've literally only got a handful of these available only got a handful available as soon as you can get involved please just go for it less than 20 seconds it's just so beautiful it's so neutral as well i love how neutral this is Less than 10 seconds. You don't forget, you get a 30 day money back guarantee with everything that you get from JM as well. Please, please, please always call on that. Don't ever forget that. Ready, steady, hundreds of pounds coming off this price. To be exact, oh, 299 is your price. That's your price. Four individual split payments. Four individual split payments today. Your four individual split payments today are £74.75. and pence. Dawn, well done to you in Lancashire. I've got two more anonymous bidders. Very bridal, absolutely. 
But not everyone wants to go for bright white on their wedding day. I mean, you know, some people want to go for more of a, for more of a, uh, just just for more of a, a a neutral kind of more organic kind of color. You've got here natural linen kind of colors there. Another maker there as well. Well done to you. Oh, by the way, two nine nine isn't your price. We're going even lower. Oh. We're going even lower. I know. Absolutely tremendous. Go, 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 go. Are you ready? Here we go, everyone. We have got 20 odd seconds and we're taking the price point down again. I know. Another maker. Well done. Okay, 15 seconds. Here we go, my lovelies. I just love that barrel shape. You can tell what the inspiration is, can't you? You can tell what the inspiration is for this incredible piece. It's this necklace here. Is that necklace there? Today, you can make a necklace which looks almost identical to that. Ready? Another maker. Gosh, and more anonymous bidders. Gee whiz. £199, which on split payments makes this £50 per split pay. Oh my gosh. For the original jade. The original jade. The original jade that started off the love affair with this incredible gemstone in the Far East. Joanne in Norfolk, well done to you as well, my darlings. Absolutely fantastic. This is it. The original. Davinia, well done to you as well. When we talk about, when you read about the fact that jade was the emperor's stone only to be owned by emperors. When you hear about emperors sleeping with their heads on jade pillows. This was the jade. The coat and mutton fat jade from the Kachin State in China. This is it. Not the Imperial from Burma. Not even the Olmec from Guatemala. This. It's incredible, isn't it? Well done, Joanne. We're down to the last couple of opportunities. I've got a maker with three sitting in their baskets. We're down to the last couple of opportunities. Go, go, go. Dawn, Nicola, maker, maker. Joanne, well done to you. Norfolk, Lancashire, Worcestershire. Well done, Amelia. Well done to you in Manchester coming through. Well done to you, my darling. I've still got more bidders coming through. Go, go, go. It's yours today. One, nine, nine. I mean, that is just terrific, isn't it? Splitting it up, leaving it as one, entirely up to you, whether you want to put it with pearls. Go on the bottom. Wow. Oh, oh my God. gosh. This has literally just arrived in the country. It's coming up tomorrow. Literally just arrived in the building. There's only 50. Red jade carving. Coming up tomorrow. Oh my gosh. That with that. Oh my gosh, that's a Buddha. He's got a mala on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's yours. Hilmer in London. Well done to you. Joanne in Norfolk. Maker. Dawn in Lancashire. Nicola in Worcestershire. Yours today. One, nine, nine. Five chances left. That is it. That's it. Well done. One minute. And then we're taking the details away. Utterly, utterly, utterly brilliant. Still to come, we've got even more. <gasps> yep, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Well done, Elizabeth in Staffordshire. You can check out my darling Karen in Fife. You can check out my lovely. Well done. Down to the last five. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in baskets. Congratulations. Well done. What a deal. Karen, check out my darling. Well done. Karen in Fife. Gorgeous. 30 seconds. We're taking the details away. Unbelievable. Would you, would you keep it as is, Monica, or would you split it up? Oh, I'll keep it for a while to look at. <laughs> <laughs> this is it though. You could literally remake it, wear it as one until you decide what you actually want to do yeah. with it. That's it. Because sometimes you get, a, you get a feel for a strand. Totally. You? And sometimes you, have, you wear it for a while and you think, oh, I should have made something else with it. Except you can. Okay. Well, that's the beauty of it. You, know. you can take it apart and start again. Yeah. Karen in five, Elizabeth, Hilma, Joanne, Maker, Dawn and Nicola. Loads in baskets. My gosh, that's crazy for the last five. One more strand of Kotan. Masterclass is on pre-order. Oh my gosh. So the Masterclass, w w uh, this is classic, Monica. This is your happy place. That looks like chain mail. It does kind of, doesn't it? 
<laughs> How pleased are you with that piece of jewellery? I quite like it. It's probably the most contemporary seed beaded piece I've made, I think. That looks like chainmail, doesn't it? That's incredible. That is coming up. That, that, that is a mix of seed beads and uh, hex beads. Yes. They're flying on pre-order, by the way. It's colours and qualities I've never seen as well in there. Yep. Very, very, very excited about that. Love those bracelets, Monica. Oh my gosh. Well done. It's all the same technique, the necklace and the bracelet. Oh really? Yeah. Just in different colours, it just changes it, it doesn't completely it? completely different, yeah. Right, we've got um, one more strand before the masterclass. <sighs> Ombre. Do you know what the best thing is about this? I'm just going to show you. So first of all, I'm going to show you. Oh, how can I show you that without showing you that? I don't know if I can actually. Can you actually? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, Bruce. Michael, can you show the top part but not the bottom part? No, you can't really, can you? Uh, okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Look at that ombre. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I want to show you, though, what's so cool about this. Look at this. It's literally mirror image, book matched. Oh, wow. We are a glutton for punishment, aren't we? We do not make life easy for ourselves. Let's get one of the rarest, most valuable varieties of jade in the world. Done. Let's get all of the colours. Done. Let's ombre those colours. Done. I tell you what. Let's do it, and let's do it again. What? That's exactly what we've done. It's crazy. Sages through to those gorgeous kind of Coca-Cola colours, which I adore. These Coca-Cola colours, I just, I adore those colours. Through to your silvers, through to your greys. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Such a gorgeous natural palette there. Isn't it beautiful? Um, Michael, I wonder, could you pass me a white bust, please, lovely? White or silver, whatevs. Just a bust. Ah, oh, there's so many busts there, aren't there? It's hard to choose the right bust. You're absolutely right. Here we go. Let's get that leveled up. Now, all I would do, Monica, I mean, I've, I don't know about you. All I would do is I would get yellow gold plated sterling silver spacers and I'd put spacer there 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 just in between each one of the ombre sections yes. or or not i mean i don't know I mean, it's it, i think for me i think i think if you knotted that it would be long enough to go over your head do you think you, you could make a perfect a continuous knotted necklace yes uh, which actually, I think I demoed when we had, when um, you know, the, the project that we had earlier, the yes. the Mother of Pearl one. Yeah. When, when we had that on originally, which would have been the last time I was on, I demoed how to make a continuous knotted neck. Ah. Because if you did that with this, you could spin it around depending on how you wanted to wear it. Because you could wear it symmetrically like that. Yeah. But you could spin it a little bit and make it asymmetrical. Ah, you absolutely yeah. could. That would be really lovely. Lovely idea. Absolutely. This is, this is just, I mean, to get all those colours naturally is one thing. To ombre them on one side is another thing. To do it so it's a mirror image for the other side is literally, I mean, how hard do we want to make this? How, how difficult do we want to make this? But it works and it pays dividends because what you've got is such a... I mean, that is an award-winning design right there. I, I mean, personally, I think it would be a travesty to mix these up, to kind of start oh, breaking yeah. this all up, because that's taken hours. That, that would have taken hours to do that, 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 that ombre -ing. Don't get me wrong, if you want to take two gemstones, one from there, one from there, or one from there, one from there, make sure you get their opposites, then I'd be okay with that. But I mean, to mix all of them up, I, I think for me, because that, that has taken hours to do that on, on that one strand, not that one strand times whatever, that just that strand there will have taken such a considered amount of time. Yours today, we're at 999. How many do we have, Neary? Oh, 11. Gee whiz, not a lot. Ready? Steady? Should we go low? 
Why not? One four nine. One four nine. That is absolutely crazy, isn't it? Absolutely bonkers. Go, 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 go. One four nine for you today. Congratulations. Well done, everybody coming through. We've got Maker in Swansea. Well done to you. We've got Joanne in Norfolk. We've got Geraldine in County Tyrone. We've got Maker. We've got Nicola in Worcestershire as well. Well done to you. Go, go, go. Well done. One four nine for you today. Isn't that amazing? It's just, it's just all of those colours are natural, naturally occurring. Yours today for under £150. I think that is absolutely terrific. I gen that is genuinely brilliant. Isn't it? Just fantastic. Well done, everybody. One, four, nine. Check out my lovelies. Go, go, go as soon as you can. We are moments away from our masterclass. Also, I mean, you wear it however you want, but I mean, Maker in Hertfordshire, well done to you. Cameron in Fife, well done to you as well. Look at that. If you did want to completely ignore kind of the mirror imagery of it, where is a bracelet? I mean, stack of bracelets. That's just amazing, isn't it? All natural Cotan mutton fat. Well done. Cotan jade, ombre quality. There you go. Karen, Maker in Hertfordshire. Check out my loves. We're literally down to the last couple of opportunities. The split payments, by the way, is that £37 something? That's crazy. Amazing. Well done, everyone. Yeah, 37.25. That's bonkers, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. 37.25 on split pay. Well done. Check out my lovelies. You've literally got less than 40 seconds. Well done. Unbelievable. Tracy Northumberland. Check out my love. Maker. Hertfordshire. Worcestershire. Oh my gosh, there's loads of you there. Well done. Check out as soon as you can. Can't wait for this masterclass. It's going to be so much fun. There's loads still to come. And don't forget, tomorrow we've got the most amazing show. We've got the uh, sand casting back with uh, lovely Deb Kershaw, which is going to be amazing in the Masterclass Hour. We've also got the Red Jade carving coming up with Dave. That's going to be absolutely incredible. We've also got uh, kind of an underwater kind of aquatic theme as well, which is amazing. Yeah, I know, 20 in baskets, Neary. Julie, check out. 20 in baskets for the last couple. Don't know. Crazy! Yeah, 149, I don't know. I don't know why there's that many in baskets. Janina, Julie, crazy. Oh, Monica, you naughty girl. That necklace caused me to utter a rude word. I've never seen anything like it. It's gorgeous, says Stuart. <laughs> I know. I, <laughs> it, it is just, I mean, it's just, it's stupidly good. It's like, it, no, it's like it's machine made. It's like it's woven. It's like it's chain mail. I know, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? You've ne I've never seen, I've never seen Monica and uh, Professor McGonagall uh, <laughs> uh, at the same time. I think they might be the same person. That is literally witchcraft. I mean, back in medieval times, Monica, you'd be, you'd be accused of being a witch. I mean, that's just crazy. <laughs> How she done that? McGonagall, Potter, Harry. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. It's not right. It's not difficult. Don't, don't give over. <laughs> give over that it's not difficult. I can't remember my own kids' names sometimes. <laughs> so don't come at me with it's not difficult. Anyway, right. Joking aside, it's going to be amazing. We've got it all coming up next. We'll see you in a sec. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. How would you like to be part of an unofficial world record attempt and amongst the largest number of people 
making jewellery at one time. On Friday the 31st of May at 10am, Jewellery Maker will be holding the world's biggest make-along, where over Zoom you can join fellow jewellery makers of all abilities as we attempt to break a world record. Whether you've never made jewellery before or it's your favourite hobby, you can join us. All you have to do is sign up via the link below. We will send you an email with the Zoom link to join us near the time. Go to www.jewelrymaker.com for inspiration and of course, how to sign up. See you on the 31st of May for the world's biggest make-along. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie. I'm back with you this Friday, Friday the 24th, and I'll be with the lovely Elle and the fabulous team. Uh, at nine o'clock, we have got some beautiful floral pendants. I'm going to be walking through how you go about setting those. And then at 12 o'clock, we have so many goodies. It's all about metal smithing, forging metal. Uh, so we've got lots of hammers, steel block. There's a new tool as well, a new tool that will help you um, if you're uh, soldering at the minute and you're struggling to get everything set up, this is going to be really useful for you. Um, so I really look forward to sharing all that with you guys and I hope you can join me on Friday. See you then. Our UK based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week.
I'll be honest with you, this masterclass is a little bit special. We were just literally saying a couple of seconds ago on the break, these hex beads have been going crazy yeah, over the last they're, few they're weeks. Amazing. Um, whoever we've given them to, whichever guest designer we've given them to, has just absolutely loved them. Um, I know that you're a huge fan, Monica, aren't you? I don't think I've ever used them before. Though. I can't remember. I might have used them once before. I think we've only had them, um, oh, we've had them less than half a dozen times. Every single time yeah. we bring a project to air with the hex beads in there, they just yeah. like. Can you explain to people who don't know, what is a hex bead? Well, it's kind of like a cross between a Delica and a Twisted Bugle. So, <laughs> oh. a twisted delica, I guess, is the closest you can say. Okay. But it's also hex cut, hence the name hex cut. So, it's, it's basically a delica bead, a size 10. So, it's a bit bigger than your size 11 beads. It's a size 10. It's cut in a hexagonal shape, so it's not round like a delica. Yeah. And it's twisted. So, it's not cylindrical. Uh, oh, it's no. not a cylindrical bead. It's, it's hexagonal. It's hexagonal. So it, the like cross cut. If you yeah, the cross section is yeah. hexagonal. I didn't realise it was twisted as well. Yes, they're called twisted hex. Oh cut. my gosh! Right. Okay. <laughs> Blimey! As if you know, it's just boggling, isn't it? Mind boggling. I think what people love about them is um, the sizes we've been doing for them have been reasonably good sizes. So these are ten mils. So. They're not kind of like your tiny little 15s. They're a little bit larger than your 11Os as well. Yeah. And when you get that, obviously your pieces build up much quicker, but also because it's hexagonal, you get that kind of, that 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 more extra, interesting luster. Extra sparkle, yeah. And because they're twisted, yeah. you then get even more of that yes. sparkle. Yes. So I'm going to take this off the bus if that's okay. In fact, I've, that... called, I've called the bracelet a sparkle bracelet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, in fact, you know what? I'll do it with the um, with the bracelets, just because they. You can see them here. The luster you get is so different. Is so. Oh yeah, look. You can see them there with the greens. Can you see the light kind of bending round? Yeah. They look so They're good, beautiful. Monica. They're just beautiful. They really are, aren't they? And really nice for you to use something a little bit different. I can imagine as yes. well. And um, it was really nice to have projects with all seed beads, which is really fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. See, look at that. You can see it there as well, can't you? You see the luster. I'm not talking about the ones right in the centre there. I'm talking about the ones kind of either side. You can see the luster, can't you? You can see the, the flat facet, as it were. Yeah. Doesn't that look awesome? Oh, my gosh. That looks so good, doesn't it? <laughs> just looks so, I don't know, just so effortless, doesn't it? It's just like... It's definitely one of those where we always say that um, seed beading is kind of, um, well, not relaxing, what's the word, therapeutic, because yeah. it's repetitive. Yeah. So this is definitely one of those which is quite, uh, it's quite repetitive, but, yeah. you know, so it's really, um, don't, you don't have to think about it too much. Uh-huh. Now, you've got, oh, that is like you. If you were a kit, Monica, <laughs> that, that's you, that is. Right there. Purples, blues, I mean, it's just, it's so, are we starting off with this one, Neri? Yeah, this one, it's, it's, it's gotta be, hasn't it? It's like literally Monica <laughs> and a kid. So you've got your um, uh, uh, magnetic clasp here, um, which is Brill. Um, love a magnetic clasp. They're so, oh, just, they're so fail safe, aren't they? They're wonderful. You then get your round eight O's, uh, which are uh, my Yuki's, fantastic. Lovely, lovely kind of bright, solid flat color which is lovely because if 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 these have had you know lots and lots of effects on them i think it would be oh gosh it might be a little bit overkill actually yeah you then get 11 o's in like this lovely iris blue iris is basically where you get that kind of metallic kind of iridescent kind of quality yes. going through there which looks absolutely gorgeous in come the hexes so you get the art oh, look you can see it perfectly actually here these irisy, purpley ones, you can see the luster. My gosh, they're so cool. That one, I think, has got an AB coating as well. Yeah, looks like can, it. You can see the hexagonal shape. So in, well. Uh, in that one. You can see the twist in it as well, and the twist, can't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, these must be so difficult to manufacture. I was just thinking the same yeah. thing, actually. I mean, how do you even... 
I mean, to make glass rods is one thing, but then to make them hexagonally, with a hexagonal kind of quality on them, very tr uh, challenging. But then to twist them as well. Yes. It's just amazing. Um, okay. You've then got this uh, tube as well of twisted hex beads. Again, in 10 O's. Oh my gosh, they're just gorgeous. Love them. So all four together look incredible. If I just do this and then I kind of hold them up, you can kind of see what all four of them look like together. They are going to look just incredible. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Look at them all. All bringing something slightly different to the table. Plus you get your uh, magnetic clasp. And by the way, you also get instructions. So let's have a quick look at the instructions. So instruction wise, what you get is a, called the sparkle bracelet. I love it. Um, you get in this, oh gosh, another another dossier. 46, instru 46 stage instruction booklet. I mean, Monica, you, you really, you, you go over and above. You genuinely do. And I know it takes you a long time to put these together, but it's just such a, it's such, it's such a great addition, isn't it, to have these. You get these included in the kits free of charge. Yeah. And the thing is, it's got 46 steps to it, but of course that takes about 146 photos. Of course it does. To pick out the right ones. And yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and the thing is, is, every time you, when, when you're busy designing a piece and then you change something about it, you've taken photos up to that step. Yes. Then you have to go back and delete those photos if you go and change something. Oh, gosh. And then you've got a new photos again. It's unbelievable. And, and of course, once you're making these pieces, I bet the last thing that you want to do is to stop and put it down and take a photo, to stop and put it down. I mean, yeah. You want to kind of keep going, don't you? You've got, yeah. your, you've got, you're in the swing of things. Which is why it takes such a long time, because every, you have to put it down, then you have to carry on again after. Anyway, I mean, I mean, the fact that we do these free of charge, including the price of the kit, is just stupid, really. We should be charging kind of five, ten. I mean, our sister channels do. You can buy PDFs from them for like 10, 15 pounds. I know I talk about this every single time we bring a project to air, but you've got to understand, this is free. This is free. All of that knowledge is included in the price of the kit. It's stupid. Really, isn't it? Where do you even start? So hex beads, we've only recently started bringing them to air. They're one of the newest varieties of um, press bead that we bought to air. Um, to be able to bring them to air, you know, two lots of them, in this project is fantastic. And you've got your 11 O's, and you've got your eight O's, and you've got sterling silver. Um, I assume it's sterling silver, it might not be sterling silver. I'll have a quick look. You get your magnetic clasp as well. Janet, Elaine, Monica, Morgan, Paulette, Patricia, Maker, Sally, Maker, Maker in Gloucestershire. Yeah, it is sterling silver. Yeah, sterling silver, 39.99. And by the way, not that it necessarily, I mean, this is something which uh, a guest designer from Hobby Maker pointed out, actually, lovely Natalie. Mm. Um, this is the colour of uh, crafting. All right. P purple is the colour of crafting, apparently. Yeah, apparently people whose favourite colour is purple are people who like to do crafts. There we uh, go. Is that what she meant? Or yeah, we, so yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I guess so. The same thing over again. Well, no, but if you think about Crafters <laughs> Companion, if you think about huge kind of uh, yeah. companies like that, their colour is purple. Every yeah. single time one of their, um, uh, what are they called, demonstrators comes to wear, they have to wear purple. It, right. it, it, it's a thing. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a subliminal thing. I've, I've got no idea. But it is a, but it is a, it is a thing. It's said to be the colour of crafting. Oh. 29.99. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Brand new qualities of twisted hex beads and your 11 O's and your eight O's, and your sterling silver clasp, and your 46 step instruction booklet for 30 quid. I mean, wow. Tanya, Kimberly, Alison, Justine, Patricia. What the same thing, sweetheart? Mayuki, size 10 out, yeah. Yeah. Eight pound a pack. Yeah. Well, that's, ours have got effects on them. That's that, light gold plated. And that's for five grams. Well, how many grams are we getting here? About 24. <laughs> Oh gosh. Could be 22, depends on, I think it's probably 22 because it's a larger bead. Well, let's weigh them, shall we? 22 grams, yeah. So you get 22 grams, what, and these, and these tubes are 22 grams? So that's 22, no, hang on, that's, I can't, yeah, so, hang on. So this, sorry, we probably shouldn't be showing you this website, but there's a website which is showing us, oh, there we go, yeah, 5.2 grams. Seven pounds eighty. We're bringing you twenty-two grams. So 
So how do we work out how much that would be for 22 grand? So you times 5.2 uh, by, by, by five. By four, yeah. Yeah, by four. So how much would that be? 32 pounds. No, but it's not though, because you're getting two loads of these. And you're getting other things as well. And you're getting other things. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this really is ridiculous, isn't it? This makes no sense whatsoever. I don't think even Monica can do the math. No. This is crazy. 22 grams per tube. Yes. So 32 and 32 adds another what? Add, a, add another what? 16 quid? Yeah, about. I mean, add another, add, add what? I don't know. Eight pounds, seven oh. pounds. I don't oh, know. Probably a tenner, sterling silver. <laughs> Plus all that, I mean, we're looking at kind of 80 quid, aren't we? That's crazy. We're going even lower, it's 30 pounds and we're gonna go lower, stuff it, why not? Because what is the point of Monica doing all of this extra work? Oh. What is the point of us bringing you all of these, sorry, I've got a really itchy nose, bringing you, the, um, bringing you all of these instructions, bringing these brand new hex beads, if we don't make them affordable? And, and, can oh, I just show you what- Please don't tell me that's what you had left over. He really does. <laughs> that's what I have left after making a bracelet. What? Only the size 11s. No. Uh, Hang on, which bracelet? This one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, well, gee want, whiz. Do you want to see how much I have left after making the necklace? So Monica has made that, using that, and she's got that. all of that left. That's obscene. <laughs> That's obscene. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's stupid. 25 quid. And you get the clasp, and you get the 46 step instruction booklet. That is just, what What are we doing? Oh my gosh. I mean, if I can show you. <laughs> We're going lower. Stop it, Monica. That's what I have left. She's, the she's a witch. She's a witch. <laughs> okay, I used up all the 11 O's. Okay, so that is this necklace here. But I've got that much left after making the neck. This necklace here, <laughs> and you've got, that left, okay, I'm gonna show you how much you get. <laughs> and you've got that left over from making that entire necklace. You've used all of those though, Monica. So, okay, fair enough, you have to add in some more 11 nodes, but how many necklaces can you make from this? Then you can make another one, two, three, four. I would say you can make six necklaces. Oh yeah, my gosh. If we can see another 50 oh. people with us in their baskets, we're gonna take it to 20 quid. Bish, bash, bosh. I don't know how we can do that, if I'm being honest. Genuinely, you've seen this gorgeous piece here. You've seen this piece here. Monica has used literally about that much Sorry, Monica, I'm asking you to get it out again, because that's just, honestly, when you put it, go on, here, I'll, I'll have them. That is how much Monica has used to make that one bracelet. I mean, It kind of makes me what? Feel, feel bad because I didn't use up all the beads. And based on the prices, <laughs> sorry, you're going to have to leave those out. And based on the prices that Monica's kind of uh, intimate, uh, sorry, not Monica, that, that we've seen online, you should be paying about 70, 80 quid for everything here, for all of that, for that, for that, I mean, uh, uh, 20 quid? Let's do it, stuff it. Do it. Do it, just do it. Honestly, there's so many people there. He's gonna do that. That's an amazing little dance you just did then, Mary. <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> he might do it again, it was like a thriller dance. Okay, here we go. Ready, steady. 20 pounds. <laughs> that bracelet, sorry, Monica, I am sorry. laboring the point. Tell me to shut up. That, that is what Monica used to make that bracelet. That, look how much she's got left over. You can make that bracelet, I mean, umpteen times. I mean, that is just, that is absolutely crazy. And there's your clasp, and you've got your 46 step instruction booklet. Unbelievable, like literally crazy. And what's so great is these hex beads are so, these twisted hex beads are so new. Yeah. So it's the first time you've used them? I think so. I mean, I may, may have had them once before. I can't remember now. Um, Alison's definitely had them a couple of times. 
Mark's used them. Certainly not more than once before. Oh, everyone, everyone loves them because you get this luster. So if I can show you, I mean, just look, look, you can see it. You can see the luster. Because Gosh, they're so I good, Veronica. Remember, I, think, I think last time I had them, they were not twisted. They were just hex cut. Ah, so they're not always twisted. Yeah. So maybe it's the first time we've done twisted hex beads. To be honest, I've never noticed that they've been um, twisted before. I've noticed that they're hex, but I've never noticed that they're yeah. twisted. So maybe, gosh, maybe. Oh my gosh, if this is the first time we've ever done twisted ones, I feel Ooh. really bad. <laughs> 20 quid. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> if, if, if you've got the hex twisted. beads, have you ever got twisted ones before from Jewelry Maker? Let us know, because honestly, I've, I've never seen them before. I just thought I was missing a trick. I, I think it is the launch. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> never mind, 20 quid. Enjoy. Oh. Never mind. I mean, just amazing. Get them. It's so good. It's so good. Just massive congratulations to all of you there. Well done. Any about guests assigned? Is if Mark or Alison's watching? Um, let us know if you've worked with the twisted hex beads or if they've just been hex. I think they've just been hex. I think we would have noticed if they've been twisted ones. I think we would have noticed. Yeah, I got the extra special one. Oh, all <laughs> right, Monica. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I think it is a, oh gosh. We found out with five seconds to go before we take the details away that we think it is a launch. Oh gosh, oh no. <laughs> we think they're brand spankers. Okay, well, we're gonna be held accountable for that, Neri. Well done. Yeah, they're all on pre-order. We, oh, goldie, goldie, goldie. Now, I want to know what this, how oh, I know I love, oh my gosh, so we're saying that at the same time. Want you to show me. <laughs> I want to know what love is. Here we go. This necklace I, I thought was chainmail. You enjoyed that, didn't it's you, Michael? Lot, it's a lot easier than chainmail. <laughs> oh, my. Give over. That, I reckon you've got to have a PhD to do that. What yeah. do you reckon? No. You know, like the, the Haynes manuals that you buy for cars or that you used to buy for cars, which are like, like a Britannica, like a, like a, you know, Britannica encyclopedia. I reckon you've got to read one of those before in Chinese before you start to un <laughs> even begin to understand how to do that. Can you speak fluent Mandarin? If so, you can make this necklace. If not, you can't. I mean, what on earth was going through your mind? Well, I was given the inspiration to make the bracelet. Okay, um, they sent me some pictures of uh, bracelets using other beads that look similar. And they said, can I make something similar from these Gosh, beads? They like to challenge you, don't they? Gee whiz. Yeah, so I came up with a bracelet and I thought, well, because I don't wear bracelets a lot, I like to wear necklaces and earrings. So I thought, I wonder if I can make this into a necklace somehow. And then that's how it came about. See? Miss Janet. Miss Janet. Uh, nope, never had twisted hex beads as I have all of the plain hexes. Thank you, Monica, for these beautiful oh. designs. I know. Isn't she amazing? We love her. Um, right, I've got a tube of seed beads in here I really want to talk to you about. So, galvanized gold, probably one of the most useful seed beads you will ever use Absolutely. in all of seed beading history in the world ever. Okay, those are 11 O's. Eight O's in jet black. Again, those two tubes are probably, that and white Absolutely. are probably the most useful ones you will ever use. Absolutely. Yeah? Perfect. And maybe silver. Oh yes, and yeah, silver, silver, yeah. yeah. You've then got... What are these? Oh, they're twisted hex beads. Right, twisted hexes <laughs> in this gorgeous kind of, I don't even know how to describe that color. It's like a honey kind honey of- Amber. Am oh, yeah. Honey amber. Honey <laughs> amber. Yes, absolutely. Got they are just gorgeous, aren't they? This. Oh, I love that one. Just look at that. This tube of twisted hex beads. I noticed them this morning. I've literally, they are so gorgeous. It's like an AB coated kind of root beer kind of color. They are absolutely terrific i love them i absolutely love them yeah, this necklace is my mom's colors oh really <laughs> oh how gorgeous it's like a cognac -y, yeah a cognac but it's an ab they're just the iridescent on these is so oh my gosh i mean would it be i mean we were talking earlier on weren't we um about the cotan 
And you said, I just wear it as a long neckline piece and then decide what to make with it. Yes. This, I would just literally get the whole tube and I'd make it into a long line necklace, like a layered Ooh, necklace. Like I wouldn't do any seed beading. I'd just literally yeah. put them, like, like you would make a, a pasta necklace as a three-year-old, yeah. you know? Literally just make a layered necklace until I decide what to do with them because those are those are just they are so gorgeous I'd make it memory wire or layered necklace yeah. bracelet or I mean you if, know. You, if you just stranded them up that whole tube that would make make meters and meters meters <laughs> can you imagine how gorgeous that would look I, those are way too oh my gosh they're so beautiful they're so good looking they are oh they are epic Absolutely epic. That might be my favorite color of bead ever. Warm, sophisticated, beautiful, striking, magical. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love them all. That's, that is such a gorgeous palette. The, the, wow. the necklace is out of this world. 20 pa Oh my gosh, and you get the instructions as well. That's 20 quid. And it's got the gold beads in there as well. Yeah. Wow. That I love them. I absolutely love them. It's really soft as well. Yeah, it's super, super soft. So fluid. Monica, it's absolutely beautiful. You, I suppose you could reverse it as well because it looks quite nice on the back too. That with a plain white V-neck t-shirt, it's gonna, that's gonna look like a collar yeah. around the around yeah. V-neck. That's absolutely. gonna look so cool. You could even stitch that, you know, yeah. onto a, yeah. onto a t-shirt. Uh, that, it's so lovely. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? It's just so different. The palette, the palette is gorgeous. It needs the black to go through, yes. doesn't it? You've got to have so. the black. That's so lovely. But it's so warm. It's so... I love the way it sits. I think with the black in the middle, it gives it almost like a 3D effect. So it doesn't it just? It the middle of it kind looks of looks like it's domed, bit, yeah. doesn't it? The, uh, you can see the kind of the cognac -y colors there, which look a little bit more red, don't they? The gold, the galvanized gold, I mean, uh, they are, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the magnetic clasp. It's just got. Can I pop it up to the neckline? I know you've yes, kind of, of wired it onto the bust. Only because here. the bust was a little bit wonky and it didn't sit straight on the bust. Just look, <laughs> look, just look at this. <laughs> but when you put it on, just it ignore, sits just straight. ignore the clasp, the um, the wire. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh wow! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Do you know, I've just had an idea as well. If you kind of wore it as a bracelet. Oh yes. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I mean, Monica. you could have the pointy effect on the other side as well, and then it would sit nicely as a bracelet. What? What do you mean? So, to have the pointy bit upwards underneath. So, have it, no, I mean, to have it like this when you make it up. So, have the front like that, but also at the back. Oh. To have it pointing that way up like that. So oh two my pointy, gosh. Pointy Can you actually it. imagine that? I mean, this, this is a, oh, you've got to do something with this design, Monica. Yeah. This is just. Did I just overcomplicate that? <laughs> no, gosh, no, 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 no. You've got to, you've got, I mean. Oh. What, what was your, oh my gosh, yes, yes Michael. <laughs> Michael, I mean, Mike, Michael will not want oh, to. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I literally feel like an actual queen. It's like a Bollywood wedding, isn't it? Oh my gosh, can you imagine that? Yeah. Such a wally, I'm sorry. But yeah, Monica, I mean, you... Also, I've managed to make the chain a bit too long because I did finish it at one o'clock in the morning, so that's why it doesn't quite Maybe sit you right should carry on. on. <laughs> Maybe you should make more jewellery at one o'clock in the morning because if that's what you create at one o'clock in the blooming morning, I have to say, Monica. Uh, but it's everything, isn't it? It's the colour. Yeah. It's the colour, it's the beads, and it's this, this woman's mind. Uh, <laughs> no, honestly, Monica, it's just ridiculous. Right, what are we doing? Sorry, say again. Oh, right, okay, right. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we need to get the amber back out because that was just stupidly good. Do you still need these? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, gosh, here we go. Um, Eva, can we have the dinner? Oh, here she comes. Look at her skipping over. Like a little, like a little antelope. <laughs> Sure, she's been called much worse. Here we go. Right, so here's sorry. <laughs> like a little 
Like a little leprechaun. Here we go. So, beautiful Amber. I just had a thought, but carry on. I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, stop <laughs> thinking. Right, so there you go. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. That was your deal of the day. And it's like we went to Mayuki and said, hello, Mayuki. And they went, hello. And we said, please, can you make some twisted... Are these twisted hexes as well? Yes. Oh, for goodness sake. Can you make some twisted hexes, please? Yes, of course we can. What, to order? Yeah, go on then. Okay, what kind of colours do you want? And we send them a photograph of that. Okay, then. <laughs> if you don't get this project to go with the deal of the day, I will cry. And I will find you and I will hunt you down. <laughs> I won't do a Liam Neeson, don't worry. But honestly, that is... It's like the same. It is. It is actually I mean, I mean, the, the same. The thought I had was imagine making the necklace out of this kit because I've made the bracelet out of this kit and then dangling one of oh, those amber Monica. down at the bottom at the point. Mm. That would be quite nice. Are we looking at sensibly the same-ish weave between exactly, that and... Exactly the same. Is it really? It is really. <laughs> I just... I, I can't... I can't... Look, let... Just sorry. Look, that. Well, look, I'll show you. Exactly, and that's exactly how it goes, yeah. And then imagine having one of these dangling at the bottom. Oh, I'm gonna hold it. just shove it on. Yes. Oh, oh Monica. Oh, my gosh. You Can you use, imagine that? You could use more of the green in there to make it look more like. Yeah, good Because I've picked, and picked out the colours. I didn't know we were having this amber, so. <laughs> so did you pick these colours out specifically? Did you yes. pick the colours out that you wanted specifically? Yes. yes. Monica, it's just so. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's not very often that things come like come together like this. It really isn't. I mean, this is complete fluke. Yeah, we've got the amber and this project today. You know how they always say uh, it's almost as if it was planned, but actually it really wasn't. <laughs> it really wasn't. Sorry, Michael, there you go. It really wasn't. I mean, that is like, that is an absolute gift. You it's see, a gift. You see, if only they'd given me that amber in the kit. <laughs> she won't stop going on about the amber. We're not going to give it to you, Monica. <laughs> my dearest, oh, Mark. My dearest mum loved all of Monica's work and these pieces oh. would be no exception. You are beautiful inside and out. Lots of love, Mark. Oh, oh thanks, my Mark. gosh. Honestly, Mark. I, 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 Mark, actually, whilst you're there, my darling, have you used twisted hex beads before or just yeah. hex beads? Because honestly, these are, these have taken us all by surprise. Ato silver, um, Galvanized seed beads. Yeah. Um, you've then got 11 O's in this lovely, lovely blue, which you used this morning. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as little individuals with the with the with the agate necklace. I'm sure you. Yes. Know. Yes. Yes. There we go. Sorry, I just had to think about that. No, this actually, morning. That's a long time actually, ago. Actually, I used the blue from the other other blue. Oh, all right. This yeah. blue. <laughs> but, but just say yes. You could have used this one as well. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. No, don't worry about it. Oh, it's got to prove a point. There we go. So you've got your gorgeous <laughs> light blue twisted X beads. And then you've got these, which are basically made from the amber. I mean, they're not, but they may as well be made from the amber because it's like, oh. it's like they're... The, get it to go with that. If you don't do that, I will be so upset. I will cry and you don't want that. Right. And you get the clasp and you get the instructions as well. Yeah, they, they are brand new. Yeah, Twisted Hex are definitely I brand thought. new. I know. Yeah. So Hex beads, and then we've gone uh, and twisted them. and just Because they weren't interesting enough, apparently. I know. It's like a hexagonal, a cylindrical he hexagonal bead. That's pretty cool. Let's make it even cooler. Let's twist it. I mean, what? What's next? Turn it inside out? I mean, I, d I don't know. Yeah, they are brand new, aren't they? I just, I just love it. And it looks amazing just sitting still like that. But, it, but then when you start to move it, you start to understand why we've gone for that twisted design. Because it just does something. Oh, it's so cool. Right. Okay. 30 seconds. We're going to do a price. Now, this is silly. And I mean silly. Okay. Judging by the amount of people already coming through, judging by the amount of people who came through to get the deal of the day, get the deal of the day to go with this, get this to go with the deal of the day, 
they they have to go together. They're so, I mean, they're just inseparable. Amazing. There's your clasp. There's your instructions, 46 step instructions. Oh, oh gosh, 20 quid, just do it, just do it. Well done. And what I love about this, I think we've gone for three colorways, which are very, very, are, they are very our viewers, aren't they? Yes, yes, Very. absolutely. Yeah. You've got the purples, very popular, bluey greens, very popular, and then the goldies, yeah. very, very popular. I mean, it's just, and, and they are all, they all work together so well. Congratulations. Uh, so somebody, somebody messaged in, I think about how long it took to make the necklace. Oh, yes. So the bracelet, <laughs> okay, so the first bracelet that I made doesn't really count because I was stopping and starting for the photos. The second bracelet, I've put in the instructions that it takes about four hours to make the bracelet. I made it a bit quicker, obviously, because it was the second one I was making. Yes. And then I went to make the necklace, which is about as much work as two bracelets. So I would say you could probably make it in about eight hours. But then, I, like I said, I finished it at one o'clock in the morning, so I can't really count exactly how long it took. But I would say probably you could make it in, in eight hours. So you maybe can, you can make, make it in the weekends. Yeah. That would be a really nice project to do it over weekends. Yeah. That, I mean, oh gosh, I know we keep banging on about this necklace. In the, in the other colors, I think it would look great, but I have to say, but the, but the, but the, but the, but that particular colorway, it just looks like chain mail. It does, yeah. It looks like it's been yeah. looped or knitted or something, crocheted or something, I don't know. It's just incredible. People are asking for instructions on the uh, necklace. Well, I'm going to show you the difference between the bracelet and the necklace. Oh my God. Well, I'm going to show you the necklace now. Um, <laughs> and we've got oh eight hours. We've got like literally 20 <laughs> minutes. Ah, somebody stop her. <laughs> she just carries on. I'll just whip up another one quickly. Yes. While. <laughs> Come on, chop, chop. Right, so. Um, go on, what are you going to make, lovely? You're going to, um, so you're going to show us the beginnings of something. I'm going to show you the, the basics of how it's made. And then I'm going to show you how to turn it into the necklace, essentially. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we do actually only have 20 minutes. Uh, I haven't got my talk back working at the moment. So oh, I'll just carry go. on until, you know, three, <laughs> three o'clock because nobody's telling yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so are we doing. <laughs> can you translate for me then? Are we doing the demo now? Yes, we're doing the demo, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah. If you can pass me one of the bracelets. No. Yes, of course. There we go. <laughs> Let me just. <laughs> You're on your own, Monica. <laughs> Honestly, right. I mean, such project, such popular projects. Amazing. Well done. So you'll see if right, I turn it over. Uh, right. So it's made on a base. It's, it's actually quite similar to the... Um, oh, gosh. To the netted bracelets uh, that Mark makes quite often. And, and Debbie Kershaw's made the one with, the, with all the tassels. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, so that one is based oh, on... Oh, ah. Uh, Kurt Car... Oh, it's gone. No, I know the one you mean though. Something starting with car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a uh, because it's the mesh design, isn't yeah. it? Which is exactly what this is. So, so that basically, Good Debbie, if you're watching, can you message in, lovely? Uh, and you. then you've got the embellishment on top. So this one is based on right angle weave. Um, so the difference between the two, you can see on the back, is that one is kind of made up of diamonds like that. Uh, so you embellish it sort of vertically, whereas with this can you one, eerie? oh yes, I can. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yay! Perfect. Go on, carry on, lovely. Sorry, I just wasn't listening at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I very, I very rarely listen either. <laughs> so right. this one is is made of squares basically because it's right angle weave. Yeah. Which means you can embellish it diagonally, you can embellish it up and down sideways. So you've got a bit more options there. So then, then you can see that I've embellished it sort of diagonally, which on the necklace because I've put the pieces that way, it makes the embellishment vertical. Okay. Yeah. So I'm quickly going to show you how to do that base, and then also, I mean, uh, it's really easy to be honest with you. If you've if you've ever done right angle weave, I put on the instructions that it's an intermediate project only because of the right angle weave because it scares people, but I think probably a beginner could make it. So I'll turn it over so you can see what I'm doing actually. So right angle weave is basically just a a series of squares that you build up out of your seed beads. Now, if you'll notice, each square has got four beads around it. So, uh, sorry, eight beads. So you've got two beads on each of the four yeah. sides. So you're gonna start off with making your first square. You're gonna pick up eight beads. So yeah. Six, seven, eight. Are you following along in the instructions? Yes, I am. No, it's great. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, then you're gonna go through all of them again. 
basically at this point it's not going to be a square it's going to be a circle yes that's what it looks like yeah okay and then you're just going to tie a knot to bring those together I've written circles in the instruction only because as you're making it it doesn't necessarily look like squares it kind of comes together into squares when it's finished um, so I've written squares in the instructions really that make squares because well you can see that one kind of sits as a square okay so you've got two beads but this one is not sitting the same way as these ones because if you have a look these ones are sitting with two beads on each side whereas this one is sitting with three that's only because of the way that they're arranged but they will kind of straighten out once you've made a few of them and you've joined them together so let me get started and then you'll see what I'm talking about so once you've made the knot just go through um, I've said in the instructions to go through four beads um, so I'll try and follow that along as best I can so go through the first four beads uh -huh. again okay and because that puts the tail thread in a convenient place then you're gonna pick up six beads for your next circle or square four five six now because each square has got uh, two beads on, on each side, you're gonna share two beads between the one square and the next square along. Okay, let's push it Okie dokie. So you've got two beads on each side, so this square with the next square shares that side, which is two beads there, okay? So now you're gonna go through two beads, okay? But you're gonna carry on, this is why I've said circle in the instructions, because you're gonna go around in a circle and you're gonna go through the last two beads that you've already gone through uh, in the same okay. direction. So now you've got two circles or two squares next to each other okay so now you want to put the next one along this end here so if you look if you just arrange them a little bit like that you'll see I've got my square here with two beads on all the sides okay I want to build my next square next to it here so I want to join it onto these two beads there so I need to travel along until I've gone through both of those beads okay so that means I'm going through the next four beads okay that was three so that's four. And again, I've already got two beads there, which makes one side of my next square. So then I'm gonna pick up six more to make the eight. Is that uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, I'm gonna go through the last two beads that I've already gone through. And that makes my third little square, okay? Now you can see that they don't really look like squares at this point. They kind of look more like circles, which is why I've said circles in the instructions so now i'm going to go through the next four again because again i want to put the next one on the end here so go through the next four beads uh, two four okay and then essentially you're going to carry on like that so pick up six again one two three four five six do your next one go through the last two beads again in a circle there you go now, you're gonna carry on with that until you have the length of your bracelet, minus the clasp, of course, or the length of one side of your necklace. Um, now, for the bracelet, what you then want to do is you want to do another row of these squares next to it. So, if I turn it actually this way around, rather, okay, so I went all along there to make the first row, then you turn around and you're gonna do the second row, okay? Now, to make the subsequent rows, all you have to do basically is it depends on where you join on the next square. Yeah. So when you've done the first row, you're finishing on this square. Now, you don't want to add the next one at the end. You want to add it on the side. So you need to find the two side beads. So this, this one here, the two that my, my uh, thread is coming out of yeah. is the one side of this last square. So now I want to add the next square onto the adjacent two beads, not the two that are opposite on the other side because I want to put the next square on this side of it, okay? But I also have got my first two squares of the next square already there, so I'm gonna pick up six again. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And again, I'm gonna go around in a circle. Go through those last two beads I've already gone through, okay? And then it's just a case of keeping in mind where your thread is and where you want your thread to be, yeah. and where you want your next square to be. Um, so I want my next square to sit here, Okay, I'm trying to yeah. explain it more logically now rather than go through this and go through that because I find it's easier to remember something if you understand logically how it works. Mm. So now my thread is coming out of here, but now I want to put a square here and I want to use that side and this side. Okay, so I'm going to come along with my thread all the way around the circle. You always want to travel around circles or squares the same way as you've gone before. So I'm going all the way around. Okay, now these two here on the side are what I want to use 
for one side of my new square. So I need to go through those, okay? And then I want to use these two from the previous row as the next side of my square, so I need to go through those as well. Okay, now but now I've got two sides of my new square, which, like I said before, doesn't look much like a square, but it is. So I've got the top side, the right-hand side. Now I just need to add the left side and the bottom. So now I'm only picking up four beads because I'm only adding another two sides to my next square. Okay, and then I'm going to carry on around and I'm going to go through all four of those beads that are already there again so that I can get into position for the next square after that. So I'm going to go through all four of those. Sorry, and I'm hiding it with my fingers, but right. So now my thread is coming out the middle here. And now again, I want to add my next square here. Okay, so now I want to carry on around this circle. So my thread is going this way now. I want to go through these two on this side because I'm using those in my next square. So I'm going through those two. Sorry, I'm hiding them again. So can you see I'm going through those yeah. two beads there? It's great. Okay. And now, because on this square I was going that way around clockwise. Yeah. When you get to the next one, now you're going, and sorry, the other way around. I was going anti clockwise around this square. Now I'm going clockwise to make my next one. Okay, so now I need to pick up my two missing sides, so four beads, and then I'm going to carry on around that side and that side yeah. to finish that next square. It makes sense. It's quite logical, isn't it? Once it is. You well, that's why going. I'm trying to explain it logically rather than go through this one and go through that one because then it can become confusing. In the instructions, I've said go through the next two, go through the next three, so you can follow that step by step. Okay, so now my thread is coming out here, and again, I want my new square to be on that side, so I need yeah. to travel around and go, and go through all of those four and those two as well so that I can add my next square. Okay. This is basically how you just carry on. And then, so you go all the way back to the beginning in this way. Let me just add this last square on so that I have something to work with. And again, you want to go around. Just make sure you know which bead is which. Pull them apart a little bit if they're bunching up and you can't tell which is which. Right, so I've got my second row done. Okay, now you're going to do the next row in the same way. So I've got five rows here. So again, I want my next square to sit here. Yeah. So I will travel around this square or circle. I'm just going to flip it around the other way because I can't be backwards. And then again, I'm going to travel around all the way until I get through those two beads that I want to use for the first side of my next row. Right, so now I can add on my next next the first square of my next row here now again I've only got two beads already in that new square so I need to pick up six to do the next one and then you carry on you carry on exactly in the same way until you've done all five rows now the only difference with the necklace is once you've done all the five rows so obviously you can see you can decide which way you want your squares to go mm. so what I did with a necklace is if you imagine holding it diagonally like that I made this exact piece without the embellishments, just the, the basic yes. right angle weave. Yes. And then I carried on down here with another five rows going that way. Ah. So actually, if I take the other bracelet, I can show you. So I've joined on another bracelet essentially there. Oh, the magnets are pulling together. Yeah. Like that. Perfect. Okay. So basically, you just want to build, you want to do another row basically of five squares there, then you do another row of five squares, or you can go along that way, it doesn't really matter, it gives you the same result for the necklace. Uh, and that's, um, yeah, you can show the necklace, the back yeah. of the necklace, you can see there, so it's basically, if I put it down that way, where I've got my bracelet, right, yeah, but it's and then you turn that way and you do them that yeah, way. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, and that's all it is to make the necklace, it's a, it's a right angle in the front of the necklace. Yeah, and that's then, perfect. And then for the embellishment, the embellishments are really simple because all I did was, I haven't got my other beads out, so I'm just going to show you with the 11s. Basically, to add embellishments, I'm going to I'm going to backtrack a little bit here just so that I can show you. We just you. had a message from Catherine saying, Hi, Monica, do you have to do the length first or can you make it width-wise and make your length as you go? Either way. Either way is fine. Perfect. It's because you've got your squares, so you can lay out your squares in whatever shape you want. Um, so yeah, you can you can make width wise and then go the other way. It doesn't yeah, matter perfect. as long as you end up with whatever shape you want uh, in the end. So to add the embellishments, all you're going to do is at the moment my thread is going through these two beads at the end here. 
So you pick up whatever beads you want for your embellishment. So what I've done um, on the bracelet, for example, on the side, I've used an 11O, a hex and an 11O, okay, for one row of embellishment. I've done the same for the next row. In the middle row, I've used a hex, an eight and a hex. And then again, for the other two rows, an 11, a hex, 11, an 11, a hex and an 11. And to add those, it's really easy because, how can I hold it so I can show you? Uh, let me put it this way. So you've got your little base of squares made, mm -hmm. okay? You're gonna pick up whatever your embellishment is going to be. So now I'm just gonna pick up three 11 mm -hmm. okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're going right to left through these two top beads, right? You're gonna go right to left again through the next two beads down in your grid. So you're gonna go through those, which if you imagine, so you've got thread coming out at the top left corner, and now it's gonna go in in the bottom right corner. So it's gonna put your embellishment diagonally across the top of that little square. Can you see, so my, my embellishment is going that way. And then you're gonna do the same thing again, because now in the next square, again, you've got your thread coming out in the top left corner. So you pick up your embellishment, and again, you're gonna go again right to left. So you're always going through in the same direction. You're going through the next row, right to left. And again, you've got your next bit of embellishment on there. And you just carry on like that until the whole thing is embellished. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really Good simple. Good grief. That really is. When you kind of talk about kind of putting it together, yeah. it's just... It's it's actually, just yeah. I mean, if you look at the back, you can see that once you've got the, the right angle weave mastered, then you can add whatever you like on the embellishment, to yeah. be honest. That's amazing, Monica. Thank you so oh. much. What a gorgeous, gorgeous masterclass hour that's been. It's been terrific, hasn't it? And um, coming up tomorrow, We've got the early bird, which is turtle, because it's World Turtle Day tomorrow. Oh, ah, how lovely. <laughs> Carrier beads uh, and uh, agate with turtle charms oh. coming up in the nine o'clock hour. We've got a jadeite red, a, a red jadeite carving coming up in the 10 at your deal of the day, which I'll show you in a sec. Blue sapphire selection, which is incredible in the 11. And midday is a masterclass with sand casting. Did you I, see the rubber ducky? I know, isn't oh, he gorgeous? <laughs> She's, oh, Deb has done the most amazing sand casting with a beautiful little rubber ducky. It's so cute. I just want to show you this very, very quickly. Red jade carving. Coming up tomorrow. Check this out. Oh, oh my goodness me. Oh my gosh. The most beautiful Buddha carving. He's wearing a mala. He's got mountains in the background. There's a tree. It is absolutely incredible. This is going to be your deal of the day tomorrow. The most amazing red jade carving. I, it's just incredible. We've also got the last in stock of the uh, beautiful um, rocking horse uh, red jade carving as well. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. What a show it's been. Monica, you've been terrific oh, today. Thank you so, so much. There's a little seed bee for you. Little thank, you. Uh, thank you so much. Honestly, designs have been absolutely brilliant. Great masterclass. Thank you so much, lovely. Oh, when are you next with us? On the 12th of June. Perfect. We'll see Monica on the 12th and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Loads coming up tomorrow. We'll see you uh, at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Bye, guys. <laughs>